Cool. So I'm Jensen and welcome back to Minecraft. Today we are going to be focusing on enchantment and also um, getting a mob grinder maybe. So we did get a branch mine set up down there. We got a full set of diamond armor. Awesome. Love that for us. And we're probably done down here now, right? We probably don't need to be down here whatsoever. I'm going to take some of this redstone dust and lapis lazuli up topside. And we've also got lots and lots of resources that we should also take topside. Because they're useless down here, I think. But we'll close that. And now we want to jump up here. Ah! Are you cracked at Minecraft? I have no idea what cracked means. Is that is that Generation Alpha speak? Dad duty was over as of an hour ago. Oh, that is so nice to hear. Your dad duty is, it's, it's pretty rough, right? It's like being a soldier, an on-call soldier. But instead of shooting people, you're cleaning poo. <laughs> as far as I remember. Hmm. Now, we did uh, kind of like find this cool little area over here. I almost completely missed it. This looks absolutely sick. We're probably going to set up like a, a forward operating base up in the roof cavity there. And then some glass all over the floor so that we can kind of like oversee this very, very nice looking area. Now, I am going to ignore that gold because gold is useless to us at this point. We will be focusing on enchanting, which means we need to kind of like fill out our mine, don't we? Oops. I think we had one torch left and we just wasted it there. What the hell do we have in here? Oh, that's right. This is the exit. Okay. We need to come all the way out here. It is, in fact, daytime, which fills me with joy. I love that so much. Ah, yes, yeah, basically Gen Alpha slang. Crack means good at something. Oh, no. No, I am not good at Minecraft. I can definitely tell you guys that for an absolute fact. Uh, back when I was a kid, cracked meant that you didn't pay for a video game. <laughs> Actually, it still kind of means that in most, in most millennial circles as well. Cracked is, like, super good. It can mean the opposite sometimes, though. I feel like it, it should probably keep its, like, its uh, piracy meaning, right? It, it should be like, oh, you didn't pay for this. That, that should just say what cracked is, right? Or am I just, is that an old way of thinking? Am I, am I sounding really, is my age showing, essentially? Just bust out the sand. Good. But now the entrance. Ah, another day in paradise. Look at this. And, whoop, I thought we were being attacked, but it's actually the, uh, the sun casting a shadow over our base mesa. Our baser. What Minecraft episode is this? Uh, this is probably like four, I think. No, five. This is the episode five. And they are in massive chunks as well. It still means stolen? Yeah, I thought so too. <laughs> That's exactly what I keep thinking every time somebody says it. Uh, we're looking gorgeous, actually. Uh, our village is kind of prettier. We probably also in this session want to go for a little bit of an explore so we can find ourselves some alpine forests. Because I know for a fact that we are going to need lots and lots of alpine stuff. Going to take all the sugar cane here. We're also going to need to fill out a gigantic bamboo... Not bamboo. Uh, sugar cane farm. So I'm going to do that right this second. While that takes away in the background. Uh, we could probably also maybe deposit all of the crap that we've got in our pockets here. Uh, this looks valuable. Let's put all of this crap in there. Lots and lots of iron. We've got two and a half stacks of iron, which is an awesome place to be at. Seven diamonds. And we already have our enchanting table as well. So... Probably not going to be wanting for much more. Blinking on that. Short. Done. Our chicken cooker is kind of actually functioning now, which is awesome. I think we disabled it so that we, yeah, we can get these eggs right here. We are going to get all of these eggs into our pocket. We're going to throw them into the back of the chicken cooker so that we can try and uh, get them to breed really, really fast. One, two, no, no. There's one. Nice. Any more? Probably going to dump this pile of eggs into here and then we'll go have a sleep. So we don't want to be snuck up on by a creeper, especially while we're here. Right next to our chicken cooker. Get out of the bed, farmer. Nice! Okay, so... I did do a little bit of research on... Oh, this villager just uh, grabbed my crotch, I think. How Donald Trump of you. I feel like we should get a lot of stuff that we should have already had set up now. Basically done and dusted. I'll throw the rest of those eggs in the, um, in the chicken cooker first. Before we do anything else, because we do need to plug this back in so it actually functions, we are going to probably get set up as a ranger main, and I feel like if we can do that, we probably don't need to carry around this shield on us at all times, which we are currently doing. I don't really like carrying around uh, shields or anything like that. A lot of people keep saying they're a base necessity, but I find that if you can just flat out kill a skeleton, it never shoots at you. Obviously. Hey there, Overdrive19. I'm playing Minecraft while watching the stream. Nice! I hope you have a good project sorted. 
We are going to be doing a bunch of projects today. We're going to be getting a mob grinder. That villager is getting freaky. Yeah, I know. It was a little bit illegal, wasn't it? Maybe we want to start enforcing law here. Oh, three chickens in a row. That is a statistical anomaly. Good. Uh, I also hear cat. Is there a cat in here? Let's hope not. Oh, there is a cat over there. So we'll dump all of these eggs in here. We'll go back into the machine, see if there are any spears to be dumped back into this machine. And if there aren't, I think we'll plug the machine back in and then we'll just put the roof on here so that a cat never gets in there to eat all of our delicious chickens. Whoops, I harmed that chicken right there. Excellent. This is exactly what we wanted, by the way. So I'll keep on dumping in here. I'm also pretty sure that we don't get... No, we do, we do get chickens if they hit another chicken. That's absolutely fine. Okay, good, done. And we'll go down here and see if there are, in fact, more eggs. There are lots of eggs in here. Also a dead chicken in for some reason. I do not understand that. That is weird. Okay, let's take all of these eggs. And then we are going to plug this in with one more redstone. Done. So now that should deploy all items in here that filters into that chest. We still have some uncooked chicken here, which is a little bit strange. But it should be fine, right? Every time the chickens lay an egg, it should fall into that uh, deployer. And we should be in a pretty good spot to have an automatic chicken cooker. Good. Get that there. Nice. Ah. Hey there, Fallen Sky. Liam the Destroyer might start making Undertale in Minecraft soon. Good luck with that. I've actually seen it done already. Somebody has already made the entirety of Undertale in Minecraft. I've seen it done. Do you have ray tracing on? We do. We actually spent an entire episode of this, probably the second episode that we did of Minecraft, just picking a nice shader pack. We don't actually have like god rays or anything like that. We, it's just called a shader pack and it's kind of what everybody mistakes for a texture pack. All right, we'll throw all these in here. Great. These chickens are going to mature, and then they're going to start buggering each other so we get more eggs, which is going to be awesome. And then we'll be able to get some automatic chicken cooked. Basically done dusted. We didn't get a single chicken out of that pile of eggs there. All right, we got two chickens out of that pile. We got one more pile right here. One chicken. Just the one chicken. Okay, so now we probably want to go ahead and plug this up, right? So let's get a log... I'm going to put that there. I know it's noisy and all, but it should be functioning. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to take all these cooked chicken with us, and that should fill itself out pretty soon. What else do we need to do? We've got all this redstone dust. We can probably put that in our valuables chest here and here. Got obsidian as well. We're not going to need that. Where are we going? we got the stone sword, so we can get some string. we got a full stack of iron armor. Let's actually keep that in here as a backup. Good. And we also wanted to go ahead and fill out this here sugarcane farm, didn't we? So that we can make enough paper to make enough books to enchant onto. Because I seem to remember that is actually a thing. You can enchant onto books. Oops, that was weird. Uh, let's just do this, I suppose. All right, that functioned well. Put that there. Nice. And we'll come back here. We're probably also going to need to get some cars if we are going to start dumping into enchanting as well. So that might be another wee project. We could get a cow farm set up because all we've got at the moment is sheep and piggies. Piggies don't give us anything. Sheep give us wool. So we're probably just going to breed the sheep, honestly, and get rid of the pigs eventually. Uh, we probably want to put this into the farming chest, the tree farming chest, which I remember is around this corner and in this box right here. All right, put that there. Put that there. Great. My dog just jumped onto my bed and crawled onto me and missed my place where the sun don't shine by an inch. My soul left my body for a second. I have a cat that specifically goes out of his way to stand on people's testicles. It is probably the worst thing in the world. Right? I mean, I could make a, um, a dirty pun about that, but uh, I'm, I'm going to withhold what I feel is going to be the dirty pun. Well, this guy's grinding stuff. Where's he trade? He is buying coal for emeralds. That's pretty much useless. If he was buying charcoal, that'd be so much more handy. Emerald for an iron axe, that's a pretty good trade, actually. We might want to kind of, like, get the villager... Resp nah, we're going to make a mob grinder. We're going to completely bypass having to trade with villagers whatsoever, because I, I feel like it's a little bit lazy. I, just a little bit lazy. So we're not going to do that. We've got this enchanting table. Okay, so we wanted mob grinder, and we wanted one other thing. That cat is absolutely evil. He's a black cat. He's got black cat energy. What else is it? Uh, grinder and enchantment. So while we kind of like wait for all that sugar cane to grow, we should probably go off and get ourselves a mob grinder. Right? I feel like that's going to be the thing. 
Maybe we build it into this gigantic mesa right here. I feel like we should do that. Let's do that. We're going to build a mob grinder into this mesa. I feel. Boing. Oh, we just got it too. Go away, G-Force. Why the hell would I want to do that now? <laughs> Your Game Force driver is ready to be updated. I could not care less. Literally could not care less. I'm not even playing a graphics intense game. This is Minecraft. It came out in 2011. Well, technically it actually came out in like 2009. But back then, people were just kind of like sharing around the very, very early alpha of the game. Okay, we'll come all the way up here. We're going to build our mob grinder into the side of this mountain, I think. It'll look really, really good, I think. Great. So, I seem to remember the kind of like the bare essentials for what a mob grinder should have. Oh, this is actually already recessed out for us as well. Perfect. Great. We're going to need to build an entrance into here as well. I think like a diagonal cavern would be pretty OP, but maybe not. So, this has to be... How many blocks? Uh, so, it needs three by three by three. I'm going to actually have to do some math here, unfortunately. Why not do it now? What, like uh, build the mob farm? We are going to do it right now. So we need three by three. And in between those, we're also going to need ourselves a gap of two. Plus two times two. And after that, we're also going to need a one by... So we'll just make two by three. So three times three is nine, two times three is six. We need to make it 15 wide. Okay, done. We counted it out. We are going to make it 15 wide. I also did all of that on a, um, on a notepad as well. Uh, yeah, I don't use calculators. I find them lazy. Uh, 15. All right. Uh, let's see if we can't like build it into this mountain right here. I feel like that's going to be the way. So let's count this out. I'll just make a wee square first. Make a little square before we actually commit to anything. Like so. Get rid of all of this. Don't worry, it does not actually consume our pickaxe's durability to break these. With our hands. It will with the sand. Okay, so if we just dump it here. This is one, two, three. No, that's way too skinny. One, two. I don't want to fall in this hole right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, getting a little bit wide here, 15, down here, that's, that's 15, so, okay, let's grab this here orange terracotta, and we'll mark out the 15 wides with these keystones, I suppose, maybe we could actually mine further this way, because we do have the space, let's do that actually, Let, let's just mine into the, the direction that we have mountain for, so maybe if we start like here, uh, I'm going to keystone this up with a couple of blocks of wood. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, it's getting a little bit sus now. Okay, we've got to move these keystones probably into the mountain a little bit further. Should also get a bed so we can sleep up here too. Maybe like from here? From here? Yeah, let's put one there. And I'm going to go back down to the village, and we are going to go get ourselves a bed, because we don't have any way to sleep at the moment. And we're also really, really hungry, <laughs> so we're not regenerating any health. Good, let's eat some of our cooked chickens that we earned off of the sweat of some automation. <sighs> I'm going to find a mountain, make Mount Ebert. That'd be a good one for Mount Ebert right there, that giant mesa. Minecraft, but all blocks have sand and gravel gravity physics. That's just rough. Honestly, actually, you've just explained seven days to die. That game also has gravel physics. And insistence on doing so as well. It's just a shame that game is so hideous. What the hell is going on with the light here? Hard to say. That's pretty. I like that. But the sun is still going down. Wow, this <laughs> machine is so noisy. That's not the machine. This is the machine. Okay, we've got a chicken on there already. There's some raw chicken. Probably actually just take this raw chicken and dump it into the furnace up the top side here. Done. That's going to cook the chicken and filter it into the bottom chest. What else we got? We need wool. We need one more white wool. So now that we got that, let's get some shears. Haven't we made like three pairs of shears already? Oh, they're probably in this chest actually. Shears? Yep, there they are. Ah! Says the sheep. Apparently. Okay, I'm taking their wool. 
They're probably warm enough, honestly. In fact, they're probably actually uh, way too hot. I don't feel bad about going in here because there's only grass in here and they won't go anywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and do a sleep. Then we'll uh, reshape our inventory again and do everything we need to do. Ah, I made the world and there's a pillager outpost next to three villages. That is sick. That's a great place to put that. You could like uh, put defenses all over that place. That'd be sick, honestly. I'd love to download some shaders like these, but my PC would explode the millisecond I load them into the world. Honestly, you're probably not wrong. I put it on Yinset's computer. I, I bought her Minecraft and I downloaded it onto the computer so maybe we could play it together for a series. And uh, she can't run shader packs because her PC is just so crap. But it, to be fair, her PC is about this big. So, you know, unsurprising uh, by any means necessary. Uh, we've got these shears that we want to put back into this chest right here. We'll make ourselves a nice little area to sleep in. Uh, where are they? Get they out. Good. Jam back in there. Probably want to get ourselves some building materials. Good. And should be fine and dandy. We're going to turn one of these blocks into a crafting bench up in the mob spawn. Probably also want some scaffolding. That's probably going to be really smart. Just to have some scaffolding, honestly. Yes. Probably don't need that sand. Oh, I'm happy with more or less what else we've got. We'll make a chest up there. We should be fine. Ah, we didn't make a bed, which is exactly what I wanted to do. We'll turn these planks into a bed, like so. Excellent. And, oh piss. Silent Hill is rolling in. That ain't good. Good thing there's iron golems all over the place. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that old Squidward sound effect right there. Okay, can we jump this again? Yes! Good. I remember that we kept missing those jumps over and over and over again, which was probably a little bit frustrating. But, you know, can't be that bad. So we kind of also need to count out 19 blocks of a drop, I think. No, we don't. We can just build the mob spawner wherever we damn well please. We would also conceal it in this mesa here. Well, that's not good. Uh, what? Just jump over here, I suppose. All right, good thing we made a bed, because climbing up this thing is actually becoming a little bit cumbersome. Okay, we'll come up here. Very good. Nice. I like. Good. Okay, so we've keystoned out this to be one of our corners. Let's go ahead and uh, put a bed here, I suppose. Set our respawn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. In line with this, that's actually not bad. I don't mind that at all. Uh, let's keystone this. Boop. Is that in line? Yep. Excellent. Okay, we are now surveying, which is actually something that I did do for a living for a number of for a number of years. Not as a surveyor, but a builder, because usually you can't really trust surveyors. Right, good. Bust that down so it looks nice and clean. I'm gonna go 15 inwards now. I'm pretty sure. It'd be easier to go this way. 15 inwards. One, two, three, four, five. Oop, I lost count already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we probably want to put a keystone on the other end of there. Right there. Great. Okay, now we need, just need a billion torches. We only have one. That ain't good. Uh, I mean, one is okay for now, but... It's not really useful whatsoever. Uh, let's start busting all this out. What has this diamond pickaxe got on it? Efficiency and unbreaking. Let's start using this one. Pretty damn handy, actually. Okay, we'll mine into the cavern right here, which I don't mind doing whatsoever. And we are going to mine 15 out from that keystone right there. They should be in kind of like 16... No, 15 wide. 17 uh, basically uh, being the big number. I do like how easy this is to mine out. We picked a really, really good place to put this grinder. All I hear is cats. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> okay, we'll get busting all this out. We're probably also going to have to uh, fill in the caves beneath this with torches, because I seem to remember that dilutes the amount of mobs that actually spawn around here. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, I suppose. I did see somebody drop some very helpful information, which is that you can build a mob grinder over an ocean, and it'll be very, very effective, because very, very few mobs actually spawn in the ocean. 
Okay, good. Get all of this clay mined out. Terracotta. Sorry, not clay. Get all of this. And we are in line with one of our keystones. Gorgeous. Nice. Put that right there. Done. You know what would be a great game to stream? Undertale Bits and Pieces is, has everything from Undertale, better sprites, color battle sprites, plus fan-made enemies and areas. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I'm becoming a little bit typecast in the whole Undertale thing, though. I don't know why. Why are people, like, still really, really into a game that is so old? Because it is a real... It's 11 years old by now, by this point, right? That sounds great. Yeah, I had a hunch everybody would be all, all about that. Okay, let's continue mining out a little bit of depth because I'm pretty sure that we need it to be exactly 19 blocks, right? And we kind of want a ground level that we can just walk into, I think. Actually, uh, how are we going to do this? I'll take a look at our coordinates. So we are at a height of 103. That's pretty damn high, actually. We're going to have to go all the way into the ground to make sure that we uh, see what we're doing. We are at, I think, Y1128. No, 1228. So, I'm going to go ahead and screenshot what I would hope to be the center of this. So, let's go ahead, hide that, and we'll count into the middle of this thing. We kind of need to. Kind of need to, actually. All right. One, two, three... Let's make sure we've actually kind of right. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, no. Uh, did I muck it up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, we cocked it up. All right. There's no harm in moving this keystone one further this way, and we'll bust this one down. Great. Uh, we'll get our pickaxe out, and we'll mine into here again. Excellent, and we want to move this keystone over one as well. Oop, there we go. Done. Oh, that's right. Music. Excellent. There we go. Uh, we'll count out 15 between here. One, two, three. No, we know that that's 15, actually, because we just moved the keystones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Great. Uh, probably want to go ahead and put another keystone on there so it's easily visible from a distance. And we want to count out into the center of here. So uh, half of 15 is 7.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.5. That is center that side. We'll just put a couple of keystones in here and then we'll measure it out um, the sideways as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7.5. Uh, so right here, yep, right there, excellent, so the direct center would be there, right? Yes, okay, that is the middle, so that's where the mobs are going to fall into, probably do with getting rid of this, actually no, let's keystone out the, um, the half centers as well, probably makes the most sense, uh, that one goes right there, please, yep, right there, and halfway over this away is right there. Is that right? Nope. Right there. Good. And this is probably actually the most important part of building, um, just in general, by the way, is knowing exactly where your centers are. One, two, three, four. Why am I counting? It's in line with this one. Is it that one? No, it is actually that one right there. So this one's going to be the other center. Perfect. Love that. Excellent. And that middle one right there, that is actually going to be where we are mining down from. So, let's start. No time like the present, right? Uh, we want to mine out kind of like a 3 by area around this as well. So I'm going to do that. Uh, all of this gets busted out. Excellent. I'm going to bust all of the sand down with my bare hands, because I am in fact a heathen. Nice! <sighs> How's the girlfriend? Uh, she's really, really good. And now that I'm, like, picking her up from work and stuff like that. Guess people just love the funny pixelated skeleton man. Yeah, I know, right? It's super weird. It's Spam Dong. Nice username. <laughs> Why your name Spam Dong? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't think the reason is going to be a mystery, though. It's, it's just a, it's a joke. Most likely. Okay. Let's go all the way straight down here. I was assuming that maybe we could sleep. 
We need to make a clock, actually. Ah, we do definitely need to sleep. I'm going to make a clock. It's probably going to be the most essential thing that we have now. So I'm going to go back to the village. I'm pretty sure it's really easy to make, right? We only need... Oh, my God. We were pretty deep into the night, it seems. We also need torches. I don't think we've got any torches. No, we have no torches. All of these guys are burning to death. Love that for us. Come on, guys. Burn. Burn, burn, burn. So what I'm going to do with this first mob farm is I'm going to automate it. And after we set it to automation, we'll probably maybe thinking about getting... Oh, there's a Enderman right there. We'll probably think about getting a farm that just kind of like autonomously works in the background. What the hell is this zombie doing? Uh, buddy? Can I have that armor? No, I can only have the experience of killing him. Oh well, experience is still good. So what are you doing now? Uh, we are focusing on getting a mob grinder built into this mountain right here. That's exactly what we're doing, Sarah Temps. I'm not late. No, Papyrus, you are not, but you are going to have to compete with several other people who share your username as well. Listen, man, I loved a bet to another streamer that was streaming Deltaroom. Nice. What was the bet? I think it's pretty obvious, right? Do X or, um, or you name yourself Spam Dong. Okay. How's the chicken cooker going? Ah, oh, it's actually done really well. We still have 15 raw chicken. These are supposed to be cooking because the way these chickens are supposed to be dying is they burn to death. They burn to death on the lava, which inherently just cooks the chicken. Ah, oh, well, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this anyway. Maybe we could just like, uh, oh no, we're still getting feathers out there. I was thinking maybe we could filter this chest into a furnace, but it seems like we don't really have the option to do so. Okay, we are using charcoal in here. That is fine and dandy. Got another two chicken in here. Love that. Okay. So, what do we come back here for? We came back here for a clock, didn't we? So, not a redstone clock, but it is going to... Right here. We need four gold ingots, which we have, and a single redstone dust. One of those. Four of those. Excellent. And I'm going to manually make this. There you go. Something you've never seen a YouTuber do before is manually making everything that they're crafting. How's this looking? That is almost impossible to read. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. Oh, well, we've got it, though. We can just leave. Oh. It is I, the Great Papyrus. Yes, it is he, the Great Papyrus. I made a bet that they would die to Jevil first try, but bet him first try, so I had to name myself Spamdong. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky. Jevil is such a fun fight. Okay, so coming up here... Now, it, does everybody love this game specifically because there's so little of it? Because it is a relatively quick game with massive replay value. That's got to be everybody's attraction to the game, right? To Undertale? I mean, it, it's not exactly pretty. <laughs> uh, okay, can't go up there. Want to go up these little steps, I suppose we could call them. All the way. Oh, this is so much easier to climb than going up the side of the mesa, to be quite honest. This is probably the easiest way of getting up topside. Good, done. Nice. Now that we did that, we'll start just absolutely digging this out. Probably get a chest up here or something as well, but I don't think it's necessary. Good. Keep on mining. Excellent. Gonna be mining harder than a Minecraft girlfriend. Uh, get all of this out. I am very thankful in Minecraft that the sand doesn't, like, slump sideways. That would annoy the ever-loving hell out of me. Oh my god, that would piss me off to no end. Okay, let's pick axe out. We might want to start using an iron pickaxe for all of this. Diamonds are probably a waste for what we're using them for, because we don't actually have too many. Although we do have enough to make another two diamond pickaxes, which is awesome. Excellent. Get all of this mined out. Uh, we don't have any of the torches we need, do we? Uh, we'll probably find clay eventually. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll find clay. We'll just keep on mining down. Maybe maybe we'll find coal. We've got sticks on us, so not that bad. All right, keep on coming down here. Great. I also, I'm kind of loving this terracotta. It's actually a very, very nice looking block. I think I hear a mob past uh, Camilla Cabello's soothing singing. What the hell is that, copper? Yuck. Why bother? Why even bother put this here? It does nothing. We also have like a two and a half stacks of it. We've got more copper than iron and we can't turn it into tools. Why can't we turn copper into tools? That's like common sense, right? Copper is 
it's a, it's a pretty good material to start making tools and stuff out of. Or even kind of like electrical engineering or something like that. Yeah, we're going to find coal. We're going to find coal. It doesn't rip. The hell is that? Uh-oh. Uh. Plug that in. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Actually, there may be some decent stuff in there coal-wise. I'm going to go in. We're going in. I'm feeling lucky. Ah, nice. It's coal right here. And there's no enemies, which I also adore. Okay, excellent. I'm going to turn both of those into... Nope, not stone pickaxe. Into some torches. Very cash money. And we probably want these on our hotbar instead of this clock that I can't read. But I wish I could read. Okay, that's good. We do actually need to light up every single cave we come across as well. So we are going to be going out of our way to do that. Because it will dilute the amount of mobs that spawn in our grinder anyway. Let's come, keep on coming down here. God, I love Camilla Cabello so much. She's such a good um, musician. No one really gives her the credit that she deserves. Everyone knows her for kind of like the music that is very radio-friendly crap. I suppose same as Kesha, really. If anybody actually goes and listens to what Kesha chooses to put out instead of what her label tells her to put out, you'll find that she's got some really, really good music. Okay, we're stuck. That ain't good. Uh, let's plug in some terracotta right here. Probably want to go ahead and deposit some of our stuff as well. Uh, we need to put a torch down there in case something spawns. Good, and I'm going to mine this out. Done. Okay, now that we've done that, coming back down here. Put some torches down in the hole as well, I suppose. But we don't really need to worry too much, simply because we can't get enemies spawning on the... On the walls, and if they spawn on top of that keystone, they fall down here, they just die. Which is awesome for us. Absolutely fantastic for us. <sighs> Don't know if Undertale is a quick game, but I'm not an Undertale guy. A lot of people here are. A lot of people uh, seem to have discovered me through an Undertale stream. <laughs> I'm never going to be going back to that game either. I don't know why people are like, oh, here's something you should try in Undertale. Like, I'm not going to be going back to that game after I finish off the game theory. It's going to be basically just done in my eyes. I'll have done literally all I can as a YouTuber with that game. I'm not just going to like play it over and over again for the brain rot of being able to watch the game for the billionth time. Being played by someone who knows what they're doing. Copper sucks. So yeah, perhaps beat Jevil first try, a girl gamer beat Jevil first try. I don't really think it uh, matters what gender somebody is, right? As long as they've got good hand-eye coordination, they can, they can definitely beat one of those games really, really easily. In fact, Yin Set, my girlfriend, the only games she is actually good at are platforming games, and that pisses me off to no end because I'm terrible at platforming. Very consistently bad at it. Uh, I'm going to start dumping scaffold down, actually. Drop that cobblestone on the floor. Yep, here we go. So this is why I like scaffolding so much. Okay, that's fine. You can climb it. You can climb up the scaffolding. I don't know if it's got like a height limit or something like that. Damn, this torch is in the way. It does have a height limit. Okay, can we go back down? Yes. Excellent. All right, that works. Keep on dumping all of this down here. I'm gonna put a torch down here in case something spawns. We'll keep on dumping. I mean, that looks high enough. We'll do a couple more just for the sake of convenience as well. <sighs> I discovered you through your portal stream. Nice. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome to hear. Portal was such a fun game. That one, honestly, I probably liked it more than Undertale, to be quite honest. Undertale was fun for a bit, but, you know, it stagnates because there's a content drought. drought. There is a thing where you can get eight butterscotch pies. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'm going back to figure out how to get that, though. That's the thing. That's the thing I was just talking about. People want me to go back and do all these really, really unusual challenges in Undertale, but I'm just not going to... <laughs> Uh, I'm setting the game on YouTube as well, by the way. Because I usually don't get a chance to do so by the time the actual stream starts. Okay, so I think if we bust this, all of them fall down, right? Yes, sir. That's exactly what happens. So now that we have all of that done and dusted, we probably want to go ahead and refine one of these into... What the hell is that? What is that? Acacia wood. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that block before. Oh, it's probably for corners, right? Why would anybody want that? Oops. Uh, so we want to refine one of these into planks. Then we want to refine that into a crafting bench, which I'm going to replace my my 
food with. Put this here. Nice. And we probably want to torch up these keystones. Just ones on the corner I think are necessary. Probably no other ones are necessary, to be quite honest. Stick that there. Come all the way through here. Drop that there. Very good. That's freed up a slot in our inventory. It is becoming late in the day. I'm going to see... Oh, we can kind of actually see the clock in our inventory. Maybe I'll just put that there, for convenience's sake. Can I put it here? Oh, I can. Oh, that's an offhand. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I think we're about to approach sundown, right? That's what the clock is telling us. When the black line hits the middle of the clock, that's probably nighttime. Yeah, we definitely can't sleep just yet. Uh, now, let's go ahead and make ourselves... No, that's also the, the wood. We probably want to... One, two, three, four. Get four of these planks. And let's turn them into chests. One and two should do us real fine. Uh, this is just going to be a bunch of building materials and crap, essentially. Boop, boop. Uh, how's the clock looking? Okay, it's at the middle, so we can probably actually sleep now. Done. Hey! Makes sense that there's no copper tools or armor because they would corrode. Oh, yeah, and iron wouldn't. Iron wouldn't form the most common um, <laughs> chemical on Earth, iron oxide. It, it, it wouldn't do that, right? There's no way. There's no way. I'll be watching for when you stream Deltarune chapters 3 and 4. There's no way around it. Yeah, I'm going to be playing that as soon as it comes out. I'm really excited for those. The combat is actually fun, as opposed to, like, uh, uh, Undertale, where I probably would say that when you get up to Sands, there requires there to be a bit of a skill level right there. So you've got to practice them over and over again, which I am not all about. I don't really like practicing games. It takes all the fun out of it. Games aren't really fun if you have to practice them. Okay, let's start dropping all of our resources in here. Got a lot of different colored terracotta. Red sand, orange terracotta as well. I'm going to keep that stack of cobble because it's pretty handy. I'm going to put that rotten flesh in there. Two arrows, we're not using that either. Probably not going to use this boat up here either. Bones, that can go in there. Great. I'm pretty happy with this now. I'm going to keep sand because that's also really helpful as well. Okay, now that we did that, probably want to go back down, right? Actually, let's go off the side here. And we'll take a look at what level this is on the, uh, on the Z-axis, not the Y-axis. If we can figure that out, we can kind of like build a really, really nice entrance. Maybe down here. Okay, what level is this? This is... Actually, let's go one up. This level is... 68. So we want to dig down to 68. We're going to do that. We're going to dig down to 68 and we are going to... Build a nice little entrance into our mob grinder, into the side of this mountain right here. Maybe we'll even cart it up. Excellent. Good. I think in the next section, I'm going to do something which is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft, which is go and find an unwater temple, and then dry the whole thing out. Make it real dry. Get a, um, get a big fish farm going there. I love doing that so much. Just automating a, um, a hidden temple so that you can get unlimited uh, prismarine. Which, it looks really, really nice. I'm not a Deltarune guy either. I think when the next game comes out, when the next two chapters come out, you'll, you'll probably want to at least see it. I feel, I feel people would want to see it, but even if you don't like the series itself, you've got to admit, it is still an objectively good game. For sense, I don't try to remember, I just try to beat. Yeah, that's how you don't beat them, especially if, like me, you're relying on a Bluetooth controller. It just doesn't work. It just, it doesn't work. Boom, okay. All the scaffolds come down here, which is why I collapse some of it up topside. A bit of scaffold here as well. We've lost two scaffold. I don't really care too much. It's really easy to make. Okay, still going to keep on digging all of this out. How far have we got now? I'm going to check the stats as soon as I mine out this level and take up that, all that cobblestone. We are at 76. So we don't want to go too much further down. Come all the way down here. Excellent. Keep on mining down. Hey, coal. Nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Great. I uh, probably want to grab it, actually, so we can make torches and stuff. We're going to have to mine this out anyway, so we can kind of, like, create a maintenance hatch. Damn, this is a big vein. Oh, my God, this one's huge, and we also got some yucky, useless copper. Gross. All right, going to mine out this level here, so I don't feel too bad about mining into this. Great. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Take that, and take that, and also I'm going to take that. Great. Take that, take that, 
keep on busting this out because there's so much coal in here and we are pretty low on torches and also fuel. We don't have a lot of fuel. Damn, this one's huge. Holy hell. Look at all this coal. It doesn't end. It's literally not ending. Uh, fortunately, there's a bunch of copper all over the place uh, that we aren't going to mine out. So even if there's coal on the other side of it, we're not going to know. Damn, this is a huge... That's probably the biggest coal vein I've seen. All right, good. Now that that's out of the way, we have to torch that up now. We don't have a choice. Uh, we don't have torches, but we do have a stack of coal, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and just make as many as we can. Great. I'm happy with that. Now our choke point is sticks, which is probably a first. I'm going to go ahead and stick that there. Stick that there. Great. And we want to keep going down to 68, don't we? So we're at 73. Want to go down another five. One. Right here. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and three, four, five. We want to go all the way down there. Okay, get all of this. There's gravel down here. Great. What a fantastic thing to be down here. What if we hit this? Is it going to bust into a cavern? No. Good. That was lucky. Actually, that was very lucky. Okay, I'm standing on some gravel. Probably the worst thing to be standing on in the game, to be quite honest, because it's very, very volatile. All right, excellent. So this should be the right level. It is level 68. Perfect. So now if we go back into the other side of the mountain, we should be able to mine into here and we'll be able to kind of like walk into a room. Let's kind of like get all of this filled out a little bit so that we can kind of make more maintenance hatch. We can build around this. Get all of this out. Bust out that stone. Great. Mine out all of this stuff as well. Excellent. And we want to mine into this wall too. And we're going to make uh, kind of like a nice looking area. Or maybe a really bad looking area. Maybe we'll <laughs> make it look like hell. Because we're just going to see mobs burning up basically as soon as we get down here every single time. Okay, so let's go ahead and bust out this gravel. We should be fine. I'm heading now to saw saw up some wood. Real Minecraft. Best of luck. God, I, I miss chopping my own wood, honestly. I used to chop my wood. I used to, I grew up on a, um, a, a bit of a farmland and I used to be the one that chops up the firewood every morning. God, I loved doing it. It was so much fun. I also like the idea of Toriel and Undyne being in the dark world. Oh yeah, there's l literally no evidence for that. In fact, actually, there's evidence that directly states that that is not going to be the case because the uh, two worlds have nothing in common with each other. It's made likely that the Chris left the door open before they made the fountain to let Undyne fall in as well. Oh yeah, that's a that's a new one. Haven't heard that one before. Is that an original theory? You don't see original theories these days. You don't see a hell of a lot of them. Okay, we're going to go up the scaffolding. Damn, that rain did not last long. All right, everybody, I hope everybody's enjoying their epilepsy, their free epilepsy for the day. Excellent. Oh, we actually put exactly enough to, to get up. Perfect. That is a deep asshole. Great. Uh, maybe we mine out this direction here. And the reason I say that is it's going to require us to mine out less. And we'll also end up basically at the mine anyway. Okay, eat a few chickens, eat a few whole chickens. What's the time like? Ah, oh, we still got some daylight. We're still doing fine. Why am I stressing? Okay, um, let's actually do exactly what I was just talking about. Let's go all the way down here and we'll mine out a little entrance that we can use to go to and from the actual mob grinder itself. I love how it's raining down here and not up top. Okay, um, yeah, this one. I'm gonna mine out this centerpiece, I suppose. I think we already torched this place up, so I'm not gonna worry too much about light levels. We just want a little bit of a cave, don't we? That bit. And keep on mining all the way through here. I'm actually gonna stick these torches on my, on my offhand now. Simply because we need to. We actually need to. Yeah, we'll bust through here. Still on the whole, like, um, getting uh, firewood stuff. I have found that because I was so good at swinging a log splitter, you know, one of the manual log splitters, not one of the ones that have a machine that you turn on, you put a log in there, and they split it for you. 
but like one of the axes. It, it looks like a gigantic hammer with a wedge on the back. So it's, it's used to split logs and split heads on the battlefield as well. Uh, I got so good with that thing that when I started building, I didn't realize I had a skill that was incredibly rare, which was the ability to basically take a sledgehammer and swing and smack on the top of a post every single time. So I could knock a post um, very, very deep into the, the ground uh, where, where I was building very, very fast. It would probably take me 30 seconds for one post. I'd get one person just to hold it and then trust me. <laughs> I never missed either. And then I took that skill and I went to arcades and I found that when I went to the arcades, there was this uh, gigantic thing called the King of Hammer, which is basically just a big foam hammer. You smack a, you smack a w wing ding. And it gives you a high score based on how hard you smacked it. I could go onto that machine and get five free games in a row. And they would, every time, give me the high score payout, which is huge amounts of tickets. Not an original theory, but if you look back in the end of Chapter 2, it makes some sense. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but it seems very possible. I'm not interested in anybody else's theory. Come up with your own thoughts, please. I finished making the hole in Mount Ebert. Okay. We've kind of also made a, a Mount Ebert, I suppose. Okay, good. We've kind of... We've kind of uh, linked this up in a weird way, I feel. Oh, well. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to function. I'm going to go ahead and remove this wall right here because it looks weird. And so does that one because it's not connected at the base there. Let's go ahead and remove all of that. Hopefully we will remember that there's a gigantic hole right here. Hopefully. Well, otherwise we don't know. Otherwise we just don't know. Ah, I hate looking at other people's theories because it always taints my own views. Like, it's one thing to compare notes and stuff like that, but every time somebody else comes up with a theory that I find, oh, yeah, that's reasonable, and then they say, oh, no, it's not my theory. I watched it on YouTube. I, I don't know why as well, because I know that that's my demographic on YouTube. That's exactly the kind of people that I make these videos for. It's the kind of people that go and consume other people's theories. I just, I inherently will never do it. Instead of flowers at the bottom, it's hay bales. Ah, right, so they don't die. That was actually my first thought when I was first playing the game, um, Undertale. I thought that maybe we were dead and it was some kind of afterlife acid trip. I don't like that there's a creep. Whoa, look at this. Look at the fields of sand over here. Oh, we could build something really cool down there, right? Like a gigantic castle. I think we should put a castle over there. Maybe we'll make a village over there. That'd be kind of cool. We can kind of see it from the top of the mob grinder anyway, so we'll never lose that place. All right, good. Come all the way back up here. So now that we've marked out the majority of this, we probably want to go ahead and start filling out some of the more annoying nuances, right? So if I remember right from Bedrock Edition, it might be different on Java. We've got to make it 19 high, right? There you go. Excellent. So, I'm going to go ahead and just keystone out what 19 is right in the center here. So, from here, uh, poppers going into a chest on this level right here. Floor for the zombies and stuff to fall onto. No, we want them to fall directly onto the uh, hoppers. And we want a little gap, so that's not actually our issue. So, we count from here. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, so we want to start mining up from here. Essentially, we want to make mob grinder, mob grind vibes, which is going to be three high again, if I remember right. And this one's probably going to be a bit of a crude and rudimentary one because we're probably not going to come up here and. Uh, start doing a lot of maintenance on this hole. There's another mine proper over there as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna jump. Boing! Okay, good, we made it. What's in here? Ah, uh, we already torched this out. Great. So, I'm back up this level. Mine out here. Excellent! Okay. I'll get back to you when I manage to think of some theory created as a lab accident. For now, I'm gonna go fight Rules Car in the acid tunnel. Best of luck, my dude! He was such an easy fight. God, he was easy. Every single time as well. Okay, good. Busting all of this out. So we want to basically, from that point in the middle here, we want to count out 15. 1, 2, 
13 left. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Put a torch there. 8. No, I actually think we've got enough. We don't, no, we don't need 15. We need 7.5. Uh, that's the point 0.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We went too far in. By one block, I think. All right, let's just pack it out with this instead of yucky old cobblestone. Damn, we only had one of those. Okay, we'll do this one next. Boop, there we go. Good. And we want to go basically five out from here, right? One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Uh, I'll put a torch there so we don't get any spawns. And in here, this will be tricky. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. I say it's tricky because we have this cave right under us here. Okay, good. Let's put a little wingle dingle right there. Nice. And from here, another five. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Now we want to connect these up at the corners, don't we? So from here, we just want to go one, two, seven. We want to go seven from here into the corner. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One and two makes seven. He stoned. Oh, hey, there's something above us too. Great. <laughs> Don't know what's down there. I'd like to ignore it though. Okay, let's get some terracotta in here. Wall that off. Good. And from here, if we just mine into here, we should connect up the tunnel. Yep, there it is. Great. We've counted this out perfectly. So from here, seven. One, two. And then from here, we can do five right from where we stand. So we don't need to count. Excellent. And get all of this out of the way. Boop. Put that there. Nice. Like Flowey said, that's a wonderful idea. Oh, I'm full of wonderful ideas, my dudes. I'm always full of wonderful ideas. Okay, there we go. Uh, now from here, one, two, and we want to do five from here, which we can actually reach. This diamond pickaxe has been lasting us a wee while, but I think it's actually on its last legs, unfortunately. I don't think we're really interested in fixing it up either. Some coal here, nice. Probably not going to take it, though. We've probably got enough coal. To last us a, bil a billion years. Uh-oh. Uh. I don't know how far to mine in here. One, two. So if you stand here. Five from here. Yeah, this will be the fiddly one. We're probably going to have to actually stick a floor on this. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to torch that right there. Probably want to torch all of these corners, right? Put that there. Good. Excellent. One, two... And now five from here should connect up to the last little point. There it is. Or maybe not. What the hell? Did we miscount? I think we may have miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We miscounted. Okay, that's fine. We'll fill it in with cobblestone because we've got a billion blocks of it in our hands right here. One, two, three. And we do need to plug these in. Four and five, break that. Put that there, there, and that is a torch. This is where we want to bust into. Okay. My cat's found a way to wake me up at 3 a.m. Yeah, so is ours. He just paces up and down the hallway screaming. Like, I wish I could get away with that, but it's very obnoxious still. Uh, so this is where the actual mob grinder is going to go. Let's start linking up all these tunnels. So we don't really have a choice in the matter. We have to do that. Bust all of this out. Very cash money. Yes, sirree. All of it. Yes, yes. And this one here. Good. And here. And here. And bust this out. Done. Now we need to fill in this floor. Done. And fill all of this out as well. We've torched it up so nothing is going to spawn down there, fortunately. This all has to go as well. Excellent. I feel like it's probably actually easier to build this into a mountain than it is to do anything else in the game. Uh, let's put a torch up there, if we can. There you go. Torch that up. Bust that down. And I'm going to knock down most of the ceiling as well, if I can. Good. I love this fleshy terracotta. Maybe, maybe we could make like a... Um, 
Maybe we can make a castle out of flesh. That'd be disgusting. That'd be probably the worst idea I've had on the channel in a long time. A flesh castle. <laughs> Turn into rotting flesh fast. Good. Okay, that's all done. Bust all of this out, because we don't want it in the way. And all of this as well. Nice. Now, I also remember that you can make, like, levels for a mob grinder, but I don't necessarily think that that is going to be something we're going to work on. We can probably add levels to this, but as long as we just block off at least a single lift, we'll have a mob grinder. Bust all of this out. Nice. I know it looks hideous. We're not actually going to be coming back into this area of the game ever again. We're hopefully going to be going into the connected up area down on the bottom floor. Good, and knock that out. Great! Ah, Undertale or Deltarune? Uh, no, this is Minecraft. You are very, very close, though. Very close. Bit of flesh right here. Excellent. Bust out all of this here. Great. I don't know what we're going to get, though. I remember that we can also kind of, like, use a mob grinder to farm up discs. And I do have a giant list of things that need to be done. Uh, thanks to good old Scott's World, who actually did make a, a list of challenges for me. And we'll be polishing off at least most of them. We've probably done half of them already, to be quite honest. It was a huge Excel spreadsheet, though. Like, enormous. Whoa! Whoa! I don't know what just happened. I couldn't move. The game hijacked my controls. I couldn't move. Know what I meant? I know. Uh, uh, what you're doing is you're asking me a question that chat literally asks me 20 times every single day. So I'm derailing it. <laughs> I'm drawing a line in the sand. Okay, come around here. Probably want to deposit all of our crap into this chest over this way. Nice. Uh, all of this can go out of my pockets. I'm not interested. We'll keep two stacks of cobblestone, I think. These two stacks. Good. We'll also start keeping our coal in here as well, because we've got heaps of torches. Um, we probably won't actually want any torches in the mob spawner. We've got raw copper as well. Yuck. I don't want that. Uh, it's almost sundown as well, according to the torch. Maybe. My bad? That's fine. That's fine. It's, it's something that I definitely know about, because I'm, I'm always on the stream. I'm the one who's always on the stream. Okay, we'll come down here. We probably need to make a little bridge. No, we don't. We can just go over here. Excellent. So, nothing should be spawning around here. We might get a couple of mobs spawning above us, but they shouldn't really give us too much grief, honestly. Good. Get all of this out of the way. Perfect. And we're probably also going to want to torch up above this mountain as well, simply because we don't want anybody to spawn on top of our mob grinder. That wouldn't validate the whole point of the thing. All right, good. I'm also always on the stream. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you remember what we were playing this time last week? Got him. Uh, we'll get all of this out of here. Keep on getting all of that busted down. Great. Okay, so I don't know what this pickaxe is really going to do for us, aside from having unbreaking, which is probably... We should have been using this one more than the other one, and then we should just repair this one using the the diamonds that we have instead of making brand new pickaxes. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense the way we've actually been doing this. Okay, we'll bust out all of this. I was not here for that. Oh, my dude, the answer was in the title of this stream. We're playing Minecraft. Every Thursday we play Minecraft. Mainly because I need to get better at the game before I get into the modded Minecraft. Excellent. I don't know, like... I used to play a lot of Bedrock Edition, and I still feel like a lot of the mechanics of Bedrock are still just significant improvements over the Java Edition, which is the one we're playing. This is Java Edition is the one that sports mods. Like, um, being able to just mash click on a mob to be able to kill them instead of doing these weird assassination drop shots, because how the crit system works in Minecraft now on Java completely removes the need... For swords, it's it's literally counterintuitive to be using swords. You may as well just use axes uh, as a main weapon because they hit significantly harder. And if you're going to be relying on fewer hits to kill an enemy, you may as well just get the hardest hitting weapon, right? Because it's best for durability. Swords will just kind of like let you down in the end. And they also only hit half as hard, which is rubbish. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I never knew you existed. Yeah, that's basically my main issue on the channel at the moment is no one knows I exist. Okay, good. Bust all of that out. Perfect. 
We're going to have to go up a few more levels as well because we need a couple of floating uh, partitions so that mobs can actually spawn on them in the dark. This level that we are kind of mining out here is going to be the water level. It's going to be water world. And all of it should lead us essentially into the center of the room so that the mobs can get dragged down. We're probably going to be taking a significant brunt of it as well, unfortunately. But the benefit of that is that we actually know to fight against the current because if we don't, we die. I'm going to bust this down. I remember it was like this, I think. There's little corners like this, I think, with a with a way. And then we put a water source right there. Good. And get rid of this as well. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think this was the way. One, one, two, one, two, three. Good. Because you've got to get the water basically to reach the center of the room without flowing into the center of the room. And I think this was actually the way. Alright, good. That there. And we'll put this here. Excellent. Okay, so that's bottom floor taken care of. We still need a floor above us. Kind of have a partition. And we can probably kind of keystone them out as we see them as well. All right, let's come up here and make sure this is all torched up. It is. Love that for us. Uh, we'll wall this off because we don't actually have a choice. Uh, put that there. Great. And put all of these here. Okay, I can't really remove that. Uh, can we? Yes, nice. All right, now that that is done and dusted, we probably want to put a torch over here as well in case something spawns. This floor right here, this one's going to have to actually be where the partitions are. And the reason I've left the roof on the floor above it is we've got to stick them out like this. We've got to have three by three blocks. Excellent. Okay, and then we leave a gap of two, which we have already planned out. One, two, three. That should be the direct center of the room. Good, and then we come over here, we miss two, and we do another three by. Two, three, one, two, three. Is this? Yeah, oh, perfect. We've nailed it, first go. Excellent, and we leave two, one here, we'll keystone there, and over here, miss two, one, and two, and also three. Good, and we'll build onto these right here. Perfect. One, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Go ahead, grab this cobblestone and fill this out. That was yuck. Ooh, I don't know why we did that. Revolting. I uh, probably want to fill that one in as well. Ah, we've uh, cocked it up a little bit. I think we got to remove these. <laughs> we may have gone one too far inwards because I kind of see there is a gap between here and the wall. Uh, this needs to be walled in as well. One, two, three, four. That's good for now, I suppose. So this has got to be three wide over this way. How the hell have we done this? Ah, oh, we've only got a gap of once. So we've actually screwed up all of this. Okay, not all of these down. Bust all of that down. Nice. And it's done. Ah. Yo, bro, you're Australian, right? No, I am not. I am from New Zealand. Mind mailing me some fairy bread? I heard it's awesome. That's Australian. I'm from New Zealand. Fairy bread's re you can try fairy bread. It's really easy to make. Like, you just get some hundreds and thousands of sprinkles, butter some white bread, jam it on there. It's, it's probably the easiest meal you can make in the world. Have you tried Amazon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some, uh, get some fairy bread order over Amazon. That'll do it. Okay. Let's bust all of these through here. Good. Put all of this around here. Now we're gonna need a bunch of wood as well because I seem to remember we need to put trapdoors in between every single one of these uh, gaps here. Oh, I think that torch just prevented us from putting a uh, block down. Okay, missed two. One, two, three. You are literally the first person on YouTube who has mistaken me for an Australian. That is so funny. Every single video that I stick on YouTube says that it comes from New Zealand. Just because I have this inherent fear of meeting uh, usually Americans, uh, who just assume that New Zealand is actually some kind of part of Australia. It never has been. I don't know where, the, where that myth has come from, but... Uh, no, we've never actually been a part of Australia. And with the way Australia is going, we're probably not even going to be trade partners with them for long either. Okay, so... Probably want to come up onto the scaffolding. Can we just, like, stay on the... Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, we'll come up here, and then we want to start busting out this wall so that we can start standing on these partitions here 
Uh, let's actually start with this one, because I can actually see it. Excellent, and we want to mine this out so we can get there. Whoops. Well, that's unlucky. All of the scaffolding just uh, fell down. But now we have access, so it's probably actually better we did that than not. Okay, knock all of this down. Excellent. Can we go up one? Yes. Great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick a little bridge leading over here, and we're going to link these up with bridges, I think. Because we want to get over here to bust out a... I think it's a three high wall, right? No, it's a two high wall. We want to get a two high wall, and we could stick more partitions on top of it to increase the amount of mobs that fall down here, but we probably don't want to get too greedy straight off rip. I saw that up. My bad, sometimes I have a hard time telling accents apart, especially Australian and British, but I think that's pretty common. Australians sound like this. Austra Australians talk where they enunciate all of their vowels in really, really weird ways. It's really easy to impersonate Australians. I actually, I don't sound like I'm from New Zealand. I've got a, an accent that I've kind of like carefully curated because I kind of like, I like customizing things about myself and I don't want to sound like everybody else. You know somebody's from Northern New Zealand when they, when they talk like this, if they have an accent that's very nasal and they talk like this, you know you're talking to somebody from Northern New Zealand. They basically sound like they're from South Africa, but they've got a massive cold at all times. <laughs> and I am not fully American, I am Italian. Gorlami. Italian. That kind of Italian? Oh, I had this, uh, I had this funny instance where uh, a girl who was kind of smitten with me once, um, she thought that I was Italian because my name on Facebook at the time was Vincenzo Valtieri. I stole the last name from Oblivion, the, the vampire quests, and the first name, that is actually my name, what my mother calls me. It's, it's supposed to be Vincent, but... You know, I had that, that Facebook account and she added me as a friend and she was like, oh, he's Italian, thought I was some kind of exotic good. So she started telling all of her friends and family that she met this really, really nice Italian dude. <laughs> no, I'm not Italian. I don't have any Italian in me, unless I'm making spaghetti bolognese. In which case, the Italian in me is quite obviously just culinary. It's not actually like heritage or anything like that. In fact, she was uh, kind of upset to find out that I was actually three quarters Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't have a single exotic thing in my blood. Okay, we'll take all of this terracotta right here, and we'll start busting down. Whoop, that was weird. Ah, sand! Awesome! Love that. We've got sand falling down here. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the trick, where we put down the, uh, the torch on there. Or we could use the terracotta block instead. Obviously not what I was interested in. Bust that down, and... Okay, we need to find something that... I don't want to bust it down with my pick. There we go, great. Got that out of the way. Done! Okay, let's keep on busting all this down. Oh! It went all the way to the top. Okay, well, that's not good. We're going to have to keep that in mind, I think. Excellent. Alright, good. Italian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Inglorious Bastards. Have you seen Inglorious Bastards? What a movie. That's a damn fine deal. I'd take that deal. Private, would you take that deal? I'd take that deal, sir. Don't blame you. It's a damn fine deal. What a good movie. So quotable. Brad Pitt in that is awesome. I love Brad Pitt. He's so funny every time he does something. All right, good. Bust all of that down. Unless it's Mr. and Mrs. Smith, in which case that wasn't actually very funny at all. Like, it had its moments, but it, w it wasn't what I would consider to be, like, rebusting comedy. Burn after reading. That's a good comedy with Brad Pitt. He nailed that one. Maybe World War Z also probably not rebusting. Well, I mean, there were a couple of rebusting moments in it. It wasn't comedy, obviously. It was gore, but, you know, such is part of the course in zombie films. Okay, good. Busting all of this down. I don't know, like, uh, I quite like Tarantino's movies. I know that a lot of people think he's a bit creepy on account of the foot thing, but he you got to separate the art from the artist, right? I never watched it, but maybe I will now. Oh, it is so worth it, my dude. It is such a good film. Just a really, really good one. A really, really, really good film. If you ever saw, like, one of those spaghetti western uh, films that came out that um, Generation X really, really like, it's basically that, but in World War II. You know, like, cheesy one-liners and... You know, characters squinting at each other with a bunch of vignette um, popping above the, above, above and below their eyes. It's really good. It's very traditional. 
And I might be wrong, but I think the entire thing was also filmed on Type 8 film, which is a bold choice in the age of digi digital cameras. Or maybe I'm thinking of the Hateful Eight. Regardless, very stylistic, very quotable, very iconic film. It's so worth it. It is so, so worth it. Okay, bust all this out. Nice. Do we want to do a second level? I'm not entirely sure if we do. It's going to take ages. Like, a billion years. What's the time? It's daytime. I love how the clock only uh, arranges itself when it's in your inventory as well. When you actually see it in your inventory. It doesn't do anything otherwise. Uh, we're going to need a billion trapdoors, I think. We're going to have to do a little bit of math to figure out how many trapdoors we're going to need. I could probably actually do the math in my head now. So, if this is 15 by 15, that would be... Oh, God. Um... Oh, that would be 200. 15 by 15 is 200. No, something's gone wrong here already. 15 by 15. 10 by 15 is 150. And 5 by 15 is 75. So 225 blocks minus 9 times 9, which is um, 81, I think. All right, 225 minus 81, 224. Uh, 164. We're going to need 164 traps. Quick math. Man's not hot. 164 trapdoors. That is going to be heaps of trapdoors, and I think if we make them out of the acacia wood, they'll look really, really nice, so that when these mobs are going to hell, uh, they're going to hell in style, in the world's most bougie coffin. Why haven't they added uh, mahogany to the game, by the way? That is such a nice-looking wood. I'm going to write that down, actually. And if I've done it wrong, somebody tell me. 164. Nice! Should I add flowey? No, absolutely not. Do not add flowey. Whatever the hell that means. I don't even know what the context for what you're asking me is right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, such is the, uh, the life of somebody who played Undertale once on a stream, huh? Everybody just comes in with these inside jokes and uh, you don't know what the hell they're talking about. Oh yeah, do it! De definitely listen to Spam Dong. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Do what Spam Dong says. Unless it's like quite obviously fascist, in which case, um, don't. <laughs> don't do what he says. You might get a power complex. Good, bust all of this down. We've almost actually finished the, the first lift, believe it or not. Nice. And in only an hour. Wow, we blasted through this mob grinder. My god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to start sticking some scaffold around the place. All right, that should be fine. Can we jump this? No, we hit our head on the ceiling. And we can't really change that. Okay. So we want to go one lift up higher, don't we? Because then we can make another level to this mob grinder. So if we go ahead and just like start stacking these up here. Beautiful. And we want to m start mining out on this level here, which is exactly where the scaffolding has taken us. Bust all of that out. I want to go probably one out in all directions from here in this tunnel. Uh, probably don't want that third lift either. Probably want to maybe not do that. Okay, we definitely fit here though. That's awesome. Okay, we are going to go ahead and suck in this terracotta and we're going to fill out this level that we did not want to bust out. It's going to be hard to get onto this platform now with this, um, this scaffold here. But that'll be a problem that we cross later, I think. Uh, Alright. Go ahead and bust all of that down with the little torch trick. Go ahead and knock that down. Knock that down. Bust all of that sand down with the torch trick. Bust that down. Oop, didn't quite get that one. Put that down there. Excellent. Because I am not doing all of the sand by hand. <laughs> I'm not a hand sand kind of guy. I'm more like Anakin when it comes to sand. Rough and coarse and uh, annoying. Gets everywhere. Okay, good. There's another pile of sand right there. Put that there. Oh. Does this work? Oh, that works so much better than like trying to snipe it underneath all of the sand. Good. Uh, let's keep on busting through. Excellent. So this is going to be the next level. We want to go, uh, so from the center, one, two, and then from here, we want to go, how many do we want to go? Actually, instead of counting, let's go down. Let's go down and actually figure this one out. 
So down here, from the hole, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six from the hole. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Easy! Okay, I'm gonna come down here. Whoops, I just fell down the hole. That's embarrassing. Why, though? Why did I fall down there? No reason. Okay, so we need to go six out from here. I'm gonna flare them out. We are gonna make a couple of lifts, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Uh, that goes there. Nice. And now we want to do the same technique. Bust that out. Whoops. Bust that out. Get rid of all that sand. Bust that out. Get rid of all that sand. Whoops. Okay, good. That worked. So that is one, two, three. We need to do another three of them, for God's sake. The sand! Four and five. Oh, five. Good. And one more. Six. Damn it. <laughs> Six. Done. Okay, that's another direction we've just flared out into. Uh, that's definitely torched. Great. And out here. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, if we bust out this little hole right here, we should see a hole in the ground, right? Yes, perfect. And this one is supposed to be here. Nice. Okay, so this is actually functioning as intended. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. Beautiful. Put that there. We'll mine out the rest of this before we start busting out the floors, because it actually, we'll even plug this in so we don't fall down and die. Okay. Keep on going through here. Actually, we want to mine out from here, don't we? So we probably want to go seven from here. One, two, three, four. I think that's about right. Maybe. Let's, let's just make sure that is right. We'll come from here. Yep, that is right. Or is it? I can't. I literally cannot tell if we did that right. Do we not mine this one out? Yeah, we mine this one out. What the hell do we just mine into? I'm so lost. Oh, there is actually another little cave system over here. One and two. Okay, so let's plug in this little hole. Like so. Plug that in there. And we probably want to plug in that right there as well for now. I'm going to go back around here and make sure we are connecting this up. It's not connecting. What the hell? <laughs> Do we need to keep going? Okay. Right. So right at the end of here, we need to go another one block. We were literally just one block away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight blocks out. Are we sure this is right? Yes, that is perfectly right. Great. Want to go eight from the... Was it from the middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're actually going to minus one because we already have this one mined up. One, two, and then we go five from here. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And I'm going to stick a torch right there. And we want to bust one, two, one, two. And then all of them from here out. Ah, sand. Great. My best friend. I can't wait. Oh, there is so much sand in here. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> uh, brother, uh. Okay, good. Bust all of that out. Some more sand. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, let's bust that one out. And we'll put a torch there. And also that one too. Put a torch there. Okay, so one. Good. Two. Nice. Beautiful. Bust these two down. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll continue along here. Keep on going into this direction now. Five into here. That's fine. Hopefully we plugged in the hole in the floor. We did. Great. And I think this is the last wall we need to bust into. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One and two. And then we go into here a little bit more. And this should link up perfectly, right? I'm, I'm having to do math. God, I hate this so much. Yuck. I didn't make it centered. Oh no! Oh no! I want to set it with gravel, and the gravel is now suspended in the air. Ugh. Oh, I bet that looks disgusting. That is absolutely revolting. Okay, uh, keep on busting all of this. All of this out, yes. I was wondering what we were connecting up here, but it seems as though we don't actually have to worry about it too much whatsoever. 
Okay, keep on busting out this away. Our pickaxe has seen better days, gotta be said. Okay, keep on busting through here. I am very, very glad that we went with the whole... Oh no. We went with the whole um, diamond pickaxe route. That's probably the smartest thing we've done in a long time. Let's get our pickaxe out. Put that there, great. Get rid of that sand, that pesky sand. Uh, bust this down, get rid of the sand right here. That pesky sand, done. Uh, get rid of this pesky sand, like so. Nice. Good. Remove that. Uh, bust these down, because they don't have sand above them. We don't worry too much about something that doesn't have sand above it. Maybe we make three levels. I think three levels right off the bat would actually make a very, very good mob farm. All right, good. Uh, put one, whoop, put one, whoop, <laughs> put one there. Great, that's that sand taken care of. Get rid of that. Nice. Uh, tried to get rid of that sand, whoops. Uh, done. Sand is done. There is some sand there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Nice, and that should be the last of the sand. Excellent, and I think now at this point, we'd probably be best to go to bed, right? Because, whoops, that's weird. Never seen that, what the hell? <laughs> uh, I didn't know that's how you use the scaffolding. Okay. Now we should have a direct path to the top. Hopefully we're not gonna die as soon as we get here. When it are not, I don't even see any mobs, thankfully. Oh, very thankfully. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep. We'll look at our diamond armor. <sighs> Should I continue or do a break? <laughs> do what you're comfortable with. I hate mining and then getting suffocated because some sand or gravel fell on me. I know, it's very precarious, isn't it? It's probably the uh, most annoying death in the game by... A fairly wide shot, right? Oh, we need to empty our inventory as well. I didn't realize that we could expand the uh, the scaffolding outwards. That's really handy. God, I wish I knew that earlier. Okay, uh, this chest right here, we're going to fill it up with all this crap that we've been mining. Cobblestone's probably not useful to us whatsoever anymore. We're going to keep a, a couple of stacks of terracotta because we're going to need it. Get rid of this wool. Don't need it. Terracotta as well. Sandstone. Uh, all of that brown terracotta as well. Brown terracotta, in my eyes, is basically poo. Okay, that's fine. We'll get, still keep those two doors on us. Oh. Oh. We can actually just drop down now. Okay, cool. That really hurt. <laughs> oh my god, that hurt. Okay, good. We'll eat a couple of chickens. We can regenerate our health so we don't accidentally die to something stupid again. I want to bust that down. Put a torch there. Great. Doing the same thing here. It seems. Done. Put that there. Bust that out. Oops. <laughs> that is a really, really fiddly technique that only really works a little bit of the time. It's not consistent. Get rid of those two. Get rid of that. Put a torch there. Beautiful! And the sand all over these ones, so let's bust all of these ones here down. Put that there, there, there. Boop! And boop! I have crashed the game a few times, by the way, just by kind of like putting lots and lots of sand up to the sky block and then just dropping it all on torches. I don't know if that's actually still a way you can crash the game. I hope, I hope it is. Because all my friends are going to hate me, if that's the case. Okay, good. Keep on mine all the way up here. Because we need this to be blank. We don't want any blocks in this little area. And it also needs to be completely enclosed as well. Maybe we could put like a skylight in there so we could kind of like see some mobs. I did see in the game, because I do do a little bit of the research of the games that I play in my spare time, especially the long series like Minecraft, especially if I haven't played it before. I've seen like uh, tinted glass. Yeah, tinted glass allows mobs to spawn, but it also allows you to be able to do a bunch of really cool stuff as well. Ah, Jensen, uh... Something a lot of people do is put trapdoors every block or two apart in the mob farm, so everything but spider spawn. I found I found a fix for that as well. Apparently, it is a carpet. You need to stick a carpet on the center of each of these little three by three three platforms, and that stops spiders spawning as well. That was definitely not in the bedrock edition as well. I had to find that one out all on my own from Java, researching Java. Okay, let's bust all of these out because we don't want them here. 
Probably want to get rid of all that sand as well. Just because it's going to fall down eventually. It's going to be a pain in the ass at some point. All right, good. I'm busting all this down. Nice. And that is one row basically just done and dusted. Excellent. Keep on going all the way down here. Ah. Or not. And you see there's going to be lava in the bottom, right? No, I did not. I did not say that there's going to be lava in the bottom. There is not going to be lava at the bottom. Um, lava destroys items. And the reason I'm making this mob farm is basically to automate the resources that they would necessarily drop. Maybe, if we're really lucky, we'll basically be able to automate iron with this mob farm. Because I did that on Bedrock and it worked uh, very, very consistently. But I also saw in the Java edition, there's something called a, a bonfire or a campfire. And they light enemies on fire without destroying the items. So if we, if we just stick a bunch of those on the hoppers, I imagine theoretically the... Uh, what are they called? The, the items will just like not burn up on the bonfire. They'll just fall into a giant hopper system that we'll have at the bottom of this mine shaft here. This is basically why we needed so much iron in the first place. We have two and a half stacks of iron and this is what we're going to spend it on. It should be a self-sustaining ecosystem as well. We could also kind of like... I don't remember how to do it in Bedrock, and I haven't done it in Java ever, but there is a way of kind of like filtering items. I think it's with chests. You just stick a hopper um, somewhere, and you can kind of like get it to filter out a bunch of items. Uh, mine out to over here. Actually, we need this entire row gone. I bet there's sand under that. Nope. <laughs> uh, I don't trust any of this, though. I don't trust any of this line right here. Uh, it's probably going to be sand. We'll discover it eventually. Oh, there it is. Hey, I found the sand. Okay. Actually, let's get our pickaxe. No, let's use our iron axe. We can trade for these now. Okay, we've got to get rid of that one there as well. What else have we got to get rid of? All of it. We've got to get rid of all of this crap, essentially. Let's just try and put out ugh, as many torches as we possibly can. Sorry, I had to burp real bad. There you go. That's out of the way. And this one, that's out of the way. Great. Excellent. So now that we did that, we want to get rid of this line here as well. Excellent. And we're going to go one, two, three, and we want to knock out this and this. Excellent. All the way to the end. So we get some nice three by three platforms. Oops, almost mined out the uh, other side of this. That was close. One, two, three. Mine out a two by. Yeah, and keep on going along here. Excellent. Uh, we need to get rid of that. There's sand up there. Get rid of all of that. A lot of sand all over the place, actually. Uh, there's a big line of it right here. Great. Let's get rid of it, because we have to mine up there anyway. We've got to open this up. We've got to open up this whole place. Okay, that should be fine. What else we got? More sand. Great. That is done and dusted. Pardon the pun. Uh, let's go ahead and just start busting these torches down, because we're probably running a little bit low on them now. We actually do need some of them. Good. And that one. Beautiful. Huh. Hey, Scott's World. Actually, is there a, there is a way you can use lava and science to kill mobs without destroying items if you want. Yeah, but it does destroy some of the items, um, so you get a, a worse yield. I kind of want to learn how to use the bonfires instead. Yeah, we're not going to be uh, spawning spiders in here, mainly because they just climb up and down the mob grinder, which interrupts some of the fall damage, at least on bedrock. I, I don't know if that's the case in Java. Yeah, no lava. I have the IQ of a goldfish. Please phrase it so it makes sense. Well, uh, what do you mean by uh, phrase it? What do, you, what do you need rephrasing? I can rephrase anything you damn well please. Uh, but you've got to actually tell me. I can kind of explain what I am working with. I, I probably should, actually, if I'm going to be streaming this. So what I am going to be doing is using my memory, which has consistently been a letdown across my entire life, but I am a ridiculously intelligent person naturally, so it, sh it should be fine anyway. We want to go... I'm not down there, because apparently we'll fall to our death. Where the hell is the center of this thing? Please? Yeah, here we go. So, we make this bottom layer right here. This bottom layer has water over there. I hope the flow is the same in Java as it is in Bedrock. It should be around about this far, and it should perfectly lead into this hole right here, which is going to drop mobs into a 3x3 three three area with uh, lots and lots of hoppers at the bottom. And I 
have it 19 high, 19 blocks high, so that we can come in here if we want to, and we can use our sword to basically just farm experience um, about as fast as is humanly possible. I don't think there's a way of automating experience, uh, or at least I haven't looked for one yet. These platforms here, each one of them, is going to be essentially a mob farm. The mobs are going to spawn on these farms right here. On the second platforms, and also everyone above it, we are going to stick a piece of carpet in the middle of the platform, which apparently prevents spiders from spawning. I don't know if that's actually true, but we are going to find out through trial and error. And uh, up one more level, we are going to do another mob spawning zone. That's two layers. And then one more up here. We'll, we'll just do make, make all three, honestly. That'll get a really, really fast spawner. So that there's always mobs down there to be ready to collect experience. Because essentially the goal of this session is to kind of like create an ecosystem of experience so that we can enchant a lot of things really, really fast. And we probably should already have a mob grinder up and running. Don't know why I'm mining these up. Probably because we want to re replace them with cobblestone or something like that. You know, something that's not massively flimsy in case we accidentally have a misfire or something like that. Good. Keep on busting in through here. That's going to be the second layer, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is going to be the second layer. So this is going to be the third layer that we're kind of like making room for right here. Campfires are crafted with log sticks and charcoal. They don't burn items, so you can cook food with them, so you don't have to use coal in the furnace. Ah, cool. I didn't actually know that. There are so many things in the Java edition I've never used, because uh, I used to play, if for anyone who doesn't know, I played a huge amount of Minecraft on the Bedrock edition on console, because I had a lot of friends who played Minecraft kind of like, just to relax after work and stuff like that, and I was one of them. But... Everything that I got really good at in the uh, Bedrock Edition was kind of like making really, really tightly packed redstone automation services, like an automatic chicken cooker, uh, automatic furnace. In the Bedrock Edition, if you go too far away from the chunk that you put the redstone on, right, uh, the game will stop the circuit from going altogether. And when you go back there, you'll find that everything has basically just stopped functioning. You have to rebuild it from scratch. Let's go for sleep. Let's, let's celebrate our day's labor by having a sleep. All the way over here. Nice. And I'm going to jump into bed the same way we do, we do in Hydrogenia. That kind of did actually glitch out the game a little bit, too. Ah. See, so yeah, I've got a lot of experience in Minecraft, but I stopped playing around about mid-2018, and I stopped playing then because Microsoft started getting their fingers really deep into the Bedrock Edition of... Minecraft, and they started like sticking things in the game like copper, which destroyed the world that I had already built with one of my friends. We spent probably a summative total of about two to three thousand hours on that world, just kind of like building things and faffing around, having we chat to each other. And we fired it up, and every single redstone device that I had made had a bunch of copper spawn inside of it and just completely ruined it. So I was a little bit demotivated to keep playing the game at that point. So we stopped playing. We stopped playing the game. And now we're getting back into it uh, a couple of years later for YouTube. I don't know much about the uh, Java edition or the differences. Ah, I gotta go. My friend wants me to come over to her house and coincidentally play Minecraft with her. Nice. Yeah, I think that, that feels like free labor. You have fun there, spam dong. Uh, don't forget, uh, do not spam your dong. <laughs> Never spam your dong. Good advice for anybody, especially spam dong. The hell is that? An armadillo, Armaldo. Hello there, buddy. I'm gonna drop assassinate him. Boop. What did he drop? Just a little bit of experience. Ah, nothing important. Okay, let's get a little bit of cobblestone so that we can kind of like mark out the areas because it seems like cobblestone just is the best and easiest thing to recognize. By the way, we've almost filled up this chest with uh, building blocks. Uh, sand is kind of handy. Terracotta kind of handy. I'm gonna get rid of the sand. Bold decision. And we'll get all this cobblestone on a hot bar. Excellent! Do not phrase it like that. What? Why not? I think spam dong is a, is a pretty... Uh, there's, there's not a lot of room for interpretation of what that could possibly mean in any way, shape, or form. Uh, okay, so now that we've got this hole right here, I'm going to go two out. This is going to keystone out another platform. And then we'll kind of like mine around it. Good. We want these three buys. Great. I love this. Boom, boom, boom. This place becomes our tomb. We'll build this thing together from now until forever. Uh, bust all of this out here. 
Good. Yeah, I think cobble platforms are probably actually the way to go. They're so easily recognizable. You know exactly what you're looking at when you see it. Okay, move two, and then we go here, here, and here, and here, 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 and here, and here, and here. I'm actually just going to go ahead and mine out all of these little platforms. Here, 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 and here, and here, and here. Good. And bust this out, this out, this out. All of this. Very cash money. Love that for us. Great. Uh, let's get rid of that because we've got scaffolding to get us up here. Let's go here, 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 and here, and here. Nice. We're getting these nice little nine by platforms. And we are going to have to, unfortunately, create a, a little different path that allows us to access this area. Because we're going to have to stick a platform exactly where the scaffolding is going up and down. Which may be a little bit annoying, but, you know, such is the consequence of building a reliable mob farm. Did I just screw this up? I did. Wow. Go me. Whoops. Go me. Screwed it up twice in one sitting. Nice. Would have come sooner, but I had a bad day. Jet's different. They're transparent on the screen. Yeah. So uh, it seems, Luigi, also welcome to the stream, Luigi. Uh, it seems as though you have only really seen the retro games that we've played on the channel. That's got a completely different, like, format for, for YouTube. That's got one of those, what most would consider yucky. All I know them as is CRT resolutions. The CRT screens used to be a different size. Is essentially, uh, I think it's 1024 by 768. And that is a really, really good resolution to have chat like over there and also have a game completely separate. But every time we're playing an actual like proper game from, that was made after 2005, for God's sake, we tend to um, just stick chat uh, green screened up in the corner. And it was really, really hard for me to figure out how to do it. I had to like uh, basically figure out how to get uh, YouTube as a widget on my on my streaming software and then i had to green screen out all of the other kind of like stuff that that comes with the chat mainly just the background but uh, there are a couple of textures on the background it doesn't look terribly crisp though it doesn't look massively crisp it works but it's not massively crisp okay uh and start putting these up here as well there 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 there, there. good skip to there there and there there, there, and there, and there, there, there. Good, and skip two, and here, here, and here. Excellent. We've actually mathed this out really, really well. I do, I really, really like how we've done this. Uh, one, two, that is a keystone, so we'll start getting rid of these. Excellent. Nice. Uh, probably shouldn't have done it right in the center. Makes it really, really annoying to build. Uh, one, two, three, good. One, two, get, and put that right there. Good. There, there. There, 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 and there. I sound like I'm I'm rushing through consoling somebody, <laughs> like somebody who's just like gone through a breakup. There, 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 there. <laughs> okay, good. We're out of cobblestone, which is actually awesome. Um, means we've uh, freed up a couple of slots in the chest that we're dumping all of our building materials into. Nice. By the way, I'm not playing this game in my free time either. All of what you're seeing is just like. Either natural knowledge or stuff that I've gone and found on the internet that I just want to try out for myself. Okay, good. Come over here and we'll finish on these platforms around the place. They seem absolutely fine and dandy. Oh, we actually also brought some wool so we can make the carpets necessary to stop spiders from clogging up the... The egress, the drain. The mob grinder drain. Put that there. Uh, this one is... Full and fine, that's full and fine, that's full and fine. There was one we didn't finish. I'm almost certain of it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. My bad! My bad! Okay. Come up here. And now we want to mine out another too high gap, don't we? Oh, piss off. There's so much sand here. Probably have to get rid of the sand first, honestly. It's probably the most responsible thing that we could do, is just get rid of all of the sand in this little hole here. I uh, kind of want to... Take one of these and... Oh, my God. I almost just killed myself. Damn, that was close. <laughs> I think I just... I think I just wet myself. Okay, so we want to go up to... This layer here, don't we? Can we just put that there? No. Uh, what if we... Nope, that's height. Ah, okay. So if we crouch in place, we can move them out sideways. Cool. I didn't actually know that. I do really like the scaffolding. That was a great addition to the game. Uh, let's go ahead and just 
start dumping that out to this, we can actually reach that platform. And I'm going to mine a bunch of other stuff out. In fact, no. I'm going to just get rid of all of the scaffold, I think. And now I'm going to kind of like create scaffold in between all of these. Because we want to get rid of these surfaces. Put that there, put that there. We'll create all of the holes required for the scaffolding. And soon we are going to fill it in with scaffolding. But we're not going to worry too much about kind of like a walkway once we start busting out all of the rest of this floor. Because we are going to have to bust out the rest of this floor, unfortunately. Crouch uh, place? No? Oh, it doesn't work like that. Ah, strange. Okay. Good to know. Thanks, game. Thank you. Okay, let's come out this side. Excellent. I'm going to bust this down and this and that. Great. And we've got a bit of scaffolding. We need to move this outwards. Maybe like up here instead. So that we can actually kind of like stick the other platforms that we need to put up in there. All right, good. Bust that down. I'm gonna climb this and we're gonna pick out the ceiling, I think. Yes. Yes, sir, Reed, that's exactly what we're doing. Uh, or not. I can reach another. Perfect. Let's uh, put another couple on there. Uh, right, let's jump up this, apparently. Keep on keeping on all the way up into this access point here. It's a good, it's a good height, actually. We'll just keep what we've got. Okay, good. That is the center. This is actually death right there. We don't want to fall off of that at all. Very close. What's the time? The time is still daytime, actually. Hey, Dead Space Main. Thank you so much for the membership. Nice. Heavy missile under Dark Hill sucks ass gets in gang. <laughs> nice. Thanks for donating. Was that a donation? I'm pretty sure that's actually not a donation. That's actually a membership. That's a channel membership right there. Until 2015? No, it's 2014, actually. Until Yellow is late 2023. They're after 2005. Yeah, but there's supposed to be NES, like, retro resolutions. So they still have that 1024 by 768 yucky thing that not a lot of people actually enjoy. Okay, seems like we're kind of fine. I do want to dig out most of the sand, though. <laughs> but that's money paid to say that? He doesn't have to pay money to say that Undertale sucks. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. We actually do have a rule on this channel, if you're new to it. Everybody has freedom of speech, but you must be able to live with the consequences of your freedom of speech. Like, if you say something that's just, like, rude and racist, the consequence will be that I permanently ban you from the channel. Heavy missile! In that girl's voice. Heavy missile! Has anybody here seen the uh, Toast of London? Matt Berry's TV show, after he made Snuffbox. God, I love that show so much. He's like a, he's like a voice actor going around London doing a bunch of voice acting gigs. And the TV shows are so dry, but they're so funny at the same time. It's these uh, voice acting gigs that are just like massively inappropriate for his caliber of voice. Like he's, uh, he, uh, there was one episode I really, really like where he's recording all of the, um, all of the automated voices that play in the submarines, the submarines that kind of like uh, launch nuclear missiles, and is recording all of these like you're at DEFCON level missiles. Matt Berry's got a great voice, so okay, we'll we'll just record that one again. Okay, fire the nuclear missiles. <laughs> so funny. It's a TV show worth watching. I don't get to watch a lot of TV, but that one is just so goddamn funny. I, it always lives rent free in my head. Uh, we don't need to keep mining into that. Actually, we're in a good spot. Great. Probably keep on mining out all of this stuff as well. We only need it too high for the mobs to bother spawning in here. Excellent. Keep on busting all the way through here. Good. Get all of this in here. Nice. Excellent. Uh, how's Kelly treating you, uh, Dead Space Main? I unfortunately missed the ever-loving hell out of Kelly. I loved it so much when I went to visit. God, what an awesome place that was. I am surprised I made that jump, to be quite honest. Okay, we'll keep on busting through here. And hopefully we are pretty much done, actually. This is the third lift, by the way. So there's not a hell of a lot that we can kind of, like, continue on with. We may struggle to jump to this next platform, though. Can we actually just, like, place these down if we crouch? 
Not really. Okay, we have to walk over like this. That's a little bit fiddly. That's fine, though, I suppose. I'll keep on busting through. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. And keep on going through here. Nice. Now, I'm actually pretty interested to see if this works, because it's been a long time since I've made a mob grinder. Especially a decent one. Like, a three-lift one is usually pretty ambitious, in my opinion. It's only taken us- it's taken us almost two hours, as well. Uh... Okay, we'll come over here. We have kind of laid out all of the things we needed to lay out, which is awesome. I didn't realize that we can't actually put the scaffolding, like, where we want to. So, that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, we definitely can't make that, but- oh, but Didn't want to do that. I just wanted to, like, crouch so we didn't fall off the ledge. Uh... Ah! Or not. Can I put this... Maybe... Yep. No? Maybe? Please? <laughs> uh, what if we just, like, get over here and then jam down like that? That works. Okay, that's perfect. I love that. That works. That's exactly what we need. Done. We'll go and get these resources right here. It's good mostly? That's awesome to hear. I miss the... Honestly, I miss the neon sunsets, and I most certainly miss the Taco Bell over there as well. Okay, we'll keep on busting all of this down. We are very, very close to actually sticking this thing into a functioning state. I kind of want to figure out how to get tinted glass first, though, because I want to be able to see the mob farm from above. Okay, good. Probably not going to make that jump, but we can kind of, like, crouch and continue on like this, I suppose. I wonder if we have another stack of scaffolding in our pockets. We do not. That's a shame, actually. That's a very, very big shame. Probably just like, um... Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Probably just snake it around like this, right? Uh... Shut up, cat. No one wants to hear it. And we could probably make this. No, we can't make that. All right. Fine. Uh, let's not do it there and there. Let's actually just snake it around this. Whoops. That's not what we want either. We'll crouch, and then we'll just keep on placing these. What the hell? Why is this here? It's doing nothing. I'm going to keep on placing... Oh, no! Oh, it's got gravel physics! No! They're so much worse than I thought they were. Maybe we should just go from, like, top down, mining out the, uh, the, the right floors for all of this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that. So if we go up here, we can now kind of, like... Bust out this little area. Good. We could probably also do it from underneath. I don't suppose we need to be up here, necessarily. I keep mining all of this out. We also need to plug in the center as well, the center hole, so that every time we fall down, we don't immediately die of fall damage. A four-on-one shampoo now? What the hell is the fourth? <laughs> I've seen, like, uh, shampoo conditioner body wash. What the hell is the other one? Like a douche? Like a... Like, like a post-coitus douche? That'd be gross, actually. I would not... I would not want to rub the same thing I'm cleaning my genitals with in my... Well, I suppose, actually... Soap is like that, right? You can kind of clean your genitals with soap and also rub it in your hair. You just look weird. Especially when you're not in the shower. Especially if you're just, like, in the middle of public. That's where... It, that's probably where it, it becomes inappropriate, right? Where two-in-ones become... Uh, Three-in-ones become inappropriate. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, nuclear bomb. Oh! <laughs> I have no idea what crack you are smoking. <laughs> that is so random. Oh my god, you missed out on like 2005. What a time for being random, huh? Nugget and a biscuit. Everyone remembers that. My spoon is too big. I can has cheeseburger. They be taking my bucket. Nyan Cat? Probably no Nyan Cat. Nyan Cat's famous. A bunch of uh, dubstep artists got a hold of Nyan Cat and then became a meme on its own right. Okay, keep on knocking all of this stuff out. There are little blocks that we can't really reach, unfortunately. Ah, look, more sand. Great. Awesome. Love that. Sand there as well. Get rid of it. Uh, get rid of that. There's one more up here. Excellent. We can actually reach them. We don't really need the scaffolding. There is sand here. That's just obnoxious. Okay, let's try and bust out these sand with this log right here. Done. I love that. Okay, we'll mine that out, mine that out, mine that out. There's another little corner over here that I can kind of reach. Great. 
I'm really, really good at peaking angles. I played a lot of uh, Rainbow Six. Not Siege. Siege is kind of like where Rainbow Six took a massive crap. I mean the realistic uh, Tom Clancy Rainbow Six games. Is it? Is that done? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, excellent. We could kind of like mine upwards and just create a gigantic skylight, but I don't know how expensive that's going to be. Ah, that's a meme I saw. Sand on the trail. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open up a wiki. All right, this might be a, a, a very, very bold decision, but I'm going to go ahead and open this up and make some tinted glass. Tinted glass. Minecraft. Because I've never seen it before. Oh, it is actually a thing. Oh, cool. What do we make it out of? It is made out of amethysts. What the hell are amethysts? What are amethysts? What are these? An amethyst cluster. Mind using a non silt touch fortune pickaxe. Okay, that's useless. What's an amethyst cluster? What the hell is this? Uh, large bud. Cluster. Uh, natural generation. Amethyst buds and clusters generate naturally as part of amethyst geodes on exposed faces of budding amethysts. Okay, what is an amethyst geode? What the hell is this? It's a feature found in the underground of the overworld. Amethyst geodes contain smooth basalt, calcite, and are the main source of amethyst items and blocks. Okay. Amethyst geodes generate between 58 and 30. Each chunk has a 1 in 24 chance to attempt to generate a geode. Should we go find one of these? I feel like we should go and find one of these. These look sick as hell. Explore caves for the shell? Yeah, we're going to have to, right? I don't know. What is basalt? This isn't like a mod thing, is it? No, it's definitely actually in the game. Okay, we're going to do that at some point. We'll finish out this mob grinder, and while that's kind of like ticking away, we'll go ahead and we'll do that thing that we were just talking about, that I've already forgotten the name of. Amethyst Geodes. Okay, we'll mine out here, despite the obvious safety hazards. Put a block there, put a block there. Block, block, and one there. Good, and block, block, and block. Done. All right, excellent. So that is the top lift finished. Let's try and bust down all of this here scaffolding because we don't need to be up here ever again Unless we are putting carpet around the place in which case we are actually gonna need to be up here, but we can just do that with the scaffolding All right good. I'm gonna collect everything I kind of want to take this terracotta and then make a terracotta soldier army out of it possibly Okay, good all of that is fine and dandy. We are keystoned at all of the right places We just need to knock all of this out of the way Get all this crap out of the way. We'll start at the corner and then we'll move along, I think. That makes the most sense, right? If we just connect up all of these, uh, all of these platforms and we don't destroy them, we should still have somewhere to walk on. So long as the center is at least a little bit linked up. Okay, knock that out, knock that out. Good, good, good. We got to wall that in. Done. Uh, that torch has to go somewhere else, maybe here. Nope, that's a log. How about an axe? There we go. So we can get rid of this log. Done. Awesome. Uh, get that pickaxe back out. We need a pickaxe with mending, quite frankly. I think that's probably the one thing that we are missing right now. Our build is missing something pretty integral, and it's mending. Okay, go around that hole. Got a couple of things over here. A couple of things over here. I'll mine out everything in between all these platforms. Excellent. One, two, three, and four. Get rid of those. Get rid of all this. What time is it? It is late in the day, but it's not time to sleep just yet. Get rid of all of this. Nice. Very good. Deep in the ground. Minerals. Yeah, I think we are actually going to have to go exploring the caves for, a, for an amethyst geode. That thing looks absolutely awesome. I've never seen one of those before. I've seen a lot of, like, uh, modded Minecraft add gems to the game, but I've never seen actual gems in base Minecraft. It'd be interesting to see what Microsoft thinks is a gem. Okay, good. Although they probably know a gem when they see it, given that they spent $2.5 billion acquiring Minecraft. What a huge amount of money as well. Okay, good. It's probably paid for itself by now as well, though. To be fair, Microsoft do make a lot of real good business decisions. Unless they're releasing an operating system, in which case it's very hit or miss. It's kind of hard, actually. It, it would be very, very hard to release any operating system as any company. 
simply because like Apple users, they'll just insist that Apple is best, even when, especially when it's not. You know, they don't really care whether or not it's it's a bad operating system. They'll just use it because it's Apple. But with Microsoft, you actually do get decent operating systems. Uh, Windows 11 looks like absolute rubbish, though. And Windows 8 sucked ass, too. Windows Vista had a lot of issues for me, too. But other than that, the uh, operating systems have been very, very solid. I think people just get really, really used to kind of, like, what they want to use. Uh, let's plant that there, plant that there. And now we are going to put down a center platform right here. Excellent. Love that. Love that right here. Excellent. Done. Nice. We can get rid of this uh, middle thing that we'd place down. All this terracotta right here. This place looks really, really weird. Actually. <laughs> really weird. Uh, let's gather all of these building materials because we may need them. Or we may not. It's hard to say sometimes. Uh, how many do we need? We needed 164 trapdoors, right? Probably time to sleep now. 164 trapdoors to get us uh, to trapdoor out one of those levels. So we're probably going to need to multiply that by three as well. All right, we're sleeping. Woo! Yeah, we're going to have to explore caves, right? Okay, let's come around here. I kind of like how we've laid this out. I don't really like how it looks. <laughs> But that's not really an issue right now, is it? We'll make a little access hatch over there, I think, before we actually plug this in. So, I'm going to take this terracotta, because it's a little bit flimsy. We're going to plug in the ceiling, so that we don't ever have to look at it again. Good. Plug all of this in, so it's nice and dark. Uh, put that there. We'll plug in all of this in. We're going to keep those keystones up top side, and we'll probably make a little frame around it at some point, but for now what we've got is actually pretty damn good. Whoops, didn't mean to put that there. Whoopsies! Let's go ahead and put that there, there, there. Good. Mine all of that out. That was satisfying to do as well. I really like doing that. All right, put that there, put that there, link all of this up. Excellent. Plug all of this in. Great! Okay, so we've got a little hole over there. We've harmed ourselves, unfortunately. We've got very, very low health. We need to come back up here, and we need to go over to the center platform, don't we? Oh, apparently I um, can't move. I move around as I wanted to. Ah, perfect. We can reach it. Just. Only just. Okay, we are now dark. I'm going to go ahead and throw a torch down around the middle here. Just so nothing spawns, because we may get spawns very, very shortly. All right, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and make ourselves some carpet. Actually, we want to go up, don't we? And we also need a heap of trapdoors, like a billion trapdoors. Well, maybe not a billion, but pretty close to a billion. I'm going to head off really quick. Okay, there, Liam the Destroyer. You have a great time, whatever you're doing. Hopefully it's not chores. But that's, that's so boring doing chores, right? I spent so much of my life doing chores. And also sitting at red lights. This was a thought that actually crossed my mind recently. I wanted to know how much of my life I've actually spent sitting in a car waiting for a light to turn green. It's got to be at least like a month, right? So far. Like a straight month of just waiting at a red light. All right. Let's go to the crafting station. We'll turn all of this into planks. A stack and a half. That's a button. That's a slab. That's a trapdoor. Okay, so we probably don't want to do that manually. Oh, no, I know exactly how to do it manually. Place those there. Have it. Good. Place that there. Have that. Put that there. Have that. Put that there. Have that. Put that there. Boom. Nice. Put that there. Put that there. Boom. And put that there. Put that there. Done. We got 32 trapdoors. That's not even remotely close to what we need. In fact, we are so far off. We need 164. Sweet mother of God. Uh, fortunately, our little forest over there has sprouted a bunch of trees. So we could probably go over there and maybe collect some of those trees. Let's go do that. We've almost got the mob grinder set up, essentially. We also need to make some hoppers. We need nine hoppers. And we'll need some chests. And we also need to make some bonfires, which I've never done before. Very excited for this. Very excited to see what a bonfire actually does. Whoa. Oh, this is... Why'd I pick this path? <laughs> what a horrible way to go. Ugh. Yuck. Yucky! Got some grass right there. I'm going to break that. That's a nice little oasis right there. Okay. 
So, now we need to make nine hoppers. Oh, we've got some iron ingots in here, but I think most of our iron ingots are in here, actually. Good, we've got 31 iron ingots. We're going to need nine chests, which is going to be a lot of wood. We may as well just start knocking down some of these trees with iron ingots, right? Get another iron axe, I think. Like so. Great. We'll put that right there. Whoops. Put that there. Good. Done. Jesus, that is loud. Jesus, that is effective. Nice. Okay, we've got 17 cooked chickens, and we didn't even go through our last stack. I love that for us. I think this heals three bars each time we eat one of them, so that's a great source of food right there. All right, let's knock some of these down. Nice. I love the tree capitator mod so much. Oh, my God. It is so good. Excellent. Knock that down. Knock that down. This is going to break on this tree, so we'll just knock down as much of this as we possibly can. There he goes. And we'll put this down here. Good. Bring you Iron Axe. Okay, most of that went down. 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 We should have a lot of saplings as well. This is our kind of like renewable farm. And the reason we want to renew all of this acacia wood is because it looks really nice. We're probably going to make most of our bases out of it. The hell? Apparently that's not a tree. Okay. Thanks, tree capitata. Don't really understand uh, your logic, but you know. So, okay, fine. Did it again. Maybe we need to make them like three wide, the gaps. But then we're going to lose out on some wood. I'm actually happy just to clean up whatever we've got here. Uh, looks like we are forcing some large oaks to grow over there using our little trellis system, which did not initially work, but it does now, which I'm very happy about. Good. We're probably going to need some stairs to get on top of this trellis, though, because I have a sneaky suspicion that some of these trees... Whoa! It's just going to dump a bunch of resources on top of the trellis itself. Good. Knock that down. Knock this one down. Excellent. This one's next. And, of course, this one, too. And this one. Uh... Well, I think that was a jungle tree. Jungle trees don't really give us a hell of a lot, but it's nice that we do get something. Okay, let's start hoovering all of these resources up because we've got so many resources here. Great. Look at all of this. Billions of apples. Maybe not billions, but pretty close to billions. Maybe at least the hundred millions, right? Okay, good. Still got some more stuff over here. I actually see an apple on the trellis. We want it. Can we reach it? Oh, we can reach it. Nice. There's a sapling on top of the... Uh... These trees are probably like, what the hell just happened? It was like two minutes. You knocked down every single tree in visible sight. How did you do that? I've just blown the sheep's mind. So, we've got more oak saplings that we know what to do with. More than we can shake a stick at. Uh, we need more. These are basically for the, the alpine logs right there, right? Place all of those down there. Probably also stick them on the other side of this trellis too, but I'm not entirely sure how much space they need between each other to grow. I think it's got to be more than than a single little dude. Pull these acacia saplings down because I like them the most. Excellent. Put all of that down. Great. And one last line. Perfect. Now we'll drop everything that we do not want into this chest here. We've got a stack and a half of acacia logs. Love that. Uh, oak logs, we've got a stack and a bit of them. We're probably going to need to keep these oak logs for the trapdoors. That's going to be four stacks of wood. If we can get another half a stack of oak, then we could definitely make an entire 128, I think. We can make 128 of these, where are they? Trapdoors. Or we could just make them out of acacia. Uh, we want to keep the acacia for building, I think. Oh, we got a... We got two, uh, two stacks of acacia. We could probably use that. Let's try that. Uh, we need a crafting bench. Over here. So I think that maybe, potentially, if we go here to put a stack here, halve it. Put a stack here. Whoops. Halve it. Let's halve this one. Halve this one. Oh, no. Whoops. Uh, we want to stack there. Okay, let's just make all of these planks. Why not? And also all of these into planks as well. Now we want to stick a stack into each of these slots right here. And that'll give us 128 of these acacia trapdoors. Nice! Okay, there we go. A few more of these here. Still got two more stacks of these acacia planks. Yeah, let's use these. Half that, half that, half that, half that. And we keep these. 
And now we have that, we have that, we have that, we have that, and we keep these. And I don't actually think we've got enough to make a nice round multiple of the trapdoor, so we'll just keep the last of these acacia um, planks right here. Should be fine. This is more than enough trapdoors, I think, for at least one of the lifts. We probably don't need much else. We need hoppers, actually, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, four. That's four chests. Five, six, seven, eight, nine chests right here. Uh, let's just get this whole stack. I want to make nine of these chests. Actually, there's a faster way of doing this, right? Probably just go into the building blocks if we can't find where the chest is. Please, game. There it is. What is this? A barrel? What does this do? What is this? Huh. I'll make one. We'll see what it does. Okay, that's obviously not what I wanted. Uh, where are the rest of the oak planks? Okay, there. Please? Are we actually out? Huh. Strange. Alright. Put that there. We've got five chests so far, so we're going to need more of these logs. Two, three, four. Weird. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's right. We need two per chest, don't we? Because it's eight. Oops. I don't think I actually set that order. There we go. One, two. And we've got nine chests, which we are going to turn into nine hoppers with probably a stack of iron. That's probably going to be a good use of it as well, though. Um, I know how to make a hopper, but I don't want to make nine of them manually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Here we go. Nine hoppers. Done and dusted. It's probably about time to sleep, honestly. Hello there, Mr. Farmer. This guy must love us. We have been sleeping in his bed like crazy. What a guy. Hmm. He just grabbed my butthole before he left the uh, building. Where'd he go? If he likes us enough, maybe we could potentially uh, trade with him. Hey, buddy. What do you got for sale? He wants to buy half a stack of potatoes. What an asshole. And he's selling bread. That would have actually been better to know when we were really, really short on food. But, again, we don't want to rely too much on villager trading. That is a meta of the game that I'm just not interested in getting into. It's just, it's literally just a screen. J just a trading screen. That's not, that's not what I would consider to be a video game. At that point, then you are basically um, trading on the stock market. And that's the wrong chest. At that point, why wouldn't you just invest some money into it? Honestly? All right, good. So, now that we've got this, we also need a double chest as well for the hoppers to flow into. So we'll go back and we'll transfer all, probably the last of these. No, we still got heaps. One, two, three, four. Good. We've got lots of oak planks. We'll make two chests. A nice wee double chest right there. Done. I just want to see what a barrel is. What are barrels? What, do, what would I need to make that barrel? Uh, we need two slabs and six planks. Do we have any slabs? Can we make a cobblestone barrel? Probably not. That would defeat the, point, the purpose of it. Uh, okay. We'll make a few of these. Plank? No, there's a button. Plank. Good. So let's go ahead, put that there, put that there. Uh, barrel. What is this? What does this do? Is there any reason for this? Oh, it's a chest. Oh, it's a chest. It's a really cheap chest. Huh. Hey, buddy, watch out for the cactus. Why are you standing on my... Get off my barrel. Oh, this guy just, um... Ah, okay. So, with this barrel, we can make fishermen. It's a... It, okay, so it's a villager chest that creates jobs. So it does have a functional utility. Chest, but villagers become fishers. Yeah, I, th I think that's the case, right, Luigi? What if we break this and then put it back down? Is he just going to offer to cook a bunch of fish for us again? Aww. Put that back down. There you go, buddy. What are you going to trade us for? Oh, no. He's actually trading us different stuff. So oh, string into emeralds will be really handy. Okay. We'll keep this guy over here then, I suppose. Even though there is literally nowhere to fish. <laughs> We're in the middle of the desert. Probably the worst job this guy could possibly have. Taking these cooked chickens. Uh, we probably need to get, like, a side chest over here for, like, uh, feathers and stuff. And we do want to become an archery main in this game, I think. That's definitely going to be something we want to specialize into. Better cold trade than smiths? Yeah, I'll say. 
But at the same time, we don't actually want to trade coal because coal is not a renewable resource. So you can't generate coal with coal. If we found somebody who's willing to trade charcoal, that would be an infinite money exploit because all we have to do is grow trees. Of which we've already grown quite a few. Maybe we go chop those down as well. We do need the wood, actually. Let's go chop down all those trees as well. Tools, weaponsmiths, and armorers have 15 coal for an emerald. Yuck. Absolutely revolting. Jump this. Fishes have 10 coal for an emerald. I don't know about the trading yields too much. We're not going to get too far into it. The, the villages I find to be completely unnecessary. Make a fletching table. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, maybe, actually. We'll get like a... um. That'll just get an archer to... Sorry, we'll just get archers here, right? Oh, we can actually make this. It would be nice to kind of like trade feathers. Because we are getting billions of them. Okay, let's make one of these actually. That is a really good shout, Luigi. We'll do that. We already have three flint. Let's turn this into something. Fletching. Yes. Okay, good. We'll take this and we'll put this right next to the chicken cooker. Hopefully someone will come and take this job. Oh, that's a torch. Actually, we probably do want to light that up. Hello? Anybody want a, want a job? Brent, do you want a job? Okay, I'm going to remove this barrel right here because we probably don't need a fisherman straight off rip. Alright, this guy's going to go take the fletching. So we should be able to sell feathers to him, right? Oh, I thought I heard an, uh, a skeleton attack me, but it was just this guy taking the job. 32 sticks for an emerald. Damn, that is also a really good trade. He will take an emerald to transfer gravel into flint. We kind of... Oh, if he just, like, flat out sells arrows, I would much prefer... Ah, we'll worry about that later. So, we'll chop all these trees down for now. And we'll worry about all of that extra crap later. I do kind of like the barrel thing, though. That's kind of cool. Okay, knock that down. Knock that down. Love these acacia trees so goddamn much. They are so good. Good, knock that down. Knock that down. Knock that down. Great, knock that down. Apparently, this... What the hell is going on with this one? <laughs> that's weird. I've never seen that before. Yeah, apparently that's not a... Oh no, our axe is about to break. Alright, that's fine. We can always make another one. We've probably actually got one in this chest over here. Let's see. We do not. We did not have the foresight. We can kill these iron golems and then turn their iron into a delicious axe. Alright. Uh, axe, right? We need sticks, which we don't actually have for some reason. I'm going to use these jungle logs. I don't actually like jungle wood too much. Sticks, please. Good, we've got a few sticks. Actually, we've got a stack right here, hilariously. Uh, right, now we've got a bunch of sticks. We need iron ingots, actually. Whoops, should have had some of those on us. One, two, three, done. Come in here, and X, please. Get a stick right here, done. And we've got an iron axe, which also doubles as the best weapon in the game. In my opinion, a diamond axe would probably hit a little bit harder, but the iron axe is really easy to get. As it turns out. Is this going to break? Yes. Okay. So it is now a tree. Is this going to work? No. <laughs> That's a little bit of a shame. Okay. Got a bunch of these acacia saplings. I'm still going to plant them down. One there. And one here. One here. Good. And here. And here. And here. And here. Done. That's everything we need. Let's go ahead and throw all these saplings in this chest over here. Including that jungle sapling we don't care about much. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a stack of acacia logs. I'll put the excess in this chest right here so we can actually see we have it. What else? We've got jungle logs. I don't want them. Yuck. We've got enough plan. We've got enough of these trapdoors for at least a single lift. I'm pretty happy with what we've got. Uh, we'll put all of these acacia logs in here because we've got oak logs that we can transfer into wooden things if we need it. And we probably won't because we've got a billion sticks. Uh, we've got five apples on it. Well, I'll actually dump all the excess food that we have into our food chest over here. Right there. Uh, there's copper in here. There's charcoal in here. There are ingots in here. Good. Let's swap them out with some actual food. Uh, put gold in here, obviously. And we also have copper ingots. We've got a stack of charcoal, which is pretty awesome. Go ahead and just throw it in here. Put it in the uh, fuel chest right there. Great. Now let's go and start making this mine. Can you make double barrels? Is that actually a thing? More chests everywhere and torches. More torches. We probably should get lots more torches, shouldn't we? Boing. Nice. 
They have feather traits and something else that you'll like. Something else? Why are you winking at me for that? Is is that like... A, are they offering some kind of like bodily service? Because I can imagine what that bodily service is. I'm not particularly interested though. Okay, so keystone right up the middle here. We actually want to get rid of all of this. And we want to make an access tunnel somewhere else. We, yeah, we want to do that. Let's just go ahead and knock some of this down so we can actually place all the things we need to place down here. Good. And I'm going to go ahead. Probably not a good idea to do... No, actually, we won't do that now. We'll go up here. We'll take out our pickaxe. And as soon as we see a platform, we'll mine ourselves an access hole. Because we're going to have to mine out the side here anyway. Okay, this is very imposing to look at. Good, that's exactly what we want, I think. Which way was the entrance? The entrance. Oui, oui. Uh, I don't know. It's probably on this side here. Maybe. Go all the way down, hopefully. Go past that cave. Yep, that is definitely the entrance. So the scaffolding is facing onto the entrance. So if we build two blocks this way... We can make a maintenance hatch one block to the side of that. Where we kind of like keep scaffolding, I suppose, while we're building this thing. So right here is over the door. Right here, if we just dig straight down from here, we are going to find ourselves a decent little hatch. Beautiful. Ah, I was hinting at sticks. Best trading game. The sticks are not that hard, especially in the desert. They, you, you get heaps of them anyway. Best way to get emeralds, I mean. Hey, that worked out well. Okay, so that is all the way down here. We need to mine all of this out. And this is going to be the access. Hatch right here. Let's eat some food. Because we are getting pretty hungry. There we go. Absolutely fine. I'm going to have to get rid of all of these logs now that we're keystoning, key, yeah, keystoning into the center of this gigantic build. Uh, we definitely want to keep this lit up for now. I'm happy to put these torches around the place. And now we need to mine straight down... From here. Tree Capitator is not going to work on just these logs, unfortunately, so we are going to have to kind of like manually just come up from above and kill them. Best way to get emeralds? Oh, you mean like uh, they buy sticks? Yeah, that is actually a pretty good one. If you don't sell coal, why don't you mine it? Uh, we, we do mine it. We turn it into torches, because you, uh, torches are a bit of a choke point at all points in the game. Are we Z-ringing? I have no idea what that means. Is that actually a thing? Okay, let's knock this out. And we should get all of those reimbursed to us. How many do we get? Let's see. Because we want to put this up the access shaft, which is basically going to be up there now. Uh, we got 33. Let's see if this will actually do the trick. Okay, good. Please? Okay. I'm building all the way up. I love how we're placing the scaffold, like, here. But the sound of the scaffold attaching is way up at the top. It's a little bit sus. Okay, and here we are in the main thoroughfare. Probably... I'm just going to take this one out. We'll get our reimbursement again. There's probably going to be a couple of scaffolds up on those platforms. Good! All right, so we should have some wool up top side here, and we've also just made a couple of maintenance hatches for the entirety of what we will need them for. What time is it? It is just... Oh, piss! That was close. It is just ending the unfortunate nighttime situation that we are currently in. It definitely was not nighttime when we first got here. Jesus, this is terrifying, actually. Let's go to sleep. Is coal in the farm? Are we terror orbing? Are we dynamax banding? I have absolutely no idea what any of those words mean. Is that like, is that like generation alpha speak? Is that like a higher riz? Okay, the clock is resetting. Perfect. Damn, we actually filled up this entire chest with useless crap and also terracotta that I... It's growing on me. I actually really like the terracotta texture. We might be able to turn it into, like, terracotta bricks or something like that. That'd be awesome. Well, that looks weird. Let's uh, finish off this keystone right here. Done. We'll go ahead, we'll get our wool, and we'll try and make carpet, because we should have six blocks in here. I think three of them to make a carpet, or two? Ah, perfect. Uh, that's only one lift's worth, though, so we're going to need another 12 wool, which we can actually go back to the, the sheep farm and get. Okay, we'll come down here and get this white carpet on our hot bar right there, I suppose. And if we put these right there in the middle, this should theoretically 
prevent the spiders from spawning, which is not something we want. We don't actually want spiders spawning. Oh, we're going to have to actually have to link these up together to get around them, I suppose. Okay, put that there, put that there, put that there. And we can reach that from, a, from another platform, I suppose. Good. Uh, we probably want to also drop a torch there for now so we can get rid of that middle one. The carpet goes there. Nice. Carpet goes there. Carpet goes there. Great. Carpet goes there. Carpet goes here. Carpet goes here. All right. This looks okay. Actually, I, I don't mind this. I don't mind how this looks at all. We're going to bust down these because we are actually... We finished off this entire level. We are no longer going to be coming up here unless to take this torch off. That's the only reason we would come back up here. And now we just need to go and get a heap more of that delicious, delicious wool. Ah, you said Keystone. I thought of my evolution from Pokemon. Oh, oh the Mew evolution from Mega Evolution from Pokemon. I haven't played any of the like Mega Evolution stuff, honestly. I last Pokemon game I played was Pearl. It was okay. It was okay. Um, I think my favorite one is Emerald by a long shot. Pokemon Emerald. Just because they kind of have the added storyline of the um, of the Grodon Kyogre uh, rivalry, I suppose you could call it. And also hidden bases. They were sick. I'm against Gen Alpha slang. It's so annoying, especially when my classmates act like I'm annoying before saying Skibbity Sigma Riz or challenging the changing the best song lyrics have their annoying terms. I got Emerald recently. It is so worth it. It is such a fun game. Second, believe it or not, is actually Silver, and I think it got a remake quite recently in history. But I'm talking about the uh, the old 19 like 98, I think. Pokemon Silver. It's got no color. The game actually has no color. The cartridge is enormous, but it has a day and night cycle, which uses the color grading of um, grayscale to kind of like tell you exactly what time of day it is. How much chicken we got? Just the one. Okay. So done with that. God, I loved Emerald so much. I put so many thousands of hours into that game. Just on Game Boy. Not on phone. I had a Game Boy. Uh, let's get all of this here. Sugarcane. Probably should also get a chest for Sugarcane, right? Whoops. Did not mean to destroy all of that. That was clownish behavior. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and get ourselves our shears. Great. What is this? Wall Street? Haha. <laughs> oh. I'm going to walk in here. I'm going to snip, snip this sheep, sheep. Excellent. Snip this sheep. Snip this sheep. And snip this sheep. How many have we got? Five? Seven. Perfect. That's exactly what we need. I'm out of here. Excellent. I know a lot of people put like double gates on their farms, but since there is no grass visible in any distance here, we can actually get away with just leaving the grass here. And they won't escape. My starter was Aerodactyl. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I've never heard of that Pokemon in my life. Okay, so this is still... Damn, is this machine like working overtime? I feel like it kind of is. Because all the chickens up top there should basically be pumping out eggs like a factory. Which explains why there are so many chickens down here. I think there is a limit to the amount of mobs that you could have though. Okay, this Fletcher is actually spooking me every time he fires uh, some kind of arrow. We need a chest. We need a double chest. I've just remembered. So we can filter all of these, um, what are they called? The uh, hoppers into. Oh, we already had a double chest. Whoops. Oh, well. No harm having another. Uh, maybe we just get like a feather chest or something over the side here. Or maybe not. Maybe not. The fossil pterodactyl Pokemon from Kanto. Oh, was that fire red and leaf green? I played those as well. I love them. I didn't play them as much as Emerald, though. Emerald had a really, really excellent post-game system. Oh, what was it called? It was like an, a, an island of challenges. God, I played so much of that. That was so much fun. It was happening before Fletch was there. The sound is egg-laying. <laughs> I know, it's the worst, isn't it? We don't even hear them make love anymore. It's just an endless orgy inside of that inside of that tiny little one cube. Whole, the hole of sex. The sex hole. Gross. I don't want to think about that. Uh, okay, so... This is a three by three. We need the hoppers first, I think. Actually, no. We probably should get the chest first, which was already on our hot bar. I'm just blind as a bat. Maybe right in front of here, I think. And then we will also have to kind of like mine out another layer around here. 
right here. Okay, one there, one there, and we can't get around this, unfortunately. Let's mine a little access path. Good. Uh, that gravel is annoying. Let's get rid of it. It's a real shame that we ended up on gravel here. Gravel is just the worst material in the world. That or broken glass. One of the two. Okay, so now that we got that there, we want to go ahead and grab our hopper. Line that there, line that there, line that there. That should be in line with the holes. Perfect. Now we want to line these in here, here, and here to filter into those. And here, here, and here. Great. That's all of our hoppers basically taken care of. We could probably carpet over this as well. No, we're putting bonfires over this. We're not doing anything else. Uh, we do need to go up top side to get to the crafting bench, though. You're wondering, oh, is Yoho hoeing some booty, my matey? Uh, okay. A, a bit, of, bit of luck to you. I've never really been one of those guys that goes to the club. So if that's like, if that's like how you pull girls at the club, I wouldn't know. I will, I've always been more of a um, spark up a conversation and see if we have anything in common first before maybe rubbing your entire body against them kind of guy. I know it's a, a, a little bit strange. Wait, we've got a crossbow and... What the hell are we doing? We can go do combat. Oh my god. I completely forgot. Oh, that's right. We did make this. So we could go down south side and find an ancient city, didn't we? Okay, good. So at this crafting bench, we're going to take all of this white wool and we are going to make it into carpet. Oh, beautiful. Nine. Good. That's another layer basically sorted. We're almost ready to basically start this bad boy up as well. So we're done with that layer. We are now moving into this one's territory. Put that there. Put that there. I think we can probably reach all of the platforms from here, right? Yep, definitely. One there. One there. One there. Great. One there. We need another six for the next lift. Uh, okay. That one there. And that goes there. This one goes there. And this one goes right there. Nice! Done. All right, let's mine that down and get onto the other side of this before we mine that one down. We do need more sheep, actually. We probably should get more sheep. And we also need some cows. Maybe we should just go ahead and try and get some more animals into some pens, maybe some farms, before we actually get too heavy into the enchanting, because we are probably at the point at which we can think about enchanting things. Okay, so the sun's going down. Ah, we've got a, a while, actually. I was just looking at the clock right there. So let's probably get started with the trap doors on the top level first, I think. Probably makes the most sense, right? Uh, put these down here. These here. This here. And replace all of these scaffolding with those. Nice. Okay, we actually definitely need to place these down again. Uh, no, we have to link all of these up so we can put these goddamn trapdoors everywhere. Okay, good. And we'll also link them up around here as well. Pretty standard no traversal uh, theoretics we're doing right here. Okay, I want to set them up on the outside of these. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to set them up on the outside. No, I don't. I don't want to do that because that's going to eventually just become a pain in the ass. Okay, we'll go back down and we'll get those eventually, I think. That there, all of these go around this entire platform. Damn, we already ran out of one of our stacks. Okay, put these all around here, which is going to be awesome because now we won't need to link everything up to kind of like walk around here. That there, all of these go around here. Now, I'm not entirely sure why these trapdoors are so essential, but I do remember that they are pretty much a necessity in mob grinders. In fact, we might even be able to get all of these platforms linked up with just what we've got, actually. That'd be kind of cool. Whoops. Wrong floor. Oh, this takes ages to bust down. Ugh. Brother, ugh. Put that there. Good. There's all around here in a gigantic circle. Bugger. <laughs> Gotta go all the way around here. Which I'm happy to do because we've got enough chicken to sprint around for months. Excellent. Uh, put that there. All of these can go around here. That one goes there. Great. Uh, put that there. Put that there. Probably now that we're doing all these trapdoors, don't need to link these up with the stone anymore. We can just go around, I think. 
Yeah, let's just do that. We'll get rid of all of these little uh, links right here. And no traversal is absolutely fine and dandy. So far. Because we've got enough trapdoors. They do at least do this layer. It's going to take ages to open them all, though. Like a billion years. Okay, uh, seven more. Have we done all the way around? Yeah, we have. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No, I mean, I got some Yar Har Har Pokemon Emerald. I've never seen the Pirate Edition. I've only played, like, the, the base game. I never got the Pirate DLC on account of it being a completely offline game. <laughs> Landlubbers don't get a Master Ball before them's first badge. I think I could probably get one before my first badge. Pretty consistently. Okay, good. One there, there. Excellent. There, there, there. I hear a cat. That's concerning. Should not be a cat in here. Okay, good. I'm going to link that one up so we can actually get this middle one. Excellent. There, there, there. Excellent. Uh, there, there, and there. Nice. Uh, can we stick these trapdoors on the side of trapdoors, though? That is my next immediate question. Because I don't know if we can. I'm going to try. Yes! Weird. Okay. Very weird. You've got to crouch to place them. Okay, uh, let's put all of them on these stone fixtures before we start, like, sticking them down a level. Put that there, there, there. Here, here, and here. How the hell have I still got this blueprint in my head after so many years of not playing this game? I can't even remember what I have for breakfast most days, and yet here I am making a mob grinder. From memory. Okay. Uh, how'd the other one get laid out? Like, this way. This orientation here. And come down here. That is all of them. Excellent. Mm, we want to keep on linking up here. There and there, I suppose. Nice. And here and here. Good. Here and here. Nice. And here and here. Okay. Now we have to open every single one of these. Oh my god. Whew. You can only do that if you're a pirate like me. I'm not much of a pirate. I'm I'm more of a um I'm more I'm more of a colonialist. Randomized items are modded, not for landlubbers. Well, I don't know about the trapdoor trapdoor things, me matey. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and open all of these. I think what this does is it tricks the NPCs into thinking that it's a stable floor that they can stand on. So they are attracted to walking into these gaps right here, which would filter them into a very, very wet area. Because we haven't put the water in there just yet, but we will. Oops. Put all of this down. Great. Get all of these traps. Oh, we missed a couple. Put that one there. And we'll replace the scaffold when we need to, because we kind of can't get out without it. We don't really have a choice in the matter. Okay. Keep on opening all of these. Nice. And I think now we'll just move from here outwards, flaring these downwards, while also simultaneously not blocking ourselves out. Three, four, five, and six. Great. Knock all of these down as well. Excellent. Get all of that knocked down. All of these can go downwards. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't actually remember. I don't think I've made one of this scale since like 2018. Certainly not on console. I did come back to the game a couple of times, but ultimately I missed out on all of the updates that came with the Caves and Cliffs stuff, so I didn't really know how to play the game after um, everything had come out. And I really wasn't interested in learning at the time because I was working lots, and I didn't particularly have the time to like spend hours and hours on a wiki every night. Which is fair enough, honestly, in my opinion. Me got Latias and saw T and Zapdos before I beat the first gym. Gym guy had Mewtwo. I don't know what you're playing. I've never seen somebody in the base game have Mewtwo other than Mewtwo himself. Uh, I'm going to come down here. Okay, I think that we probably have a few more trapdoors that we could just get around the place, right? Here, here, here. We've got to link these up, I think. One bit. I'm so glad that these actually do link up when you crouch around. One there, one there, one there. 
one here. Great. Done. There, there, there. And another one just over here. I'm just going to link these up so it's, it's more convenient for us next time we come down here. Link that there. Good. Link these here too. Link that, that, there. Good. One here. Excellent. There, there, and there. Finish these off so we don't accidentally kill ourselves. That there. Gonna cross over. Good. That's a pretty good workflow, actually. Put those there. Got a crouch and stick one. I should never stick them right in the middle because going either end of them to kind of like look at what you're doing is a little bit of a pain in the ass. More frequently than not. Okay, excellent. Put that down there. Nice. To around the scaffold, which we can't dismantle just yet, unfortunately. Maybe we should just get a maintenance hatch that goes all the way up to the top of the of the map. That's not like running straight through the mob grinder. Might be a really good idea, actually. Okay, we have to go to bed because it is, in fact, nighttime. I keep hearing a cat. Oh, there it is. And there's also an armadillo just up there as well. Emerald randomizer. I have never seen one of those before in my life. Is that like a game shark thing? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we should just make a maintenance hatch, right? Let's make a maintenance hatch. It's probably going to be the smartest thing in the world. So we don't want to do it here. I'm just going to go ahead and bust out the wall behind here, behind this armadillo, who is very curious, probably to the point where he's going to die. His curiosity will get him killed. No cat. Put a torch there. And I think down here until... I think it was level 68 that we stopped on, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go all the way down here. I'm just going to dig straight down. Hopefully there's no lava in the way. Nope, there's andesite. Or diorite. Can't remember. Right, let's open this up. And we'll stop at 68. In which case we have to mine into that direction that I just faced myself. 68. Hello? There it is. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and start dismantling the scaffold. Because it's actually not in a very good place right here. Did I just hear a skeleton? Not good if it is a skeleton. Okay. Let's go ahead and try and bust this down. We'll try and recuperate as much of it as we can by going up to the top layer over here. Excellent. That's pretty good. Get all these. Ah, damn, we missed one. Ah, we missed one. Okay, good. We can probably bust these down faster than we could fall. Yeah, we can. Okay, we have to be very careful with this. Okay, good. Got around there. Uh, let's go ahead and torch this area. Up. Well, that's terracotta. I don't want to put that there. I wanted to put down a torch right there. Uh, get rid of this. Put that there instead, put it above the door, and one over here. Great. And we want a torch in through here as well. There's some coal right there. Get that. Put a torch in there. Uh, now we want to take the scaffold and put it into this little maintenance hatch right here. Because we should theoretically be able to get into the mob grinder through this. Hopefully. You can go down scaffolding. Yes, but we need to we needed to dismantle it while also keeping as much of it as, as was humanly possible. So um, that's why we were kind of like breaking it as we were falling down. I quite like the scaffolding, actually. It's, it's very good. Okay, excellent. Put a... Nope, that's scaffolding. Put a torch right there, just for funsies. And I think if we go... Maybe down to... Here... Actually, uh, we needed to make it 19 above 68, didn't we? So we need to go to 87. If we bust into 87, that should be the bottom floor of the mob grinder. 87. This is 92, 91, 90, 81. There we go. This should be the one. Doing math. Quick math. Hey, would you look at that? Nice. We've created a maintenance hatch. Perfect. And that's going to be really hard to get into if we door it up. So let's go ahead and do that. Right here. Put a wee door there. Good. Because this is going to be the wet room. Essentially. Okay. Now that we've done that, we want to go up to... 
top level, I think. So if there are two gaps, plus one for the floor, that's two, one, two, one, two, eight. Eight blocks up from, eight blocks up from 88 is 96, okay? 96, three, four, five, and six. This should lead us out to the top platform, shouldn't it? Hopefully, oops. Yep, there it is. Great, bust this out here. Ah, we need to put a trap door down so we can use this access. And we don't wanna do it from here. Oh, we have one, actually. Great. Just go ahead and open that one. Uh, we need to do the same thing. One lift below us. Middle of this platform right here. Go ahead and get rid of this. Just put it on the ground instead, I suppose. Right there. Uh, we want to bust into here and here. And that is another maintenance hatch right there. Go ahead and stick a platform right there. And we will door it up. I'm pretty sure the door does not allow the casting of light through it. It's pretty awesome. Nice. I'm going to put a torch there. And I'm going to put a torch here as well. Do we have any more doors? No, we're out of doors. Okay, we can make more doors though. So we went down there, went down there. Go down another three. Should be right here. I think. Yep. Beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. Uh, put this here. Good, okay, so we can now access basically most of the mob grinder. Awesome, I love that for us. Still need a couple of doors. I assume we can get a couple of doors. We'll just go up these scaffolding. We'll see what's up here. In fact, we could even put a little skylight right here as well, so as we're coming out, we can tell what time of the day it is. It is. Uh, that's a hazard. Let's plug that in. Done. <laughs> it's probably way too dark in there now. We might get a couple of mobs spawning. So, now we need more doors. Acacia doors. We make acacia doors like this, right? And we get three of them. Yep, definitely. Great. We've got a few more doors. Excellent. So now we've got our maintenance hatches basically sorted as well. Okay. Allow me. Allow me access. Thank you. Good. Uh, this can go right here. Boop. There we go. And we go down another lift, and we've got one there. Don't have one here. Put that there. Great. Awesome. Nice. Thoughts on police? Uh, I think they're kind of overrated, honestly. They did, uh, should I stay or should I go, but... Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that. I kind of like that one. But ultimately, I, I think the entire band is just kind of overrated. Right, good. Unless you're talking about the actual civil utility, in which case I think is probably actually essential for society. And I never believed this until I uh, kind of like aged. I always thought that they were just kind of like oppressive for the sake of being oppressive, but that's when I was young and thought I was smarter than everybody. I clearly am not smarter than everybody. I mean, the cops, yeah, no, I figured that one out. Uh, Alright, so we could probably make a little uh, thing up here, maybe like a no, we can't do anything here, because we if we are here, mobs can't spawn beneath us. So we can't do anything here anyway. How are the trees looking? Because we do need more platforms. There's a few acacia trees. A couple of sticks here. Strange. We could probably go out and find ourselves some more... There we go. Savannah, right over there. We'll go and get more acacia stuff. Because there is a gigantic plains out there. And I also kind of want to do something with... Um, with this desert out here as well. I just don't know what I want to do with that desert right there. They take out the unskilled killers? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never forget that every statistic you see about violence is about the data that they actually have. <laughs> they don't include data that includes uh, people who never got caught for a crime and crime statistics. Best weapon? Crossbow. Easy. If you're talking about Minecraft specifically, the crossbow. Crossbow is definitely the way to go. Okay, we'll come over here. See what... I don't think we've ever been out this way before. Whoa, okay. This area screams ancient city buried beneath here. There's a chicken over there with an egg. Okay. We'll knock down some of these trees, collect some of the wood, because I like it, and we'll head back. 
Probably. Probably head back. Probably, probably would be a good idea. All right. Good. I think those are oaks. Yeah, these are oaks. Let's get rid of them anyway. Because they're in the way. They're in the way of my productivity. Uh, just sneaking through there. Good. Got another oak right there. Oh, would you look at that? A giant pile of magma is flowing out from this rather unusual place for magma to ever be flowing out of. I want this block. Good. Grab that one block right there. There is a chicken. I'm not really interested in killing chickens anymore. Gotta be said. This is a tall one. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, game. Excellent. Uh, there's a lot of jungle that way. Oh, is that planes? We haven't actually found any planes in this world yet, so if we find some over here, that'd be awesome. Alright, the tree just fell on me, which is absolutely fine. Hello there, pig. Another one here. Oh, give me that block. <laughs> Come on, game, cooperate! Best weapon IRL? Uh, two sticks, believe it or not. I have uh, done a lot of a screamer. So two sticks is always going to be the answer for me. Or like a hand and a half sword. Or nunchuck. I know, I've got a lot of experience with martial arts, so everything can be used as a weapon. Even a banana. A banana in the right hands can be used as a force multiplier, and thus can be used as a weapon. Potato peeler? Why? Why? That is the slowest weapon to ever use in self-defense. In fact, that would... Act if it ever went to court, and most, like situations where you do have to defend yourself with a weapon, those situations do make it to court. If you use a potato peeler to defend yourself, you'll probably actually find that that indicates um, premeditation, and you'll get sent to jail for it. Slow and painful is my style. Oh, man. Man, I... <laughs> no, slow and painful is not what I'm all about, my dude. You start realising after you do enough self-defence that uh, the whole point of defending yourself is to keep yourself from trouble. So for me, when I was uh, maybe eight, nine, I started learning self-defense for the first time. I started taking judo classes. I thought, man, I can throw a fully grown adult over my shoulder. That power feels good. And then a decade later, I realized, oh, I can do that. But if I do do that, there are going to be massive consequences for why I did that in the first place. So self-defense is really one of those things uh, that is equal parts defending yourself in the moment from an aggressor, but also not going to jail for manslaughter. I had salt, lemon juice, rubbing alcohol, and hand sanitizer. I'm not talking about self-defense. I'm talking about being skilled enough to not get arrested. Well, you're doing it massively the wrong way, my dude. Uh, that would create something called a scream. What you are doing is creating one of the noisiest victims known to man. And you're also uh, fantasizing about torture, which is this indicates to me that you have a, a power dynamic that you really struggle with at, maybe at home or at school or something like that. You know, there's two very important books in the world. There's Sun Tzu's The Art of War, where he said, Know thy enemy, and there's the Bible that says, Know thyself. If you're missing one of those, uh, you probably <laughs> should probably at least look it up. <laughs> All right, we've got 43 cooked chickens, which is pretty awesome, actually. What else we got? Uh, Lapis Lazuli. We got a bunch of saplings. We should probably go ahead and put our agriculture in the agriculture chest, because it's just congesting our inventory at this point. Right over here, uh, saplings. Done, and oak logs, probably not particularly important. This barrel, I don't really want it. I know it creates a job for the villagers, but we don't actually have anything that you can necessarily do with it other than trading, which we're just not going to do. Ah, they won't find the bodies? Oh, no, they will find the bodies, my dude. Yeah, serial killers these days, you can't abduct somebody these days without being noticed by several thousand security cameras. Everybody gets caught these days. It's got nothing to do with skill. It's literally that unless you are, you know, s sitting in manhole sewers, dragging people in and then doing whatever you want in there, you are going to be caught on camera somewhere. Now, if I put them in the wood chipper, uh, yeah, someone actually did that in history and the wood chipper was the thing that got them arrested. That's also the plot of Fargo, the film. I just realized how the farm works. The arrow noise is the dispenser that makes the chicken. Yes, ish. Uh, uh, it's kind of like the impact is, is this dispenser right here. Sorry, the arrow being thrown is the dispenser right here. But this guy makes weird sounds as well. That sounds like an actual bow being drawn. It's a bit different. The cameras can't find me. You're going to get caught. You, you, uh, that is 
Eric, but believe it or not, actually, um, most murderers are psychopaths, so uh, sociopaths, and narcissists. Every single one of those mental illness traits believes that they are too good to get caught, and that's how they get caught. They get caught because they, they think that they can outsmart just very, very basic levels of investigation, too. Every single person. Every single person who thinks they can outsmart the police has gotten caught. I've been in this business for over a year. Well, if you're bragging about it on the internet, you're not going to be uh, bragging about it for much longer. You know Google owns YouTube, right? So whatever you say in chat is not only read by Google's AI, but then forwarded on to authorities whenever you say something intense enough. If you go on YouTube and you make a bomb threat, everyone knows. Every, literally everybody knows, and please turn up at your house. It's a thing. Yeah, yeah, like, straight up, just look it up. It's a, it's a thing. If you go ahead and make a bomb threat on the internet... It is forwarded onto the local authorities because Google and uh, Facebook and stuff like that have a responsibility to do that on their platforms. So if anybody goes onto social media and brags about it, which is, again, another thing that psychopaths, sociopaths, and narcissists just do, um, you're going to get caught. You're just going to get caught. They did last night. I thought that's because you said you were singing and it sounded like somebody was dying. All right, we've not got enough wool. We still need to make some carpets... Yeah, which means we need to shear off our sheep, which I'm happy to do right this second. Yep. And snip, snip, snip. We need at least six. There we go. That's all of our sheep, fresh and naked. I'm going to drop these shears into here. Done. How much we got? We got eight. That's exactly what we need. In fact, that's probably too much. That's way too much. Uh, is it two? Yes, it is. That's weird. Okay, good. We've made 12 white carpet. That's probably excessive, but we do have it. One time someone wasn't dying. You will get, like, if you say that on YouTube, you will get in trouble, by the way. <laughs> they don't investigate me because I'm an innocent little boy. No, men are actually 90% of the perpetrators of serial killings. So you are, in fact, um, the prime demographic for investigation. Again, that's another narcissist thing. If you, if you genuinely believe that you're not going to get caught... You get caught. It's it's the downfall of everybody who thinks they're really, really good at something. Okay, good. Especially when they're not very good at it, which, if you are bragging about it on the internet, indicates to me that you probably aren't actually made for murdering. But they won't find the cops' bodies? Cops' bodies! Oh, yes, they will. My dude, if you kill a single cop, you get everyone on you. That's, a, that's another thing proven by true crime. All of this is very public in information available on the internet. How have you not just Googled it? In case of danger, Kablooey? That is, um... That is a bomb threat. Believe it or not. I've been doing that for over a year. My dude... I know you're just, like, being facetious, but you can't say stuff like that on the internet. You will get caught. Somebody will, uh, kind of, like, report you to authorities eventually. You'll rub someone the wrong way. It does happen. It, re it really does happen. Uh, here in my hometown of Dunedin, every now and then there's a student who doesn't want to go and do their mid-year or end-of-year exams. They're, like, a little bit too afraid of everything. So what they do is they make a bomb threat against the university. And I am not joking. Please turn up to the university and then stand outside with M16 assault rifles. There is no other reason in New Zealand for uh, police to be carrying an M16 assault rifle because we are an anti-gun country. It just doesn't happen. I wonder if I can hit that corner from here. Yes, I can. Okay, good. Nice. But yeah, be very, very careful. Be very careful uh, making threats to people on the internet because you never know who you're talking to. You never know who's watching, who's listening, and um, there are always consequences. Okay, I'll go ahead and place this down there. Done. Okay, sorry. No, it's, it's, it's not about me. It's, it's about yourself. You just got to stay safe on the internet. If you make bomb threats to random people, they are motivated to go and see whether or not you would actually carry it out. You'll end up on Kiwi Farms or something like that. People will investigate you. You'll be reported to the authority. Your address will get doxxed. Uh, you'll be repeatedly swatted because these people know exactly where you live then. Um, I've seen people have to move out of their houses and go to different cities, different states in America just because one person uh, didn't like that they were making bomb threats, so you've got to be real careful with that kind of stuff. I just read a Garfield comic. Look up Garfield Potato Peeler, and the first result is my post about it. 
Uh, maybe eventually, but I am currently playing a video game for the entertainment of YouTube. So maybe, maybe not the best time for it. Okay, so we've carpeted up everything. We need more of the trapdoors, which means we need more of the wood. There's got to be a better way of, of getting the wood. We do have a stack. We need heaps more than we actually have, though, unfortunately. The acacia trees are growing fast. Maybe. Here, I'm going to take the bed. We're going to go out into the forest, and we're going to see if we can't maybe just kind of, like, set up over there. I think that might be a good idea. I think it might be a really, really good idea. Because then we can kind of, like, take the trees, we can plant them down immediately, and then we can spend time basically just farming up wood as long as... We can possibly muster it, because it does take a lot of wood to make all of the trapdoors that we are going to need. We only got like one third of them, and that was two and a half stacks. So we're going to need five stacks of trapdoors to get the last of the other two rooms. I would just estimate. We don't really have any on us either that we can add to our counter, unfortunately. Okay, we'll just start chopping these down, and... We will periodically start replanting all of these saplings. Every time it gets dark, I think it's going to be a good idea to pop out the bed. And then we just sleep. We just sleep throughout the night. We should be in a very, very good spot. Okay, knock that down. I'm not seeing any savannah trees. I think we are actually kind of like at the point where we are in getting into planes. I see a couple more over there. Maybe we could make them out of oak as well, I suppose. I mean, if we're not going to be looking at it, what is the harm... Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to start making everything out of everything that we have. We're not going to waste any resources. Probably a, a good idea. Probably a good idea not to waste resources. Good. The sun is going down. I'm going to go ahead and get this tree. We might replant everything. We also might not. What the hell is this hole in the ground? Jesus. Look at this. Ugh. I'm pretty sure there's certain death in there. I think I smell some rotting flesh down there. We don't want to go down there. Okay. Ah. It inspired a long joke that's lasted over a year. Oh, what? I'm a serial killer and I kill someone with a potato peeler. That's a hell of an inside joke. I keep killing fictional characters and making jokes. I have a friend who also makes the jokes with me. Okay, uh, you've got to be careful, though. Inside jokes can be a double-edged sword sometimes, especially if they're kind of like edgier jokes, like I'm murdering people. Because there is... Like, a point at which YouTube reads closed captions. And they kind of, like, look for concerning things. And sometimes you can, like, get uh, creators demonetized if you get them, say, like, racial slurs or something that the algorithm just misinterprets as an actual racial slur or something like that. Like doing the old salt and vinegar trick. You can uh, get somebody to say some, <laughs> some pretty nasty things if they're not paying attention. But the, um, the main issue with it is that when the closed captions actually do go forward... They're kind of like, they're read by uh, an AI to see whether or not they're kind of like family friendly. And if they're not massively family friendly, then the YouTuber gets paid for it. The YouTubers asked, hey, why is this in your content? And it, even if it goes that far, especially if they're monetized. And uh, unfortunately, the YouTuber then has a responsibility to say, oh, it was this one viewer. And then boom, uh, everyone, every, everyone involved uh, goes to court. Everyone goes to court over that. So, inside jokes, they, they can be good in the moment, but they are very, very risky. I'm back, I finished one of the puzzles. Good on you, Liam. Oh no, it's my basement, rotting flesh in a hole? Okay. 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 Uh, I don't think we've got enough axe to bust this down. No, we don't. Okay, I'm just going to leave this floating tree right here. We don't have any workbenches. We did actually end up skipping the night. Oh, is this a temple? I think we found a temple. Nice. Okay, we'll come up here. Is this a temple? Maybe not. Damn, this desert biome is huge. Uh, how many stacks have we got? We've probably got enough stacks for another layer. We probably don't need to fill it out too much. All right, we'll come all the way up here. Uh, or not. Maybe we should just be going around this gigantic penis dune in the sky. I'm doing it. I'm going around it. I'm not even going to bother with it. We're going around these whole hills. Whew. You walked into that basement joke. Every basement has semen. Mine doesn't. If your basement doesn't have semen, you don't have a basement. That is true, actually. We don't have a basement. We've got a subfloor. I live in southern New Zealand, so most of us here don't actually have basements. What we do have is foundations that lift the, 
the house off of the ground. Most people call them piles. We call them foundations. And what it does is it keeps us um, out of harm's way for whenever the city starts flooding, because we do have a lot of floodlands here. A basement without semen is a bat? Ugh. Oh, I see! You're making a pun. A semen pun. <laughs> That's brave. Last time I heard one of those, I was, um... I was, uh, piloting a ship. There you go, full circle. Piracy. Let's get some of this here sugar cane, because we are going to desperately need it for books in the very near future. How much have we got? 20. That's F-A. That is literally nothing. Yeah, no, I got the pun. I got the pun. I got the pun. It's kind of hard to, like, see text puns, though, when you're reading everything out loud. You've got to take people at face value. Uh, taking a look in our valuables chest, we do have a lot of resources. I'm probably done with this clock. It's not amazingly helpful. We want to get rid of some of this other crap as well. Do we have any building blocks? Yeah, we... Trimlight. Nice. Oh, we also got a cache logs in here. Great. Let's go ahead and just drop some crap off into the bucket right here that we're never going to come back for. More terracotta, I suppose. Some planks. And we'll take these ones. That should give us enough stacks of logs to get ourselves the platforms that we need. Okay, that's one stack, two stacks. Good, let's get a stack of these here trapdoors. Four, five, and six. Done, two stacks of trapdoors. We can actually get more of these. Oh, perfect. This adds up just enough to get ourselves another two stacks. Right. So that's a lot of trapdoors. I suppose if we need any more, we can just literally go back and chop down a few more trees. But that should be all we need, right? It's well over 200, about 264, if my math serves. Oh, that was close. Nearly ran into that. There are little pieces of your background in the middle of the screen. Yeah, I know. I've got a green screen, and sadly, whenever, again, like our city floods pretty frequently, uh, whenever it starts flooding, the sun disappears, the sky goes black, and my green screen looks like that. There's literally nothing I can do about it. You're going to have to take it up with um, whatever god you believe controls the weather. i got to go. Okay there, Luigi. You have a great day. Try not to get caught murdering anybody, especially if you haven't done it. Uh, we're going to bust this down because it seems like the easiest way up. Great. And we'll come back into this little hatch right here. Beautiful. Okay, we'll hatch the rest of this mob grinder up. We're probably actually very close to finishing it. I'll still be here still. Okay, Liam. Okay, Liam. Great. This one is fine. Not much else to do in there. Keep forgetting the controls of this. Let's actually go to the second highest one. This one right here. That is not immediately flushed out with platforms. Get rid of all of these. Probably don't need this door in our hotbar either. But we do need all of these trapdoors right this second. Let's eat some chicken for fun. Mainly because I want to. Good. We want to circle the entire drain here. Oop, that was close. Now we just walked into the platform that the scaffolding was uh, poking through. Yep, that's fine. All of this around here. Line that up there so it looks nice. Not like it makes a huge difference, though. To be quite honest, it doesn't make a huge difference at all. Okay, let's just keep on keeping on. Uh, why can't I place that? Oh, apparently that's... the hell? <laughs> oh, we don't have an axe, so if we misplace one of these, it's going to take ages for us to recuperate. Awesome, we picked that one back up. Love that for us. Put that there, put that there, put that there. I think it actually does what matter what half of the block you're looking at. Okay, put all of that there. Uh, put all of these across here, so we've got a little walkway, put those across there, that's a whole stack gone already. Great. Along here. Put all that along there. We'll canal all of this out, because that's what it is looking like on the other side. Oop, we haven't stuck any platforms here. Done, and more here and here. Good. We'll duck and we'll put these here and here. We'll get into the other side, and we'll keep on platforming out. Excellent. Do the same thing over here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really, really don't want mobs to get stuck on these platforms here as they're falling down into the water. Hopefully. Hopefully they're falling down into the water. Okay, that is a whole row done. Put that one there. 
That should be completely filled out as well. Nice. So let's get that off of our hotbar. Let's also get these torches off of our hotbar. Let's just keep on opening all of these here. Nice. Excellent. And all the way around here. This is a pretty good strategy, actually, I think. Okay, all the way through here. Gorgeous. One left. Done. Okay, so we'll do the ones furthest out from the platforms here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. And we'll keep on working our way inwards. Done all of that side there. Keep on coming all the way in through here. No reason to go out that way. Let's close this one off completely. Whoops, missed one. And this one can go next, I suppose. And this one after. Nice. And this canal right here can go. Excellent. Maybe we want to make our enchanting bench around here as well. But I also don't think we want to either. On account of the fact that we don't want to start despawning mobs. Just by our presence being around here. Okay. I'm going to drop down here. Good. Let's go ahead and start placing more of these trapdoors down. We'll start way over on that side, I suppose. We probably don't even need to really do this as nuclear as we have been doing. Probably do this from beneath. One, two, three. Excellent. Put a few over here as well. Good, 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 good. Love that. Put some more across here. Pretty good. Around here. Nice. And block all of this off. And that's a whole stack on again. Excellent. Probably be doing these sides as well as I go through them too. Nice. Okay, we don't need these platforms, these little faux platforms that we made ourselves. Or do we just miss that one? I think we, we may have just missed that one when we were dismantling them. That's fine. I'm all the way over here. Nice. Put all of that there. All of this goes around here as well. Done. We will trap up that. I love how they're called trap doors. Because they're technically hatches, but I think the intent is to use them as traps. Right, good. Keep on coming all the way here. Done. Accidentally just uh, unhatched one of those. That's fine, though. I don't care too much. Doesn't make too much of a difference. This side. Excellent. That one is done and dusted. We'll do this one next. I think we've actually got enough trap doors to completely finish off this mob grinder, by the way. So we should be pretty far away from not really having to come back here ever again. Which would be awesome. I would actually love that. Okay, I'm going to start turning around and we're going to do the opposite side of these. Wish I had this workflow before. before. Instead of just like crouching and making, making sure that we're looking onto the platform that we're standing on. Which took ages. Put those, all of those. All of those there. Good. They can go there. These ones need to go here. That's good. These ones need to go there, and that needs to go there. Very Gucci. Come over here, and put that there and there. Put all of that around there. There we go. Nice! Almost finished. Just need to do the corners now, I think. Uh, so we want to canal it out this way. Excellent. And come over here as well. Nice. Just a smidge more. Oh, don't want to put two platforms on top of each other. That's a little bit daft, I would say. Probably the stupidest thing in the world. One there. That there. Good. We'll probably even build this up more lifts in the future, but I don't really think that that's completely necessary. All right, let's start the arduous task of unlatching all of these now. Let's empty our hands. So that we can just run along here and do all of it at once. Good. Let's see, outside's virtually taken care of. I know we just blocked off the door, but we can always just jump into it. Doesn't really matter that much. Okay, coming all the way through here. Nice. Great. A few more over here that we want to open. And this canal as well. We're going to open that. And these two, of course. Uh, open these three, because I want to. Open those, open those. These are next. Excellent. 
Great. I've also found the kind of like the trick of just holding down right mouse button. I wasn't doing it before, but we can do it. It's actually very easy to do as well. Okay, some of these are double swinging, like that one and that and that. that. Good. This one's going to be easy to do. Done and dusted. This, 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 and these three. Nice. This, 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 and these three as well. Done. Go ahead and just go over here. So now what we need to do is get water. We need, we need water. We need lots and lots of water now. What time is it, actually? What time is it? It is nighttime. Let's go ahead and just climb all the way to the top here. And we should be able to find ourselves somewhere to put our bed, which is on our hotbar right here. White bed. Okay. Let's just put this there, I suppose, and we'll sleep in it. Right. Okay. Now we need to get lots and lots of water, which means uh, down south side, we'll probably want to build some kind of well. And that'll save us a couple of trips with the bucket. Do we have the bucket? Yes, we do. Right here. Excellent. So now that we've got this, I'm actually going to go back up here. I'm going to deposit this first little instance of water that we have. Okay, that is a maintenance hatch. We could probably plug that in, like so. Uh, any other holes? There's a platform here. Great. I don't think there are any holes in here. I think we actually made this pretty watertight. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so we want to go ahead and get a pickaxe out. That's deep, for some reason. Oh, that's right. There was coal here, wasn't there? Uh, let's put that there. We'll block in this. And we want to put one little blip of water right there. And we want to go get some more water from outside now. Because there is no water inside for us to gather. It's literally as simple as that. Okay, good. Go around this here. And we sprint onwards. We're also going to need a few slabs so that we can very, very easily take out mobs without being hit by them as well. Hello, I do homework now. Hey there, DJ, how you doing? How is your homework? What the hell is this? Oh, that's cool looking. It's like a Minecraft dropper. Without the water. I do remember this water over here. We probably actually want to uh, de-water this area over here. Uh, we need some more activated rails as well. Get some activated rails to get ourselves into our kind of like other base. Everything is going to come together eventually. Don't worry. It's it's all going to it's all going to happen. I know we've started so many different projects and we haven't finished a single one of them, but that base over there, that's going to be awesome when it's finished. That's probably going to be the next session's focus. That village over there, we are going to expand that out so much more. We just need to get lots and lots of wool for lots and lots of beds and then we need to build a bunch of buildings. Simple as that. Probably should also get a um a good bunkhouse going too. I also think that's going to stimulate the raids, which I do remember from the game just before the copper was dropped. Okay, we've got enough water. We can go up the scaffold. Let's go all the way up here. Hopefully we are going to find ourselves in a little cave with a door. Do we go too high? No, here it is. Okay, so this is an infinite water source now. Go ahead, take this and place it down there. We actually, we need to surround the drop first. We, we actually need to surround the drop first. Otherwise, we're just going to be ganked. Cre Creepers are going to spawn up on us. And we are not going to be in a great spot. So let's go all the way to the bottom here. And now we need some stone slabs. Let's get rid of this. Let's put a rafting bench in there. I think it's going to be the best option. Place our, our platforms here. Oh my god! We had four stacks of platforms, and now we're left with literally only 22. That is insane. The homework is mainly geometry. Uh, cool. I'm, I'm really good at geometry, actually. I love geometry. Geometry is fun. Until you start getting into kind of like, um, <laughs> container volumes and stuff. That stuff's not very fun. <laughs> Mainly because it's really hard to do. You've got to know, like, pi values and stuff like that. Probably closer to trigonometry. It's probably closer to algebra than it is actually geometry. Gravel. Get that off our hotbar. We need slabs. So let's go ahead and turn this cobblestone into cobblestone slabs. Like that? Yep. 
Okay, so we probably want a few of these bad boys right here. A nice even number. 36, that'll do the trick just fine. Get a soft block to put down right there. Good. And what we want to do is put these slabs around here. Now we're going to have to move everything out another wall as well. Okay, let's do that before we forget. One, two, three. Bang, 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 bang. Or we could just make a hole in the wall kind of deal. But I don't think we want to do that. I think we actually do just want the ability to access everything at all times. Uh, I'm going to stick that there. Another pickaxe. Pick this entire wall off. Pick it like I'm picking my nose. Violently. Ah! <laughs> I wonder if there's anybody that actually does that. Just really violently picks their nose. Sorry for scaring everybody, by the way, if, <laughs> if I jump scared anybody with that scream. Okay, we'll go along here, pick all of this, and that should give us enough access, right? I'm happy with this. Okay, so I'm going to create a ring all the way around here, and I don't really care too much about that clay for one very, very good reason. We can just pick it out, it'll go into the hopper, and now we have it right here. We also got another spear torch. That's awesome. I love that for us. Uh, we need to take this out a little bit more. We got to we got to make a a little bit of a, a thoroughfare. Probably more fanfare than thoroughfare. Just just over here, just down where we are. Okay, we've got some gravel. Oh, we can also pay that Fletcher to turn gravel into a uh, flint for us as well, which is very helpful. That's probably my least favorite chore of the game. Uh, I'm gonna go another block in. In fact, we should probably just go two in, realistically. Okay, we'll put that there, and just going to mine all of this out here. Great. Nice. Mine all of this. Make a nice little room here so that we can see what we're doing at all times. Mine all of that. Good. And perfect. All right. Mine all of this out, and we have liftoff. Love that. Uh, another torch on the wall in here. Awesome. So if we put glass here, we should be able to see what we're doing without really screwing anything up too badly, right? Oh, God. We need to get rid of that hole as well. Mm. Do we have sand? No, but we do have gravel. Mm. We don't have any... Oh, we've got a little bit of scaffolding. I think we'll use uh, brick blocks. Uh, please. All right, we'll set up all of these scaffolds. We'll go all the way up here with our cobblestone. Hopefully we can like see the top of this. No, we can't. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two. We got to fill all of these out, by the way. We can't actually have anywhere that is too dark. And I suppose we could have just, you know, not done what we were doing now, but we still do need to fill it in. Okay, this is all lit up, so it's absolutely fine. Nothing can spawn in here. Oh, we actually want to plug this off as well, don't we? Maybe we should glass it off. Let's do that. Let's like, let's make a feature wall here. Maybe. No, we won't, we won't make a feature wall there. Just on account of it being a little bit too... A little bit too hard to access, actually. Literally as simple as that. Okay, I don't want anything to fall in there. Plug all of that in there too. I'm just going to plug in this entire cave, I think. Just so we don't accidentally spawn anything in here. Because I can be kind of stupid sometimes. Uh, that's all the cobblestone of that stack gone. Get all of this out of our hands as well. Take this torch. Plug all of this crap in here. Done. And great. A little bit more to plug in. No, I'm not getting that copper. It's, it's literally worthless. Okay. Uh... 
probably want to go ahead and plug all of this in. Nice. Done. Excellent. Ah. You should try to get netherite ingots next Thursday. I think next Thursday we're probably more going to focus on potentially building the actual base out. Okay, we'll get some glass in here so that we can actually see what we're doing. And then we should be good to go. We should be down to clown. What time is it? It is getting on late, but it's not quite sundown yet. Okay. So now that we've got that out of the way, we're going to go back to the village. We're probably going to cut those trees down because we do want to keep a consistent flow of wood coming. And we are going to want to get some glass. We want to glass off that wall so that we can actually see when there are mobs in there for us. What day is it for me? If you're asking me, it is Thursday. And you know that because we're playing Minecraft. Take those cooked chickens. Yes, please. Uh, looking around here. Here's some glass. Nice. I knew we had some. Okay, we've got a bunch of terracotta. We've got some crimson stems. I don't know what they do. Maybe that'd be cool to make a base out of. I'd say. Uh, we probably don't need diorite or gravel or cobblestone slabs anymore. Oh, no, actually, we can use cobblestone slabs to generate discs, can't we? Because if you put a second cobblestone slab on top of a top lock slab in this mob grinder, then you can get... When you jump, it's, it's when you jump, you can actually bait skeletons into shooting their own dudes, and that generates discs. Okay, good. We're going to do that. Uh. Wow, says, you have a trick? It's Wednesday for me. 23 years ago today was a bad day if it's Wednesday for you. Uh. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Oh, I see. Right. It was it was 911. So it's the 11th? It should be the 12th uh, for me. We're actually in a bit of a weird spot here in New Zealand. I found out uh, only a month ago that some countries don't actually do daylight savings, which I find really strange. Because it just makes sense, especially on the parts of the world where you aren't like directly on the equator. So what this means is when we go into daylight savings, we are plus 13 GMT. And in the negative 12 GMT, some countries do not go to negative 11. Some of them uh, voluntarily choose not to do daylight savings, which ends up having a very, very weird situation of uh, us here in New Zealand being 25 hours ahead of the uh, next part of the world, which is very strange. Very strange. We're over a day away from uh, the people who are a day behind us. Very unusual. So if we do this, we should be able to bait skeletons into shooting their own dudes. I'm expecting. I'm expecting that to be the case. Okay, need another platform to stand on. How about glass? Sure, done. Get some of this. There, 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 and there. Excellent. Okay, so we've got everything basically set up, except for these bonfires. And I'm not entirely sure if we do want bonfires. I think I do want bonfires. To kind of like automate this. But I also want experience. That's the thing. I also need the experience because we're going to be doing a lot of enchanting. Oops. Wanted to eat that, not put it in the hopper. Hmm. Me smartsies, that a skill I plan not to use after school. There are a lot of skills, actually, that you will end up using after school. Um, algebra, I didn't realize this, but algebra is really helpful when you have a recipe of food that you want to cook for a large group of people. Because the recipe often um, requires you to substitute cups and grams and kilograms and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a bunch of different weird measurements. So, like, having algebra allows you to convert all of the, the measurements from imperial to, to metric at, as its basic level. But if you have, like, 12 people coming over for dinner and you've got a recipe that serves three, you can then take all of those ingredients and multiply them by four. So, which technically is algebra. It's technically algebra. Because you're not really multiplying numbers. You're, you're multiplying the weights of those items. Hey there, Bruce. What's good? Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, and I had my little rant about school, every skill that you learn in school will eventually be useful one day. Honestly, you just haven't experienced when it's going to be useful yet. And that's why a lot of people seem to think that uh, school is nine times out of ten a waste of time. Especially like tradies. Okay, we need to make a bonfire. I don't know how to make one. Bonfire, is that what it's called? No, it's bone meal. Fire. Ah, here we go. Campfire. This is the one. So we need coal or charcoal, we need three sticks, and we need logs. 
Okay, so we need some fuel, which we actually do have back at our little village. We'll go there. I want to be an author. I'm better at algebra, and I'm the youngest in my class by over a year. Nice. Uh, you may be tism touched, if that's the case. I'm certainly good at math. That sounds like tism touch to me. <laughs> Most of my friends are on the spectrum. We're, we're all on the spectrum. I'm pretty sure this channel attracts people who are on the spectrum as well. I'm the only one who actually got the right answers on the assignment in my class today. Nice. You should hold it over them forever. Uh, people love that. People absolutely love that. And just in case you actually do have autism, uh, people don't actually love that. I'm autistic as hell. Yeah, I had a hunch. I had a hunch. I'm almost done with the second puzzle. What are you playing? Or are you just like uh, making things in Minecraft? Okay. So now that we're back here, we need to get ourselves these right here. Charcoal. Good. And now we want to make some campfires, right? At least nine of them. Campfire. One, two, three, four. Can we make nine? Hey, this is actually really smart. They're kind of like substituting logs that we we do and don't have. Cool. I like that. All right, we've got nine campfires. Okay. So, I'm going to wait until we put the water down in the first layer before I actually stick these campfires down. Because if the water does go into the, into the funnel, boing, then we should be able to... Just set it up. Fire and forget, right? We'll do that. Oh, I've got one brown terracotta. I'm just going to throw that in the hole over there. Nice. Woo. Minecraft under that. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. When I was like, my, my first large progress, sorry, my first large project in Minecraft was a gigantic Roman Colosseum. And it took me days to make that thing. It looked really good, though. It was like, um, I don't know if anybody here has seen Gladiator, but it was kind of like that style. With the doors in. There they are. Good. How many of these are open? Too many of them, it seems. Okay, get rid of that one. We probably actually need to remove the torches, too. All right, let's check this out. So, if we go ahead and take our bucket of water, and we put it where there's torches, that should reach exactly to here. Oh, no. It's slightly off. Actually, if we push this out this way one, it should reach. Okay, well, uh, let's continue on from this side. Uh, that should be good enough. Like, as long as these corners are reaching without flowing into the hole, that should be absolutely fine. Although it seems like the, the water flow mechanics in Java are actually different to bedrock. I didn't realize this. Okay. We'll get a bucket of water. We'll fill this in so that mobs don't get stuck in it. And now we put this right there, baby. Gorgeous. Oh, that's weird. No, that's definitely flowing. Okay. Oh, that is a strong current, actually. And it's pushing all the way into there. Excellent. So let's go around and break these torches off. One there. Good. And we can probably do all four of these. There, 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 and yep. Okay, that's very dark. We need to gap it out of here as fast as possible. AFAP, one would say. Boop. Put that there. And in here is next. Any torches? Any platforms? No. I probably should have looked before I closed the door on myself. It, we don't want to close the door, actually. We don't want to do that whatsoever. Okay, so... I'm just going to go all the way over here. Take these torches down. There's another one in the corner over there, too. Pretty sure we can just walk over this canal, right? Yep. Good. Okay. Knock that one down. Good. Knock that one down. Good. Uh, break those off. Knock that one down. Good. Come back over this canal. Break those down. Bust that down. Excellent. Close this door. That should be everything in that level. Yep. Good. One more level. There's literally one torch staving off the zombie horde in here. Oh, oh, we missed one. That's fine. I can reach this. Okay, that is dark as dicks. That is super, that is super duper dicky dark. My dicks, they're so dark. Yeah, I think that's good. So if we go all the way down to the bottom here, we should get some mobs spawning, right? 
on those platforms. They should knock each other off, and they should be in a relatively good place for us to just farm them for experience. Ah, nice. I've been making a shrine for Martlet. It's taking forever. There you go. There's more of that Tism touch popping up. Can't wait to waste over four months just to make the background of Snowden. Oh, that's going to be easy, actually. That's going to be very, very easy. Okay, let's try and automate this somehow. We've got to crouch down. Put a campfire there, put a campfire there. So, as far as I know, these do not destroy items. But they do burn mobs to death. We could always just, like, destroy them if they are in the way as well. Because they'll just go into this chest. Taking that torch right there. Okay, we'll leave that up for a wee while, and we'll come back and we'll see if it is actually spawning monsters at a roughly alarming rate. I can't believe that the tests kept coming back inconclusive. What, for autism? That's pretty crazy. Um, Yinset insists that she has a little bit of the tism, and uh, she's spent thousands of dollars trying to go and actually get a proper diagnosis. But unfortunately, uh, she's got this other kind of underlying condition that everybody seems to mistake for, for autism at a glance, and it keeps popping up. But, like, she definitely has a little bit of the spectrum in her as well. Like, everyone can tell except for the professionals. Maybe you should bring your, um, your character fantasies over and show them. That'd be a good staple in the book. I finished the second puzzle? Nice. Are you getting into redstone? I really like redstone. See if you can ever uh, get into... Oh, if you ever want a redstone clock. I'm not sure if you know how to make a redstone clock. This is how you make them. Literally just setting it up like this. Every time something interacts with it, you'll be able to uh, redstone clock a dispenser. Pretty cool, huh? I finished the tests. Oh, there's always going to be more tests. Okay, what time is it? It is night time. Good. Let's go ahead and do a sleep. Get out of my bed, sir. Man, he loves that. He loves when I knock him out of my bed. What is this guy's name? You know what? What do we need for a name tag? Oh, uh, tag? Name? Can you not craft them? Can you only, like, uh, find them? That guy just slammed the door on my face. You dick! You dickhole! What else we got? Uh, nothing in here. Doesn't look like there's any cooked chicken in there. Got four cooked chicken in here. Great. We've almost actually got a stack, unironically. I'm going to go ahead and start shearing off the sheep because we do need the wool for the beds, don't we? We actually do need lots and lots of villager beds to kind of like expand out the village. We're going to make something of a citadel over here. Excuse me, piggy. Thank you. Can we shear the pig? No. <laughs> that would have been so dark if I could. Just like shear a layer of skin off the pig. Pig skin. Name tags from librarians. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. I've got one question on an assignment, so I have to wait until tomorrow to finish. If you can finish uh, remaking an entire game in Minecraft in one day, man, you should start modding Minecraft. You should, you should actually start, like, unironically, you should start doing that, because a lot of the Minecraft modders tend to be really, really fast at getting cool mechanics out there. And it seems like, um, what was it? Uh, I've, they're not called Minecraft experiences. They're like... Uh, Another thing, they're like community maps that you can just like play straight from the launcher. Maybe you should upload to those. Okay, so we do have an enchanting table here. We probably actually just want to repair this one a bunch of times, simply because I really like efficiency and unbreaking. We are going to need cows. What attracts cows? Is it wheat? It might be wheat. I think wheat attracts cows. We could probably do with getting a couple of cows over here, and we'll farm them for their leather. Right, let's get some wheat. I got some wheat seeds. Can I have some wheat, though? I'll just like, no? Ah, here we go. It's the sandy-looking one. I love how they take their own crops and they're all like, oh, this is useless to me. And then they just throw it in the compost for no reason whatsoever. Okay, good. Uh, we did get some wheat, which means we can lure some uh, cows over. We're going to need somewhere to put them. Maybe just over here. Maybe we'll just get rid of some of the sand and... Uh, Make a little farm area. Why not? Let's do that. We're not, we don't have a pickaxe with silk touch, though, unfortunately. So we're probably going to have to... I uh, no. Kind of like daisy chain some of this dirt over here. So we can just have a, a nice big field of cows. Might be a good idea. 
Okay, we'll keep this as kind of like the agriculture area. Why am I doing this with my fist? I'm insane, that's why. I'm literally insane. Huh. Servers? I also meant in school. I beg your pardon? Oh, I finished the test in school. No? What? Okay, I'm confused. I don't know much about servers. You think you're insane? Well, yeah, I just tried to uh, bust out a bunch of... A, bu a bunch of sand with my fist. That's a pr that's pretty insane... Things to do, right? 200 pages within 8 days? Oh, that's right! Of your fanfic. Okay, we'll come around here. And I'm just gonna pinch some soil over here. We're probably gonna want to get a shovel. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's get ourselves an iron shovel. We've got so much iron. It doesn't really make a huge difference anymore. We might even have like a stack of dirt or something in a chest back at home anyway. So if we can do that, we can completely bypass having to uh, get all of that dirt in the first place. There's a black sheep here. Hmm. That was unexpected. Do we want to get rid of the piggoos? I think we might want to get rid of the pigs. But like they're in here and they're kind of annoying. All right, let's see if we've got some dirt. We have lots of dirt, perfect. That's what I like to see. All right, we're gonna lay down a bunch of dirt. We're gonna get ourselves a nice big field for the cows to roam and enjoy. All right, excellent. We might, uh, do we wanna like fence them off with, with sandstone fences? I kind of like how the sandstone fences look. Though, I, th I think we do. I think we actually do want to do that. We can make like a nice little desert oasis for them. That'd be kind of cool. Let's do that. Let's make a desert oasis for the cows. Okay, I did just say we were going to make a shovel. <laughs> and here I am, punching sand out of the way with my fists like an eight. Wow, I'm chimping out on it though. I'm literally chimping out on all of this here sand. It's not a fanfic, it's a plea for help. Uh, I knew it! I knew it. It's, it's a shame as well, really. Uh, you just need to find a decent community. Some some people that you've got a lot in common with. Actually, you've kind of found one here, honestly. I don't think anybody has uh, been writing fantasies about NES-style characters or anything like that, but... You know, a, a lot of the people who are attracted to my channel, believe it or not, are like writers and creative types. We've got a bunch of musicians, we've got some pixel artists, we've got some really, really really talented hand-drawn artists as well. Oh my god, some of them. I can't believe how good they are at it. I was never good at drawing, so it always blows my mind when I find a good artist. But, um, yeah, we got, we got uh, people all over the place. I found Martlet IRL being DMing a 13-year-old on Reddit. Be careful of that. Be very careful of that, because uh, I would probably look at that as an adult and immediately suspect grooming. <laughs> Uh, be, be kind of cautious with random people on the internet role-playing as your favourite character, especially if you love that character. I'm 14? Yeah, exactly. That's you, you don't actually know how old they are, right? That's the, that's the thing about the internet. You don't know how old somebody is. I mean, people know how old I am because I say it in every single session that I stream, but uh, you generally just don't know. And I also look like I'm 30 as well, so kind of hard to lie about that. Got a big moustache. What do we need? We need a shovel. That's what we need. We actually need tools. We don't have any iron. We don't need this carpet in our pocket. Let's go ahead and just dump that. We could probably dump this cactus as well that we don't want. Uh, this barrel has been plaguing us, honestly. Probably don't need any more of these trapdoors. Got a lot of sand in our pockets. Hilarious. Uh, sticks, charcoal. Okay. Wheat seeds. Probably don't need those. That's about it, honestly. Oh, we don't need glass. We don't actually need the glass. Okay, so now that we are doing pretty good, we need some iron. Two. We're going to make two iron shovels. We're going to make a nice little cow farm. Because we, we need them. We actually do need them. One there. Good. And one right there. Excellent. She seems legit. I'm 12 and sound like an adult. You do actually, Liam. I'd say a lot of kids are growing up fast these days, honestly. I don't know why. When I was a kid, I was running around fields and farmland, chasing moths with a stick. She said if she could change her name to anything, she'd change it to Marlet. Oh, yeah. I mean, if, if I were a, an adult posing as a child, I'd probably say the same thing, because it's probably in any of your bios. 
Uh, we're gonna make like a, a real rough desert oasis over here. Why am I not using the shovel? Okay, good. Uh, like recess inwards a little bit over here and then poke it out a little bit more over, over this way. But yeah, stay safe on the internet. Like, stay real safe. Even if you think you're overdoing it, you're actually probably underdoing it, if anything else. You're probably protecting yourself from a, from a huge, huge amount of people out there. Uh, the internet's a dangerous place. Anonymity is, is probably one of the most weaponized things in the last 10 years. Okay, we'll come all the way over here, and we're going to replace all of this with dirt, obviously. Dirt, 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 dirt. Actually, let's do it from this side first. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Dirt. All over here. Lots of dirt. Look at our dirt right here. We are packing this place out with dirt. I don't know if these cows are really going to know what hit them. They'll be over here and they'll be all like, Damn! It's hot as hell! I'm so sweaty! But hey! Look at all this delicious dirt that we can eat. Yum! I love dirt, says the cow. Not really understanding context or, or good eating habits. Uh... I'm gonna use this to daisy chain the grass over there, I think. Put that there, put that there, put that there. I mean, we could just bone meal this, but I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's go get some fencing now. Excellent. She's the most well-known Martlet imperson impersonating Reddit account. She has a big account, which no groomers have. No, groomers, they definitely have big accounts. Just look at Minecraft Let's Players. Like, obviously, I'm an exception because I am literally physically telling people not to be groomed on the internet right now. But all of the big YouTubers from, like, between 2010 to 2018 or so, even before 2010, they've all had massive grooming allegations against them, just in droves as well. And when one people sticks their hand up and says, hey, I've been groomed, another, like, 10 people will say, oh, yeah, me too. I've got DMs. I've screenshot screenshotted them because he was famous. And I talked to a famous person. I didn't realize I was grooming at the time, but yeah, yeah they did it. Bone milling dirt doesn't do anything. Honey, what are you eating? Dirt. Liam, you are probably in a very good place to get married. Honestly, you, you, you've nailed a double entendre on the my wife is a cow <laughs> joke right there. Okay, so we do have a couple of bones, but I, I, I'm now skeptical that it'll actually spread grass. I know it does spread stuff. But I, I don't know if it actually spreads grass. Sand and dirt look kind of good together. Yeah, I agree, actually. I, I kind of really like the contrast of all of the land around here. Like, there's a giant red mace over there. I love that so much. That is such a cool little contrast. And then you look in the other direction, there's, like, dense green jungle. Huh. Again, I'm 12. Ah, you'll get married one day. I'm certain of it. Huh. Hey. Hopefully not to this dickhead who keeps slamming the door in my face. We can probably just lock him out of the house. Change the locks. I saw a post on Teenagers subreddit titled, This is a PDF file. <laughs> First time on this subreddit. Yeah, it'd be like that, doesn't it? Reddit has a, a, a very, very strong culture of predatory practices, I've found. Like, I've, I've seen it happen on Reddit, and I don't even use Reddit. All I do is go on, um, like, I'll, I'll, like, look something up, and it'll usually redirect me to Reddit. If I don't use Reddit... Then generally what will happen is I, uh, kind of like, just go anywhere else that gives me information. But when I am redirected to Reddit for literally anything, there's, like, so much of it going on at all times. It's so obnoxious. I can't remember how to make the walls. It's wall, isn't it? Sandstone wall? Here we go. Oh, it's literally as simple as that. Okay. Uh... 30 is not even remotely enough. We're going to need heaps more sand, I think. Or sandstone. We could probably dismantle that aqueduct. We're probably not actually going to do anything with it. We'll kind of make our melon farm somewhere else. Maybe somewhere that's not a desert. Because it doesn't make sense to be growing water melons in a desert, does it? Okay. This was a, a nice wee project to kill some time. But ultimately, I think that it was just a, a dumb idea. Like, in the, in the long run in the grand scheme of things probably a really dumb idea to create a giant aqueduct going through a desert it's not very roman rome was not much of a desert as far as i remember although i wasn't there that was like two thousand years ago i think <laughs> maybe longer good it really depends on what you're looking at roman empire or uh the holy roman empire that's like a thousand years apart right there all right good i'm coming around here holy roman empire went to some deserts 
Not for good reasons. <laughs> Real bad reasons. But they did. Alright, good. I'm knocking all of this down. Let's get some free walls out of this as well, which is just awesome. We probably do want to just get all of these building resources. Okay. We'll keep the keystones down there in case we change our mind about this whole aqueduct system, but I don't really think I am going to. There's a couple of fish over there. I wonder what they're doing. Well, they're probably swimming, actually. That, that is something fish are famous for doing, now that I think about it. Okay, good. Not all of this down. Free walls, too. And some ladders, which we aren't going to use, because the scaffolding is just <laughs> objectively superior. Right, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. And that. Excellent. That can fill in for all I give a hoot. Uh, we'll get this as well. Nice. Okay, good. And we'll keep on coming around. Although, you know, in saying, um, you know, it's it's better to stay safe on the internet. I, I feel like a lot of people are now at least aware that it does happen. Whereas I think most of the predators on the internet kind of got away with the whole, oh, I didn't know what I was doing kind of angle, right? And now people know that it happens and it happens frequently and they can't use that excuse. I've never made walls. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One moment you're loving him for letting you sleep in his bed, the next you hate him for slamming the door on you. <laughs> He's sleeping in my bed! That villager is sleeping in my bed! I've claimed that house! It's not even a very big house, he can go literally anywhere else. I don't care. I've never made walls? I know, right? They're, they're pretty annoying, honestly, when you start actually looking at what is required for them. We don't have any dirt. Okay, let's start knocking some of this down then. Because we already have some of the grass. Maybe this will reach. Maybe it won't. There's only one way to know. And that's by doing. Put that there. Put that there. I think we're one shy. Yeah, we're one shy. Let's actually take this one out. And we'll put it right there. Uh, and what Desert Oasis is complete without the actual water right in the middle? I, I feel like maybe infinite water source right here. Yeah, probably a good idea. Ah, we actually got some free dirt out of that, too. Uh, we'll get our bucket out, and we'll start bucketing in some water over here. Whoops, I think I actually... I think I punched the water with a bucket. That's not how we do it. Ah! I like to grow wheat in a cave in Minecraft. How the hell do you do that? Julius Caesar, salad bartender steak in the heart of gold. Ah, oh, more of a Caesar salad guy. Caesar salad? Yeah, there you go. Caesar salad. Just a lettuce covered in knives. It can spread diagonally? Ah, perfect. All right, we'll get rid of this one then, and we'll put some sand down in its place. All right. It is spreading, which is awesome. I'm actually going to go ahead and remove these two. I'm going to replace them both with sand. Well, maybe just that one, actually. Good. Okay, so we've got a bit of an oasis. Now we want to start placing down some of these walls, don't we? Uh, maybe we'll leave, like, a gap for this. Oh, we'll please don't hear... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's make a real big enclosure. There. Put that there. Bust that down. And we'll just kind of like try and enclose this oasis as best as we can. There. There's going to be a huge cow farm as well. Jesus. Although we want it to be enormous, don't we? Maybe that's too big. Maybe this is too big. I can't believe I took phrases and made one lead to the other. I'm almost at the long hallway. Nice. Okay, uh, let's just pop some of these walls down, see how they look. Maybe this is the entrance. Uh, we need, I think these are uneven. That's the entrance right there. And we'll go into this oasis. Maybe it's a little bit too wide. Okay, let's get rid of these two. And two on this side as well. We'll get rid of them. Nice. And we'll put this one a little bit closer in, I think. That makes the most sense. There, there. Nice. We've textured the um, the place a little bit. That's, that's all we can really hope for, right? And this one goes here. Nice. Love that. Uh, we also probably want to plant a tree here. Let's plant a tree in there. Let's, let's give them a nice little oasis to, to get out of the sun from. 
obviously we're not going to do that for our sheep over here, even though they are generating the resources that we need, but we kind of want a, um, a good level of comfort. Let's get a nice acacia sapling over there. And I'm going to throw this cactus away. Actually, this is probably the place for the cactus. Let's get a single acacia sapling and we'll grow it kind of like to overhang the oasis. And if it doesn't overhang, we are going to crap and swear and uh, throw everything that we can possibly throw. We put this here. I want it to grow that way. And if it doesn't grow that way, we'll just chop it down. We'll start again. Knock that down. Great. Uh, let's cover all of this up. Excellent. And this side as well. Maybe we put a fence on this side? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, I don't want to enclose it fully just yet until the spreads, though. Okay, that's definitely spreading. I'm going to go ahead and... Put down some sand right here. Boop. Great. Okay, that should spread. That should spread. Ah. Gold mine, mine car, can't wheel, wheelchair, charity, at a bitty spider, spider dance. Well, there you go. Your autism's showing again. I have a shovel near me. <laughs> okay. So, now we want to go ahead and make a fence. And I really like how the acacia looks. So, we're probably going to make it out of acacia, to be quite frank. And also, while I am reminded of it, let's go ahead and share our sheep. Not with the villagers, just like in, gen in general. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Uh, you know what? These pigs actually aren't doing us anything. Maybe we just want to take them out. Do we have an axe? No, we've got a shovel. It does 4.5 attack damage. Diamond pickaxe only does 5. That's pretty funny. Oh, we do have a crossbow. Okay. If uh, vegans look away because we're about to execute our pigs. Oh, this pig was about to escape. Oh, we probably should have let him, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our shears back in here. Okay. Here we go. Nope. The hell. Load the damn thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sorry, piggy. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. Awkward. Okay, that was just a miss. <laughs> oh, okay, I accidentally hit the sheep. That ain't good. Hello, Piggy. There we go. Piggy is down. And this one here. Okay, we hit Piggy. I think we, we punch Piggy with the crossbow. All right, Piggy is down. Done. Done and dusted. Uh, do we want this pork? There's raw copper in here. This sheep can have it. Before I give a hoot, honestly. I don't really want it myself. Uh, we probably want to breed the sheep as well, but we don't want to waste our wheat, necessarily. How are the chickens doing? Perfect. Got some more cooked chicken. <laughs> Great! We got some cooked chickies. Actually, we probably don't need these dirt blocks here if we're just going to build the farms over there. What time is it? It is almost time to sleep, actually. It's probably... We can probably get into bed now, right? Pardon me, sir. No, we can't sleep just yet. What if we load the crossbow? Nothing. Can I get into bed now? Yes. Done. We are getting into bed. All right, awesome. I love that. He loves that we just slept with him. Gross. What a gross man. Okay, so we got a lot of the mob grinder stuff out of the way. I'm still going to wait for it to kind of like tick around because I wouldn't really know how to fix it if what we have here doesn't necessarily work. Maybe we put water sources... No, we don't put water sources on the actual platforms at all. So it should just be ticking along as it is, right? He's not gross, he's gay? Well, why are you assuming that my character in Minecraft is actually male? That's that's bold assumption, don't you think? That maybe, that maybe uh, these huge hulking muscles belong to a, a male? How patriarchal of you. Okay, we'll put all of these building blocks into here for some reason. Uh, we want a gate, don't we? We want an acacia gate. Uh, it's probably just going to be sticks and something else. Let's get this crossbow for a hot bar. I don't remember what ratio, though. That's the thing. Is it like this? Uh, we need sticks in the middle. That's a fence. Okay, I don't want to take a fence. So let's go ahead and... Put that back there. Put that there. So it's got to be like this, right? Whoops. And yeah, and here. Yes, that is a gate, if I ever saw one. An acacia fence gate. Beautiful. Place the crossbow with that. Maybe we should make two. 
I don't know if cows really fit in a single fence. And we need two. We do need two of them, actually. Okay. Sticks, sticks, and planks. We'll get two of them. Done. Love that. Don't be homophobic. You assume the farmer to be male earlier? Well, he certainly doesn't sound female. Open your inventory? What do you mean, open my inventory? Ah, oh, there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there of note. Is this even? One, two, three, yeah, block, block, one, two, three, yeah, that's even. Okay. We didn't actually want that to be even, unfortunately. Okay, that should be good. Uh, let's put some torches on each corner of this. One here, one here. And over here, one there, great. And one right here as well. I probably should make a melon farm as well while we're out here, right? Actually, let's dig all of this crap out because it's now actually in the way. I want to make a melon farm down here. Let's see your skin. <laughs> <laughs> what a creepy thing to say. <laughs> show me your skin. Take off your helmet. What do you mean? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean show me your skin? There you go. You happy? You like that? How's that? Do you like that? It's my skin. Actually, let me take all of my clothes off here. There you go. Look familiar? Look familiar? It took me like 20 minutes to make this as well. How do you do the, uh, the first person thing? Having fun? Hell yeah, I am, Dead Space Man. Uh, I can't remember what the key is to kind of like... Oop, that's shaders. That's the wrong button. I want to see um, how to like show your character. My assumption was correct. Uh, we're not actually male, though. We're, we're not a male character right here. We're, we're not male. Not right now. For the purposes of uh, what we're talking about. Your flashy miners? Yeah, in Minecraft. In Minecraft. F5. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this is my dude. This is my dude. I made him. I literally made this character. <laughs> I was trying to, like, go with me, myself, what I was wearing at the time, but also with a giant scar on his face. I'm pretty happy with that. Awesome. Uh, let's put our diamond armor back on because I feel naked without it now. And we'll keep on going on through this here sand. Yeah, we're having great fun. Um, we have kind of made a mob grinder already. I Whether or not it works is yet to be seen. And I am currently now making an automatic melon farm. Because I want to. I've never made one before. Well, I've kind of made like pseudo automatic melon farms. The ones where you don't have to kind of like bust them down with an axe. That kind of melon farm. I definitely have those. I've, I've made lots and lots of those. But none that I'm about to uh, kind of endeavor on right here. So. I do kind of like the idea of an aqueduct, but it's just going to go through here, I think. It's got to be eight long. Um, have it just go all the way straight through this middle bit here. So we'll count out these blocks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. After that is six and a half, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. This is where we're building everything. Put a keystone there so we don't miss it. Uh, probably want to get it all the way back here as well. I am going to make a nice aqueduct system. There is a reason that I am going to be building out the way I'm about to build it up. We definitely need to plug all of this in as well. This is hideous to look at. Jesus Christ. In fact, there's no reason for any of this to be around here. Is that a skeleton? The hell is he doing? I think that is a skeleton. Huh. Oh, well, let's do some target practice. Gonna get the uh, crossbow all charged up and such. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm certain he was down here, right? Or is he on this other side of the. Oh my god, I didn't realize the sun cast through the waterfall like that. That looks sick! That is so cool! Also, the skeleton's gone. Oh no, it's not. It's still down there. Bye bye! Boop. Got him! <laughs> he fell down the hole. <laughs> Got him. Give me an S-C-H-I. 
What the hell? Are you trying to spell si Are you trying to spell si schizophrenic? Yes, you are. Okay. I was looking at that for a second, getting a little bit confused. Uh, we need a tree fella. We, we, we need a tree fella to get that down. Uh, did this grow in the right direction? Honestly, that probably doesn't look that bad. Is this okay? Do we want this? Nah. We can do better than that. Okay. But we'll have to keystone out our aqueduct first for our melon farm. So this is going to be water, melons and seeds, pistons, wall. Right here. Uh, how wide is that? Too wide. One, two, three. Is that okay? Looks okay. Looks kind of okay. Actually, I'm going to move all of these blocks over by one. Oops. Didn't want to do that one. Let's bust all of that down. Put that one there. Put that one there. And we'll bust this one down. Simply because it kind of... I don't want it too close to this elevated area here. So that's going to be center. Good. And we kind of want to continue this along... If this is going to be the output, right here, we probably make it a, a little bit closer. Nah, let's, let's make it like here. One there, one there, one there. Okay, good. Now we can get rid of these keystones because we're pretty much done with them. So we've got the middle and we've got the, um, the boundaries basically set. We want to go out eight. So if this is where everything ends up, then it does have to be one platform up. We're going to need a hopper going into a chest right in front of us here. Next to it's going to be a lever with a redstone circuit that goes around the aqueduct. Excellent. Yep, that works out. So, we take this one, we go back eight. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can just, like, figure this one out for myself, right? Let's take a canal in here. We'll make it, like, ten wide. And what I'm going to do, because I don't actually know how far water flows apparently, according to my mob grinder, is we're going to count. Source block. Okay, it goes eight blocks. Gotcha. So the last one will be a hopper, which will be right here. So from here, we want to go eight outwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is going to be a lift right here. So this one's going to be where we elevate everything onto put that keystone up. We probably need to fill that in before we do anything with it. Uh, and we'll just fill out this before we kind of like go a little bit too nuclear with building this gigantic melon farm. Because it is going to be really big eventually. Enormous. I've been working for four hours straight. Should I take a break? Always. Always take a break if you feel like you need one. Okay. So we need our keystones again. We only have one, apparently. That's not good. Uh, this will not be a source block. This will be kind of like an aqueduct flow, right? So we can replace this one with a hopper right now. Let's actually go back home. We'll do a sleep and then we'll replace it with a hopper in the morning. We could make the hopper and then go to sleep because it seems like we still have some daylight left. All right, good. Coming all the way over here. And hopper, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, please. And thank you. And we also need a single chest, which we, funnily enough, do not have. One, two. One, two. And chest, please. Nice. Done, which means we can get a hopper. Oh, we have a, we have a chest. That's pretty embarrassing. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh, apparently this isn't a hopper. Did I cock it up? No, I don't think I did. I think I just... Yeah, I misplaced one of the iron ingots. Okay, we've got that... Oh, oh piss off. <laughs> we need to go to bed. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I know you haven't slept in literally six weeks, but... My turn. Schizophrenia? That's misspelled. I'm going to end the day when I get to the long hallway. Man, you are made for work. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got a hopper... We need a few more walls if we have them spear. Oh, we've got heaps of them over here. We need these to keystone out what we are doing. We've also got a bunch of uncooked meats as well, so let's throw them into the furnace right here. Hello? Uh, what the hell is this? Is this some kind of... Would you? Oh, I'm not interested. I'm literally not interested. We are leaving. We're getting out of here. 
We're also going to shear off our sheep so we can make some more beds. We're going to get lots and lots of villagers here. It's going to be a thing. It's actually going to be a thing. Boop, boop, boop. Got him. Nice. Okay, we'll throw that in there. Oh, my earbud's falling off for some reason. Uh, we'll put the shears in that chest right there. And now we're going to go back off and we're going to finish off our project after we make an axe. I almost completely forgot we actually do need an axe. I don't like how the acacia tree is facing. Uh, so let's get ourselves three iron ingots. Good, and we should always have sticks on us. We do. Great. Go ahead and make ourselves a delicious little axe. Don't really want that orange terracotta on us. We probably don't want that 20 sugarcane either. We could probably do with getting a chest down here for sugarcane. I'm going to do that. One, two. Boom. And done. Let's harvest all of this while it's fresh on the mind as well. This is pretty damn easy to do. Very easy to do. Excellent. We could probably also set up an automated um, sugarcane farm as well. Pretty easily. It'll only require a billion pistons. Good. And a decent flowing water source. Okay, good. We are going to take down this tree. I don't like how it's laid out. Man, this grass is spreading real slow. huh? Okay, we'll knock this down. Got a lot of wood out of that, but nothing particularly useful. I think maybe we just stick it here so it doesn't actually attach to any of this, and hopefully it'll, like, grow out towards maybe this way. Possibly. I think. Excellent. Okay, now that we've done that, we want to keystone the second lift right here. This single lift right here. And how do we want to lay this out? We probably want to get ourselves a heap of the sandstone, right? Just like proper sandstone, so we can actually mark this out. What the hell is that? There's a cat, okay. Sandstone. We don't have a lot of sand... We've got a stack. There's a stack of sandstone right here. I lied. I did a bunch of big, fat lies. I'm really sorry, everybody. I'm really sorry for doing all those, those big, fat, filthy lies. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this out of the place. That can be hopper going into chest. So hopper, good. And remove that. So it's just facing output this way. Uh, we probably want to go ahead and we want to stick a canal of water, basically going all the way along here by eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this should be eight. I'm going to go ahead and stick a block on top of that fence post right there. Now we need to flank either side of this with dirt. Yes. How much dirt we got? Not a hell of a lot. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just uh, get all of this up here first of all, first and foremost. So this right here is going to be another platform which we probably want dirt there for. I'll just put that there so I remind myself. Uh, these are all going to be sandstone blocks. That does not need to be at that lift right there. Go ahead and build all of this. Now, a lot of people kind of like look at when I build these things and they think, oh, that's unnecessary, but they are very, very useful, like incredibly useful. Go ahead and stick that there so it looks like it's got some kind of structural supports. That there. Excellent. Uh, we are going to need to go ahead and get ourselves a hoe, a couple of chests, and maybe even some more dirt. Hopefully we've got a stack of dirt just lying around. There might be one in this chest way over here. Right here. Let's see. No, no dirt, just a bunch of crap, essentially. We do need to make the chests, though. One, two, three, four. Going to go ahead and turn all of this into storage. Uh... Did I not make enough of those planks? I'm sure I did. One, two. Yeah, that should be enough for another chest. Did I not just make another eight? What the hell is going on here? Oh, we need eight per chest. Right, gotcha. I was the stupid one. One, two. Okay. Got 20 acacia planks. We also have chests in our inventory. I can't remember why, but we have them. Have you seen the Minecraft movie trailer? Yeah, I, it's not for me, my dude. It, it, it was specifically made for maybe you guys. People between the ages of 8 to 14, definitely not people like me who are adults. Eat chicken? Good idea. 
We'll eat some chicken. That's the sound of, um, of the chicken sliding down my throat. It's very greasy. We've got a very greasy way of uh, making lean chicken. Okay, we'll take this here chest and put it right here and here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why? Oh, it was because I was crouched, right? So I didn't actually need to dismount this hopper. Okay, let's go ahead and use our axe on this bad boy. Is the tree up? Nope. Uh, put that right there. Good. So this is going to be um, this is going to be our melon farm right here. All right. Now what we need is a decent system of pistons, which means we need to wall this off up here, which might look a little bit weird initially, but it it does make sense now that we've got these fence fence posts here. So many of my friends have uh, told me that this just looks hideous as well. I don't ever think it's looked hideous. I, I don't think that's the right word for it. It's definitely functional. We have some torches uh, placed down all over the place as well. One here, one here, one here. Even there's one there and one here as well. Great. Put one there as well. Put that one there. And we'll put that one there. This one is also going to wrap back this away. Whoops, didn't mean to place that one there. All the way there. Good. This can go and fan out there. Great. Put that there. Whoops. Put that there. And mine that down. Good. And mine that down. Nice. Good. Okay. We're kind of getting structure. We're getting a little bit of structure. Do we need to fill out all of this? Kind of, actually. Yeah, let's fill out all of this. Mainly because of how it looks. Okay, good. We only got 12 more, so maybe filling out this isn't the best use of uh, our stone. Maybe we fill out this way first. Okay, good. We used, I think, tw six? Excellent. Okay, we've got just enough to kind of like fill out the very foundations of this place. Good. Okay, that works very, very well. Uh, now we want to have a few more blocks of dirt. Let's go find some dirt. We actually do need the, the dirt. Crouch facing the chest. Everybody dreads the Minecraft movie. Oh, I know, right. I'm dreading it. it it's looking like the spiritual successor to the Borderlands movie, which um, everyone kind of has widely agreed is just crap. Oh, we've got heaps of dirt. Nice. Okay, so we're playing the waiting game now. We've got a lot of grass spreading to what is ultimately going to be our cow farm, and we can't really put any cows in there until the grass has spread. So we're playing the waiting game on that front. Excellent. And that goes there. Beautiful. I'm also going to dirt up the back here because we don't have any, any sandstone to plug this in with. Okay, good. And now we want to stick water down there. Excellent. So, everything is going to flow onto this right here, which I adore. Maybe we should cap this off with a couple of fences. Okay, I, I actually like how this looks. This looks really good. Maybe not from a distance. But I like how it looks. Excellent. So, that is going to be functioning perfectly. Now we need the melon seeds, and we need at least a piston. A single piston, hopefully. If we have that, we can immediately set up this farm with some very basic redstone and a lever. Good. Uh, we probably actually need a lever as well. Lever. Yes, please. What do I need? Cobblestone and a stick. What don't I have? I don't have cobblestone. Gotcha. That's gravel. That's cobblestone slab. There's no co <laughs> There's no cobblestone here. Ah, uh, it's okay. We can make some. Put that there. Good. Put that back, I suppose. Mind this, and we've got cobblestone. Leave it, please. Nice. Okay, that's that good to go, and we're probably gonna need a stack of redstone realistically. Piston! We have piston somewhere. There's a drop of piston right here. Good. Piston, leading in from redstone. We need the melon seeds too. It's also basically dusk, so let's go ahead and steal this guy's bed once more. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay, he'll let me in. Great. Wonderful. Okay, now that is done and dusted. We'll go find those melon seeds, because we do have melon seeds. And we'll set up this automated farm. There they are. Melon seeds. Good. 
Very good. I like. Nice. Now, there's only a very specific amount of places that melons can actually grow. Because they grow to the side of the seed. So we can actually use that to our advantage. By putting one here. We need to hoe this soil. If we put this here, it can only grow here and here. And if we put a piston right here, it can't grow there. So it has to grow there. Which means we put a piston there. Actually, let's just use a temporary block to put that there. So it doesn't grow there. Wonderful. Yeah, that should work out well. We can put four melons per side here, which is eight melons per side. And we can also indefinitely lift this water up into the back of the aqueduct. Which is exactly why I quite like the structure. It's simply because it's as easy as you have the ability of expanding whenever you need to. Okay, good. So we've got these melon seeds. We actually need a hoe. It's been a long time since we've needed a hoe as well. On account of me dating my girlfriend for about seven years. Okay, we'll come in here. We can just make a wooden one, I suppose. It's not like they do anything different. We'll make one out of acacia. Sure. Done. And... Get that bucket off our hotbar, I suppose. We're done with it. So, this is basically up and running. We probably want to go and get our cows so we can kind of at least start thinking about the... What is it? The, um... Ugh. What are they called? The, the books, that's it. We need books. Okay, so that should hydrate. Put some melon seeds here. That's going to grow the melon right there. Uh, probably going to put another melon seeds right here as well. Because if it grows over there, it should work in our favor. If we put a temporary block, well, actually anywhere but there. We'll put a temporary block there and there to block them off. And we need a piston right here. One piston, and now we have one piston per two melons. Now I need to remember how to orient this. There it goes, perfect. Let's go. Awesome. Uh, we need redstone. Now I think we should probably get an observer, maybe. Or some kind of sunlight sensor, something like that, so that we can kind of see when it hits day and night. Because then the pistons will only go off once a day, and it'll... Filter all of the melons into that hopper, which goes into that chest, which is just, it's free food. So let's go ahead and use this crafting bench. What does an observer require? Observer. So I think this is actually the one we probably need most. It does require nether quartz. That's pretty expensive. Uh, what else is there? There's got to be a few other little doodads that we can use, right? Craft, craft it. Really? Really? Ah. Oh, I feel like maybe we could use this crafter to automatically craft iron blocks from the iron ingots that come down from the mob farm. I'll get a sorting system sorted up uh, next session as well. It's a lectern here. Uh, that is to get librarians. I'm certain of it. Target. Don't know what the hell this is. It's on torch, piston, dispenser. Daylight sensor. This is what we need. So if we get nether quartz. Damn, that's expensive actually. I don't think we've got enough of this. Do we have enough of this? We've got four nether quartz. We could get an observer which only looks at a single block and then it decides what to do then. Which is probably actually going to be more what we want than a daylight observer. Because then it'll only activate whenever one melon grows and all the other melons that have grown will also be pushed with the uh, with the pistons. So that's probably what we need, right? Put the melon sensor here, I suppose. What was that? Observer, right? Right here. We need redstone dust. We need six cobblestone. Again, we don't actually have any anywhere. I'll check this chest over here. There might be some cobblestone in here. Oh, yeah, we got heaps of cobblestone, actually. Good. We probably need to clean up our inventory, to be quite honest. Let's go over to this building materials place. No, that's just sand and stone. So this one right here, we probably want to fill up with all of the crap we don't want on us right now. Like uh, this one oak log. Or maybe this shield. I don't really like the shield. That's probably all that we need to get rid of. There's one coal in here, which is just offensive. Okay, I'm going to take that, and we're going to stick it in this chest right here. Uh, we've got 48 charcoal. We're probably going to keep that. We've got a bunch of terracotta as well that we can probably go ahead and dump in this chest. Good, and not much else. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I have to go and do a biological function. I will literally be back in a few seconds, okay? Don't go anywhere.
Okay. Done. Done, and we are back to the game. What are we looking at? Nothing's changed, it seems. Lube my lips up. All right, I have dropped the weight of two coffees and half a tea, and I am ready to get back into it. What are we looking at? Uh, so we wanted to build pistons, right? And we need an observer, which we just found cobblestone for, so we can just make that, right? Observer? Yeah, okay. We'll make one of these because it is way less resource intensive than anything else. I'm going to go ahead and stick the cobblestone in here because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to go ahead and... Actually, maybe we should use these shroom lights instead of the uh, the dirt block to, to grow up all of the melons. That might be a smart idea, actually. That uh, golem's looking a little bit long in the tooth. It might collapse soon. Hard to say, hard to say. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we need one place, probably right at the beginning of the chain, right? Where a melon just doesn't have a choice but to spawn. Hmm. Actually, hey, hey now. Go ahead, take this. Actually, okay, so uh, I'm just doing a bit of a think. If I remove these melon seeds, did I get the seed back? No. Okay. We've got one melon seed left. I know exactly how to how to set this out, I think. I know exactly how we're going to set this out. So, we need to move that melon. We need to move the melon uh, to grow from somewhere else. We've got one more melon seed right here. Get that shovel off our hotbar because we're probably done with it for now. Okay, so when we come over here, we're going to put the observer facing inwards from the aqueduct, basically where this block right here is. And it doesn't really matter as long as we are observing a melon spawning here that is facing the wrong way. Yep, that's facing the wrong way. Go ahead. Change this. Try not to get stuck in the, in the water as well. Uh... How's that? No, that's facing downwards. That's bad. I mean, I suppose we could have it just facing downwards into this permanent one right here. I mean, we can just do it like this, right? Uh, it looks kind of ugly, but I feel like if we move the seeds, right, if we have the one melon be here, we put a block here to block off any other path other than it spawning a melon right here. This observer will see that and it'll trigger the entire redstone circuit that we are going to set up. I think is going to be the way, right? Yeah. All right, let's get rid of this here melon seed, even though we don't get it back. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to place a temporary block right here and we are going to put the observer facing that there, great. That's non-invasive. Uh, we also probably want to go ahead and do a sleep. What time is it? It's close to sundown. It's not quite sundown yet. All right, none. now that that's done, we want to block that out. This one right here is going to have to be where the melon seed goes. Right here. We want it to be non-invasive, and now it's probably best that we go to sleep. Ah, I finished the spike room. Good on you, Liam. Good on you. I'm going to bust into this guy's house, even though it's filled with mushrooms and it stinks. Absolutely disgusting smell in here. Gross. We should probably just start putting a bunch more beds around the place, right? Not for us, but for literally everybody else. Wow, this guy's broke as hell. He's buying coal, and he will also sell us an iron axe, which is pretty good, actually. Hey there, guys. What are you guys buying? <laughs> They're buying a bunch of stuff that we aren't actually growing. We do have a farm over there. It's not good. It's a bad farm. It is a, it's a really bad farm, I would say. Like, probably one of the worst in the world. Uh, we probably want to move this over one as well. Bust that down with the melon seeds. And hopefully we can just put this there. Yep, good. So, here's the plan, right? Whenever this... Put that redstone down so I can kind of like plan this out in my head. I think we can just do it like this. It's literally as simple as this. So, when this observes... Oh, nothing? Well, this observer is dumb as they come, huh? Well, maybe there has to be redstone behind it. Probably. 
Wait, let's try that. Uh, okay, we'll put that there. That's not good. We want to link these up with a couple of temporary blocks, I suppose, up here. I think it might have to plug into the back. Like that, maybe? Fun fact, if you wait in the long hallway from 5, 10, 15, 25 seconds, 30 minutes, there is dialogue. Ah, neat. I never heard of such a thing. Okay. If only there was the, the ability of just doing it once right, because this is just extreme. Oh, I see, it's self-perpetuating as well. So we've got to keep this piston a minimum of one away from the observer, which is actually going to be really, really difficult. Okay, we can figure this out. Bye-bye, piston. Why not? What the hell is going on here? Okay, we got rid of that. That was not good. What the hell happened down here? I don't even understand what happened down here. Okay, good thing we didn't put our melon seeds down before we uh, tried to figure out why it was breaking itself. Okay, we'll plug all of that in. Come up here. So we want to observe the melon here, right? It seems like the... The piston is setting itself off. So maybe we do actually need a daylight observer. No, because then the only thing that would happen is everything would grow specifically at night, which is just not ideal. Hmm. I just made a villager noise. Okay, so uh, I think on Bedrock Edition, unless this was introduced in a patch, you just literally have a piston do it once. Maybe if we get a clock back here. Ah, oh, that's going to require more nether quartz, though. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. So we don't want the item to set itself off. We only want it to absorb a single block. And unfortunately, if that same block is being moved by a piston, there's no way around it. There's literally no way around it, is there? Unless we get, like, a clock that slows down... That's going to be it, isn't it? That's actually going to be the way. All right, we're going to need two repeaters and a redstone comparator then to make the clock that I quite like making. I suppose, game, we'll see how much we need to replicate this clock over here. We do have that, right? Yeah, two repeaters and a comparator. Actually, what if we just get a repeater? What if we only get a repeater? Can we make a repeater? Repeater. We need another quartz. No, we need stone, redstone, dust, two redstone torches. Okay, that's what that's probably why we've got that stone, right? Put that there. Our inventory is a complete mess right now. Probably don't need all of the sand. Let's be quite honest. Get rid of all that sand. We've got all the nether quartz in our pocket. Probably don't need that either. Let's get rid of that. And we do have a lever, which we probably aren't just gonna use whatsoever. Uh, we also need stone, don't we? So in here should be stone. Good. I just heard some chickens die. Uh, repeater. What are we missing? Probably the torches. We need two redstone torches. We've got five. Whoops. Too many. Good. That'll do. Repeater. We should just need one of these. If I'm not mistaken. So we'll take this. And we will start jamming it down in the redstone circuit, because if we can kind of, like, delay in between the observer and the piston, the piston won't re-trigger the observer. Hopefully. Okay, let's try that, and we'll try getting a piston there again. There it is. Actually, no, we don't want it there. We want it right next to there. Okay. We want to make sure this works before we throw down our last melon seed, by the way. Okay, let's see if this works. Ah, oh, that's backwards. Okay. So here, grab this and put it around the right way. That's the not the right way, apparently. Okay, good. Throw that over there. Temporary block. Is that again facing the wrong way? 
Okay, let's try this. Maybe this works. Maybe it doesn't. I'll get rid of that block. Okay, that's a little annoying, but it's not spamming. Hmm. I don't think there's a way to, like, stop it, right? There is a YouTube video, if you are curious. Uh, maybe. I'm currently playing Minecraft. Maybe later. We can actually make this work, honestly. Yeah, we can make this work. It's a little annoying, but we could probably actually make this work. If we just put down the seeds, because we just need melon seed generation anyway, we just put these here. They grow into a melon sapling. We don't want it to grow here or here. So that is going to grow. Maybe we need the observer to go from above. No, that's still going to have the same problem. It's all just as annoying. Okay. There's not really a hell of a lot that I can do about this. This is probably just going to have to go on a cycle, right? Okay, let's go check out the mob farm now that we've got the melon farm. Just at least bare essentials up and running. We'll try and min-max it in the next session, but as long as it's generating melons, it's still functioning. And as soon as we go and check out this uh, mob farm, see if that works. We'll go ahead and also see if we can't go and get a few cows. Because the grass should have spread by now. All of the waiting should be over. Okay, I'm going to leap over this gap. That was probably the least dangerous jump we've done in this video so far. Excellent. So, we'll come up here into our little hidey hole, because we know it's there. I see all the campfires, not bonfires, campfires. Let's see if this thing's working. No, it is completely non-functional. I wonder why. Why is this? They're supposed to be uh, spawning. I'm certain of it. Okay, we'll go up here. We'll see if we can't find why it's not working. There's nothing spawning in here. Random. There's nothing spawning anywhere in here. Okay. Maybe it's because of these torches right here. Could be another one up above us. Let's get rid of that. Nothing. Okay, we'll get rid of this one too. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Horns of Fear is winning the poll. Oh, yes, it will be. Horns of Fear is such a good game. And like, un unironically, it is a really, really good game. Why aren't more mobs spawning, spawning here? It's got nothing to do with kind of like what's beneath us. What's beneath the mountain, right? Maybe. I know that there is kind of like a uh, mine chasm around here, but I don't rightly remember how to get to it. An egg. What the hell? There's a little piece of an armadillo around here. Armadillo scoot. Don't know what the hell that does. Okay, I mistook that cactus right there for a creeper. Yeah, I'm not seeing a hell of a lot. In fact, I'm seeing literally nothing. Ah, strange. Okay. Maybe I should Google it. Maybe I should just Google it. I'm going to look it up. I was looking for my, my cell phone. I was about to call it my potato on account of a meme my girlfriend and I saw years and years and years ago. Okay. Minecraft. Java. Uh, more grinder. Won't spawn. It's probably just like a loss of translation, right? Most common issues for them to not work is that they're spawning in nearby, nearby caves. This is why when building structures that require mobs to spawn, it's best to build them as high as possible in the air so that only spawnable blocks are those you placed in your immediate area. What in the sky? That looks hideous, though. Why would anybody do that? Uh... Yeah, weird. Okay, apparently this is like a common issue. It's probably got something to do with nearby caves? I don't know how the hell I would fix that, though. 
Is it nighttime? Yes, it is nighttime. We're going to go upstairs. We're going to sleep in our bed here. Strange. Strange. We're probably going to have to go delving then. We're probably going to have to go into some, um, some climbs, I think. I fell on the stairs. Oh, you poor guy. You poor guy. You've never heard of Horns of Fear? Oh, my dude. It's a bit of a classic. I personally have not played it before, but I've seen a Let's Play of it, and my god, it was good. It's a really good game. It's full of lore. It's full of horror. It's um, really, really strange as well. Kind of hard to explain. Okay, so nothing is around here. Nothing should be around here at all. Does this tell us whether or not we're in a chunk? Oh, yes. Okay. Right. Okay. Check out these chunks. So, our chunk is... Minus 6, 2, 4, 76. Yes. Actually, we're in between two chunks, which might be a little bit annoying. I'm looking at the one uh, in, in the kind of like second area just up here. Uh, you can see it, the third one down. That's the chunk. Okay. So this chunk is a little bit strange. Okay, so probably want to mark out the chunk, right? With keystones. Okay, we're definitely in 76. We're just like, we're in between the negative 61 and negative 62, like smack dab in the middle of it. Okay, I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a little bit of a strange thing. We are going to go ahead and uh, mine into the ground here, all the way to the bottom to make sure there's no like chasms or anything beneath this chunk that something else can spawn in. Because we don't actually want that. We don't want anything else to spawn around here. So before I do that, I'm going to dump a bunch of chicken into my mouth. We're going to go and empty our inventory, including this scoot, which I don't want, this one sandstone. We can throw that away. We're going to go ahead and repair our pickaxe as well, because I'm pretty sure we can do that. I think we need a, an anvil or a grindstone. One of those two. I can't remember. We'll figure out as soon as we get to the crafting bench over here. And we should be fine. Oh, you missed a step while going down the stairs. Common mistake. Rookie mistake. Skill issue, usually. Uh, got a lot of ch cooked chicken, actually. Almost maxed out our stack. So... But looking here for... I think it's anvils, right? An anvil? Uh, we might need an iron block for this. For a few iron blocks, I remember. Uh, let's just get all of the iron ingots. Uh, how do we get an iron block? That's the trap door. There we go, iron block. Recipes unlocked. Done. Anvil. Okay, so we need three blocks of iron. That is expensive. My god. Okay, we're going to use another... 18 of these. Get ourselves two more blocks of iron. Youch! And then we're going to make this anvil right here. Done! Okay, so I'm going to stick this right here. Now, if we take some diamonds and we just mix it with our pickaxe, it should repair it, right? So if we put one there and we put our pickaxe right there. No? Maybe not? Ah, perfect! Okay, so... We could probably do with putting three in here. Oh, I love how three diamonds uh, doesn't even repair it fully, even though that's what it's made of. We could replace the entire head and it still wouldn't work. Oh, well. It's a good pickaxe, actually. We will do that. Let's go ahead and put our diamonds in here, redstone in here. Probably don't really want charcoal in our pocket either. We've got a shroom light we can stick in here. They're kind of cool. Uh, the rest of it's kind of like either iron or building materials, isn't it? So let's go ahead and just whack all of our building materials into here. Acacia planks. These are cashier logs. Sure. Uh, we've got a lot of wheat in here. We were going to go get some cows, but I still don't think that the influence has spread. We can probably check first. Okay, if, there's, if the grass is spread into the oasis, we'll go get some cows. If not, we'll go start digging into that mob spawner, and we'll see if we can't maybe, like, find a cave system. Oh, that's weird. The hell is this? I must have missed a wall. Uh, I don't want to pick it up, though. <laughs> I just cleaned out my inventory. Alright, is it spread? 
No, not yet. Uh, but we could probably get rid of some of that if we had sand in our pockets, which we do not. All right, we're going to go and try clear out that mob grinder. There's also a big hole right there as well that we might want to light up too. But I know that most of them are going to be spawning underground, almost like exclusively underground. What was that? Is that that um, mine shaft that I was talking about all that all those all those years ago? Maybe. Oh, this is precarious. Actually, there's not really a hell of a lot over there. But we do kind of want to light it up anyway, just in case it is, in fact, spawning creepers or something like that. Something else that we want in the hole. All right, good. Get rid of that. Jump up here. Good. Get all the way up here. Nice. Uh, we should be pretty damn close to it. Oh, I think it's actually that brown line. Really? Yeah, I think that's actually just a giant brown line of terracotta. Okay, I think we just got jived by the old... The old pooper again. The old poop color. Oh, no, there is actually a cave right there. Okay, how deep is it? We have lit it. Ah, uh, no, we definitely... We've ignited that. There's nothing there that can spawn... Man, that village looks cool from a distance. Okay, uh... Down here seems to be another little... On shots. Nope, nothing. I'm using my ears now to try and find where these mobs are at, and it doesn't really seem like there are any. Oh, there is this giant cave system here that would be really hard to torch up. Okay, I got 48 charcoal. We can make more uh, charcoal, uh, sorry, torches if we want, which is probably going to be our biggest choke point if we go down underground. We're going to go do some maintenance, I think. Sorry, I'm in three. Yeah, missing three steps is probably the worst. I love the steps required to fall down a hole, though. It's uh, step one, step two, step three, step six, step 12, floor. All right. Let's start mining down into this shaft right here. I'm not going to waste my pickaxe on gravel. Come on. What do you think I am, stupid? Uh, speaking of if I'm stupid, let's put these torches in our offhand and we'll torch up the walls. We'll go down like five and we'll keep on snaking sideways. Uh, one more. Two, three. Put that there. One, two, three. 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 Uh, probably a little bit too far here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think I just saw something through the world. Two, three. Three. One, two, and three. Great, copper. Be still my beating heart. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. All the copper is doing is slowing down our mining as well. One, two, three. Great. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nothing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, coal. Thanks. One, two, and three. Great. Put a torch there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're probably going to have to fan out from the side as well. Kind of like see if we have any caves or, or something inside of that mesa that we've kind of like set up the, the grinder at. One, two, three. 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 Excellent. Stick that there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. <sighs> More like one, seven, twelve, eighteen. Oh, that's a that's a long staircase. You probably won't be following those steps again, though. I bet. Okay, good. Still busting all this out. What level are we at? Uh, we are at twenty-one. I'll go down to zero before I kind of like give up on this place. One, two, three. 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 Oh, the hell is this? What? It's illuminated as well. Is this a strip mine? 
Oh, this is a strip mine. Nothing can spawn in here. Come on, game. Don't you dare try and jive me so in such a way. Okay, uh, get our pickaxe back up. One, two, three. 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 Okay, we're getting down into subterranean depths. Good. Mine all of that up. Good. Get all of this stuff. I'm not seeing a hell of a lot in this chunk. That would suggest that maybe we are uh, doing something better. I see lava all the way down there, though. Okay, we'll turn here. <laughs> so that we don't accidentally fall on that lava. One there. One there. Good. One here. Whoa, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, enemies could definitely spawn down there, I bet. Okay, let's uh, maybe try and form a little path down there. I might want to get our crossbow out as well, to be quite fair. Go ahead and pick all of this out. Good. Get that, get that, get that. Get that. Get I think this is like dripstone caves, right? All right, good. We want to start uh, torching the place up, right? Okay, uh, I'm going to use cobblestone because it's probably the most responsible material. Okay, good. We don't really want to get ganked by a skeleton or anything above this lava either. Okay. Keep going down here, I suppose. I'm all the way down this little staircase we're making for ourselves. Doesn't really look like there's a lot of enemies. Oh, I know exactly where we are, actually. There's some diamonds over there. Uh, we will go and get those. Don't worry. I see them. Okay, come over here. Uh, uh, all right, let's uh, create a little staircase down ar and around this lava. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> all right, good. Let's light this up. Let's light all of this up. Oh my god. This might be where all the enemies are, sp are preferring to spawn. Okay, I doubt anything's going to get through there, but we don't really have a choice in the matter. Oh, I've returned. Sorry for the sudden leaving. Nuts, absolutely do. After floor hospital. Nice. <laughs> I love that. Just go straight to the hospital after falling down the stairs. That's a meme. I can definitely relate to that, actually. Not the fact that, you know... I've fallen down the stairs and I had to go to the hospital, but I can see exactly why you would need to after having such a nasty tumble. Okay, there's some diamonds over there, which we want. I don't really see a hell of a lot else, though. Uh, this is that awesome lava lake that I showed right at the start of, our, of the stream that uh, you're currently watching now. All right, good. Put that there. Excellent. I want the diamond. Diamonds are forever. Excellent. Good. They are my favorite format of dead dinosaur. Okay, good. A little dripstone right there. I'm going to destroy it. Excellent. And we're going down here. Good. Now let's grab these diamonds. Ooh. Hey. Nice. Oh, yes. This is precisely what we wanted. Hey. Huge profit. Torch. <laughs> How many do we get? Seven. Oh, I love that. Seven diamonds. That's pretty good profit already. Uh, unfortunately, we came down here to torch up any area that a mob could spawn on, and we've found probably the worst area to have to torch up in the game. What's down here? Not a hell of a lot. Uh, we're out of torches, I think. Let's change that. Ah, Okay. Uh, we'll get a whole stack of these bad boys. 64 of them right there. Good. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go up to this lava, and I am going to, one by one, because I do not like copper, throw all of this copper into the lava. Oh, that feels good, actually. Nice. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and put these torches on our offhand, and we'll go after this here. Pickaxe. Okay. Up there. Excellent. There's some gold over there. We don't want it, though. I don't see any other low-hanging fruit here. And I'm saying that I mean diamonds. I don't, I don't see many diamonds around here. Uh, now, I know exactly where we are. I'm going to go over this way because this connects up to another mine of ours. I'm going to do these in threes. 
because I am very paranoid about falling into lava, ever since one of my best buddies, Dave, punched me into lava while I was holding an elytra, and unfortunately he decided to lie about it for the rest, for the rest of our friendship. He said, no, I did not punch you in, into the lava. Uh, you were punched in by, by, a, by a zombie. And I know that I was not punched into the lava by a zombie because I turned off the goddamn mobs! Hear that, Dave? I know what you did last summer. All right, there is one creeper down at the bottom of that giant pit. Uh, on the other side of the here should be... Oh, there's a skeleton right there as well. Should be a... A little walkway that we made for ourselves. Okay, I don't really see a hell of a lot. I see more diamonds over there. I see a lot of diamonds, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our crossbow out because we love it, don't we? We love the crossbow. We'll load it. And then we'll use it against that skeleton. Boom. Take that, skeleton. Where you going, bud? There? I missed. <laughs> I think he forgot that we existed. I think he forgot that we should shot at him. Okay, I shot him twice. Damn, this guy's got a lot of health. Okay, good. He's done and dusted. Awesome. That was close. I was hanging off the ledge there. Would have been a really, really bad way to go, I think. Yeah, we wanted to set up a base around here at some point. Uh, oh, there's the walkway. It's right there. So that is actually one of our mines. Weird. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. You know what? Uh, I can actually solve a lot of this issue that we're having right now by busting out some of this lava. There we go. A little bit of lava come down there. What the hell is he doing? He's just picked up an arrow. Okay, so that should light up some of the lower area. Enough. Enough so that a zombie can't, like, spawn here. Oh, there he is. Ugh. Woo! Diamond? Yeah, baby. Minor piece of obsidian in the middle and the lava beneath it will light it up. Oh, yeah. My friend and me stole 36 diamonds from me. We are living together, but that gave him no excuse. That's rough. That's rough. I'd still rather have that, though, than be punched in the back in an act of cowardice by my best friend. Well, one of my best friends. I got a couple of best friends. I'm dating one of my best friends, actually. I'm very blessed in that sense that I get to date one of my best friends. Not many people uh, get the privilege of doing so, and it's, it's one of the most fulfilling things that I've ever had in my entire life. All right, great. It's, it's just so nice knowing that I can talk about my partner with literally anything that I want. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> Do we want to go around here? I don't even know if we want to go around here. Like, we don't need to light any of this up, obviously. Oops, that's cobblestone. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, get my hoe out so I can torch that. <sighs> He's gonna shoot the arrow from his mouth. Oh, well, like... <sighs> like, a, like a blow dart, yeah? Do I call him my frenemy and not my friend? It all started with Minecraft. Yeah, it, there's nothing like a nice relaxing session of Minecraft to realise just how much of a coward your friend Dave is for punching you in the back while you were mining obsidian next to lava while holding the elytra that you only get for beating the ender dragon. I need to defuse. I need to defuse. I need to defuse. I could literally carve into the side of a mountain my face crying with tears, right? With a little sign that says, in memory of the time Dave punched Jensen into the lava, and then another sign, and then lied about it. I could do that. I could do that. And I could have, like, tears streaming out of the, the eyes and the cliff face going into a gigantic lake. No? How does that sound? The hoe lights up your life? Oh, yeah, she does, my dude. <laughs> it's a crass way of saying it. Wait, you can mine pointed dripstone with your fists? Yes, you can. It's actually real easy to bust out. Look, I'll do it with a hoe. See? They're pretty flimsy, honestly, once you kind of, like, figure out what they're made of. I wonder why they're called dripstones. Shouldn't these, they be stalagmites? With stalactites on the ceiling? Are there stalactites on the ceiling? Not really in here. It's actually really cool being so close to this lava as well, because, uh... In the last session, we just kind of, like, encountered this right at the end of the stream. Okay, let's bust some of this down so we can maybe not have to jump around this lava. Yeah, let's let's not jump around the lava. So that should be going all the way down to the bottom. Excellent. That should be lighting that up. Good. 
Okay, I love that. Ooh. Well, you could kill Dave. No, no, no. I still like Dave. I still like Dave, even if he lied to me. Even if he lied to me about something as important as why I lost the in-game item. At the time. There's probably actually more in-game items now. All my friends are males. I'm a male. Yeah, a lot of my friends are males. I'm, well, in saying that, they're probably 50-50, actually. The older you get and the less, like, horny or, or dick-brained you get, I suppose you could call it dick brain. Where you're, you're just like, or you've always got sex on the mind and stuff like that. As soon as you, like, outgrow that, you get a good, like, 50-50 spread of women. It's pretty nice, actually. Oh, nice. It's time's up there, too. Great. We'll go get that. Uh, we'll come up here, up there. Uh, probably don't know if I can reach it, but we can always mine a recess into this wall right here. I love this. <laughs> we went ca uh, cave diving to do a little bit of maintenance on a, mo on a mob grinder, and here we are. Literally reaping diamonds. Feels good. Punch Dave into water in real life. I did. I did. I held, I held him down in a bathtub and I said, tell me again that you, you didn't punch me in the back when we were playing Minecraft together and I had mobs turned off and you said a zombie punched me in the back. But but I know it was actually you. I held him under there for like four minutes and it was it was fine afterwards, actually. Just got some, some major brain damage. I didn't say anything perverted about Martlin the entire 200 pages. Oh, you are most definitely autistic then. Did, did you know that there is actually this thing about autists not under... Like, there's this thing about them not understanding social cues. Uh, a lot of people kind of are aware of that. But there's also kind of like an instance of people with autism not really thinking sexually in any context, even when it's a sexual context. It's very interesting, actually. Um... The reason Gintzid and I are together is because we uh, initially shared a love of psychology. So when we first started seeing each other, we found that, ah, oh, we're not really interested in each other's bodies so much as we're interested in each other's brains. <laughs> it's really cool. Not a lot of people can say they, um, they have that kind of relationship, and I'm very blessed to have that kind of relationship, I'd say. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I'm going, but it's, it's away from here. I think maybe the mobs are spawning down south there instead of over here. Oh, is this where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from. Uh, I'm also going to get this iron because it's low-hanging fruit and I want it. It's my birthday and I want it. To quote the uh, famous New Zealand film Lord of the Rings. Damn, that is a that is a penis of a stalagmite. Oh, there are stalactites. Okay, gotcha. My brain is fine. Sure, I make dirty jokes, but still. I'm sad and autistic. Yeah, I know, right? It's, uh, I feel like it's kind of... It's just... It, oh, it's not projection. But it's like, um... What is it? It's not twinning either. Uh, the act of kind of like mimicking somebody else out of insecurity? What is it? Oh, it's a very specific word. It's not chameleon either. That's, that's where people are kind of like mimicking other people to do something very specific. Like manipulate, usually. It's usually a manipulation thing. Okay, I'm happy to delve. We're going to do a little bit of delving right here, because we weren't doing any delving initially. I'm going to put that there so we can get some of this disgusting gold that I don't actually want to get, but, you know, it's better to have it than not. We probably do actually need gold if we're going to get into the minecart rail stuff as heavily as we will. Okay, good. Get all of that busted down. Great. And we want one cobblestone right there so we can actually come down here. And let's also start torching everything up. Sweet mother of God. Hey, gold. Nice. I'm going to torch everything. Call me some kind of serial arsonist because I am going to torch this place. Excellent. I also really like Camilla Cabello. She's my guilt. She's one of my guilty pleasures. Her and Ash Nico. Homophobia? No, there's no, there's no homophobia in these streams. I think they're mimicking so they don't make fun of you is called homophobia. No, I, I, th I think you may be misinterpreting what homophobia means. I don't think that word means what you think it means. There you go, bit of a Princess Bride reference for everybody out there. Autistals will recognize that. Where the hell are we? Oh my god, this place is enormous. Diamonds. Oh, spider. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm torching there. I'm torching there. Put some dripstones there. Great. I don't know if I'm going to be attacked by that spider. I mean, we could probably actually open with the initiative, right? With our crossbow. Let's do that. Whew. Call him me without a potato peeler. You know, it's like, um... 
Did we hit? No, I think the arc was just too low. No, also too low. This is a hit. This is but this is a hit. That was oh, he moved right at the last second. What a wanker! Nailed him. Sniped him while he was moving as well. Okay, good. Let's go and torch up this area as well. Oop, no, nope, not with a crossbow. Torch all of this stuff up because we don't want anything spawning around here. I want this gold. Okay, I'm getting too greedy. Did I just hear a skeleton? Creepy! Oh my god, there are like five creep- Oh my god, what the hell is going on? There's a spider doing a weird ass dance. Okay, we could probably snipe them all from a distance, right? As a ranger main. We're in diamond armor as well. We've got mainly di diamond armor. We can probably hit that spider from here, honestly. Nice. I actually nailed it. No, I didn't. I think I missed. I'm not going to miss that creeper. Nailed that creeper. Yes, sir. -y. Get it again. There we go. I hit that creeper twice. Damn, it's got a lot of health. Inconceivable. Nice. <laughs> uh. I don't think that word means what you think it means. Oh no, it was the um, it was it was the actual hero that said that, right? I do not think that word means what you think it means. Boom! Nice. Just headshot that creeper. I'm gonna try for that one. I hit the spider and killed it. Excellent. Okay, now we have farming experience. There's another spider just over there. Bugger. Okay, I'm getting better with this uh, bow and arrow. Good, just nailed another one. That bat is- Oh my god! Go away! Go away, good sir! Oh, this is lucky. How fortuitous. <laughs> well, that worked to our benefit. Great. Where the hell did he come from, though? We torched this whole place up. It was like, um... It was like a, a hidey hole he came from or something like that. Actually, it is pretty dark around here. We are not being very generous with these torches. Maybe that's it. Maybe he just, like, snuck up on us. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a chicken. Whew. You got Dave? No, no. Dave is much slippery. Are you taking the piss? Seriously? How'd he spawn there? I mean, all right. One. Two. That was weird. How'd he get here, though? Come on. Game. Is there a button that allows you to see where everything, like, kind of, like, goes? Okay. The axe does not shine on, on, on zombie children. Oh, piss. There's so many of them here. Okay. He is absolutely ganking me. Is there a zombie spawner here? I bet there is. I bet there is. Okay. One drop shot. Drop assassinated. Done. I kind of love these dripstone caves, though. I kind of actually love them. On account of the ease of being able to kill everything. All right, that's three in a row, I might point out. This guy picked up my trophy. Hey, buddy. Okay, drop shot. Drop shot! Picked up my string. What a guy. Uh, all right, we've got another couple of zombies coming after us. There's got to be a zombie spawner or something in here, right? Okay. Sorry, buddy. Uh, X time. Boop. Do a cheeky little boop right on his nose. A little bit of a whoop. A little bit of a boop. Okay. This is obviously where everything is spawning, right? Oh, hello there, spider. Uh, we probably want to kill it with this crossbow, don't we? Take this. Okay, that did nothing. Uh, die. I killed it. Nice. Uh, zombie over here. Let me go ahead and drop shot him. Whoop. A little bit of a wee little boop right there. I love how dumb the AI is. Like, the AI can't identify these items as just common items in the game. And they're all like, oh, how do I get around the dripstones? I thought they had to get around the dripstones. There's so many of them. There's like three. What do I do? Should I get stuck on them? Okay, I'll get stuck on them. That, uh, that, that's fair. Okay, we've got a creeper. Drop shot! Boop. Get back a little bit. Drop shot! Nice! Uh, so I could have taken that gunpowder, but I didn't. I did not! I I actually just crapped myself. I heard that bat, and I thought it was the fuse. Oh, piss! 
Oh! Okay, good. That's going to create a little path for us going forwards. Hey there, buddy. Uh, what's your name? I'm Jensen. Have you subscribed? No? Well, you get what you deserve. <laughs> Alright, let's torch this place up while it's empty. Oh my god. Oh, it doesn't end! There's a skeleton! Okay, we're retreating. We're going to get our crossbow out. Where is he? Boom! We're having a sni fight with this here skeleton. I'm going to get behind cover. Oh, he literally just aimbotted me. He's still aimbotting me. What a dick. Three arrows to kill him is actually pretty rough. Okay, let's eat some more cooked chicken. Sorry uh, about the um, the chat, about not reading chat. I, the, the game got really intense all of a sudden. I don't even know how to get the hell out of here. All right, there was another creeper up this way. There's a spider up there. Boop. Missed. Yep, oh, there's another creeper. A couple of spiders up here, actually. Uh, maybe... I think being above them actually does give us some element of initiative. Or maybe we get unaware kills. That was not an unaware kill. That is a skeleton with a enchanted bow. I'm off. Okay, I've seen enough. I actually want that bow. I want that bow really, really badly. Okay, good. He missed for once. Oh, he whiffed every single shot. Didn't drop his bow. He just dropped a couple of arrows, which I suppose is kind of like the equivalent of a tax rebate. All right, we've got another zombie over here. Okie dokie. Okay, I missed that one. That was my whoopsie. That was my whiff. Hey, buddy. Okay, that was a good shot. Uh, this guy's got some chainmail pants. Oh, bougie. Holding his bone with his chainmail pants. What a creep. All right, there is a spider up there. I'm pretty sure we can one-shot them with these. I think he just despawned. Weird. Okay, we got a creeper creeping up on us. Wingle dingle. Oh, I shot him with one hit. I didn't shoot him. I didn't shoot him. What? Look at all the ores around the place. Where the hell even are we? Oh my god. I am so lost. Uh, we need we need torches. We need torches real bad, don't we? Torch. 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 Ah! That actually just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> no! All right, that one's gonna blow, obviously. And there should be one more that we could probably blow. Oh, there he is. Okay, uh, I think maybe the axe is the answer. The sword's the law, buddy. Okay, he's down. Oh, my God, there's two of them. Oh! Back off, Jack off. I wanna pick up this gunpowder as well. It, I always see it as so valuable. Okay, I probably should have just let them blow. Oh, that was so close. Hopefully we don't get ganked from behind. We did not. Okay, we took them both out. Oh! Oh, this is intense. Oh, diamonds. Hey, look at that. Let's take them. Let's take these diamonds. Thank you. Just one. Thank you. Uh, we probably want to get rid of some of this crap in our inventory so we can pick up all of these uh, nice mob parts, right? Especially since our mob grinder is not really working. All right, a lot of gold down here. Is that a zombie? Where are we? What have we discovered? What mess? What mess are we in? Uh, I want these bones as well, because bones equals bone meal, and I am hungry as hell. Let's eat a chicken. Oh! I grew up with Dan D TDM, so I'm glad he resumed his lab now that I'm in high school. Yeah, Dan TDM's pretty good, actually. He's probably one of the very, very few Minecraft YouTubers who, like, didn't uh, get cancelled for, um... Things that quite justifiably were cancelled worthy, to be quite honest. And Markiplier. I'm really glad Markiplier never got, never got cancelled for anything. Oh, hello there. That's a Skellington. I am lucky enough to have this crossbow, though. Okay, I missed, apparently. Where are you? There he is. You big penis. There you go. Hello there, sir. I, I do not appreciate your aimbotting. Drop shot. Right, that's going to stack up onto our goodies. What else we got? Uh, so we're pretty low on torches. I'm going to re-up my crossbow real quick. Uh, let's start torching up here. Oh, a bit of lapis. Nice. What slash who or what is up here? Mine got. 
Where are we? This place is enormous! Why is it so huge? I have to create literally lines. Advancement lines. A military strategy. So that we can torch this place. Okay, we're out. Let's, let's do this here. This is probably the worst. I've got an arrow in my head. That's funny. Uh, we need sticks. Boom. Done. Uh, gonna put some torches down. One there. One here. One here. The, I think we actually picked the worst part on the map to um, uh, uh, put a, a mob spawner, maybe. All right, we've got some charcoal as well. That's going to re-up a lot of our torches. Get a whole stack. Good. But I heard something. I probably did actually hear something. I, we are probably in no man's land, right? Oh. Stampy. Wait, is, is Stampy still going? I kind of remember Stampy. There's also some guy with the um with the username that starts with W. He's right, like Wormpool or something like that. He's huge in the Minecraft community. He's been making like um I know him because he he used to make a lot of uh, redstone automation systems, and I kind of learned how to use the redstone from him because it is very very fiddly. You do kind of need help using it. Okay, I'm pretty sure that is a good line. Uh, there is a skeleton ahead of us right there. Nailed him. I nailed him again. He's not dead yet, though. What the hell is that? Is that like a... What is that? Like a ghost? What is this? I just watched three of these glowing things spawn. That I'm pretty sure I just saw a spider in the distance as well. Keep on torching this up. Wowie! 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 Ugh. He ended at 892, I think. Oh, Stampy did. Ah, oh, that sucks. Was it Minecraft Girlfriend stuff that he uh, he ended it over? You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. This generation knows how to read a PDF file. This place is gargantuan, by the way. Oh, what is that? What are these things? What are items? What are they? A glow ink sack. What the hell is a glow ink sack? Again, like, I have no experience on the Caves and Cliffs update. This is all new to me. Oh my god, that bat scared me. I thought it was something that it wasn't. Oh, that's a zombie. What is that? It's gotta be like a uh, an underground squid or something, right? I think that that's what dropped these, um, these ink sacks? Maybe they, maybe they kill each other. Maybe they're more human than we thought. Maybe maybe they actually, like, try and kill each other. What the hell? There's a skeleton down there. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We are torching this place like crazy, by the way. Uh, almost made it onto that one. We haven't had to mine out a single block for a while, actually. Okay. We'll mine that out. I hear something super sus. Oh, glowing squids. Oh, they're actually like glowing squids. Oh, I see one now. And they are... Oh! Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is! Oh my god! I thought that was a block for a second there. Hey, buddy! Okay, we got him down, down for the count. Let's put this in our offhand. Got an iron axe here. Oh my god, this is this is tense. Like it's about as tense as literally right this second. Oh, there's a creeper over there. Oh well. <laughs> what 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 the hell is shooting at me? Something's shooting at me. Where's it coming from? Oh, I see. Uh, okay, I can fight fire with fire. Bye bye. Hit him! Oh, I'm shooting through this here waterfall as well. And one more? Nope. One more? Oh, I see. Is it like sticking into the water or something? What the hell is he even doing? Can I even hit him? Oh, I hit him. I have to... This is like a timing puzzle. Okay, I got him. I don't know if I killed him, though. 
<laughs> oh, this is stupid. Oh, did he just kill his own dude? Uh, we actually, we're losing health, right? We're drowning. Let's burst out of there. Okay. I don't want to, um... We have to torch this up, right? Okay, that was strange. Uh, we need to eat, don't we? Because we're actually losing health and we're not getting it back. Oh! Stampy's Lovely's World was a big part of my childhood. I was more of a Yogg's Cast guy, honestly. I really like Sips and Shin. I still watch uh, Sips, actually. Sips is still kind of funny. He's very dry, though. He's very, he's very dad humor. Okay, I don't know how the hell we're going to get down there, to be honest. What is, what is below us? Because this honestly just looks like certain death. Oh my god. I mean, we could jump. Oh, that is so deep. I see diamonds down there. Uh, it's not worth it, though. I'm not going down there. Uh, let's try and start backtracking, because honestly, I'm not particularly happy. Oh, the drips don't hurt us. I'm not particularly happy with where we are. There's more of those glowing ink sacks, I suppose. When in Rome. Uh, we need to eat. Good. Can we put down torches now? Yes. Good. Can we re-knock our bow? Yeah, eventually. Okay, we made it up here. I'm going to torch right there. There's a creeper right there. Go ahead and put a torch there as well. Okay. I got the axe. Where is he? There he is. Target locked. Come here, you big bastard. I will eat you. Oh, I probably should have let him blow, right? <laughs> awesome. I got gunpowder. Great. Ugh. Has anyone else got sweaty palms? If we die, we lose 10 diamonds. That's double digits. That's actually a big number of diamonds. Whew. The stream is under surveillance by the SCP Foundation. I am so glad to hear that. I've been reaching out to you guys so much. Quite frankly, it, it's, it's been almost haunted for a while. Not just this stream either, but just like my whole channel. All right, that was a drop shot if I ever saw one. Excellent. Crits. Crits, crits, crits. Any skeletons? What's that? That's a skeleton. Uh, let's put some distance between us because I am an expert sniper. And by expert, I mean I can figure out how to do this from a distance. Whoop! Okay, that was a good one. They don't ag I don't think they aggro if you're far en enough away from them. Pretty funny. Uh, this one's got some health. Okay, he moved. That's embarrassing. Damn, he moved again. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. Okay, let's re-knock our, our bow right here. And we'll charge these dickheads here. We'll meet them on the battlefields with our axe. Take all of that experience, obviously, as well. Is that a skeleton? No, it's not. Oh. Hey there, buddy. What's good? What's cracking? Aside from your skull. Ow, he actually hit me. Okay. I got the last hit in there. I got the last laugh. Is that my arrow? I hope so. <laughs> we'll find out later, I suppose. Hello. Drop shot. Drop shot. Nice. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's get out of the death pit. The kill box. How do you get down there? Follow the water down? Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Probably right on that instance. Ugh, yuck, I hate spiders. Yuck. They're so gross! They're so gross! And they're fast! And they jump! Okay, I got that one. Nice. I'm stuck on a dripstone. Hilarious. Haha, <laughs> this guy can't jump though. What a naughty idiot. Did I just hear thunder? Did... Am I... D did anybody else just hear thunder? What the hell is down here? Where are we? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I didn't realize you were hanging out here, too. What's good? I'm Jensen. Subscribe. <laughs> That's what the future of warfare looks like, by the way. Subscribe. Just literally killing people on the battlefield while they demand to subscribe to each other. That's what that's what's going to happen when Generation Alpha finally pick up assault rifles and stuff. They start fighting for what they believe in. Scabbity toilet is not cringe. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's not cringe! Stop saying it is! Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> ah. 
Who's this tall, pale, crying man in my house? Ah, uh, good question. It's probably, it sounds like the sad boy, right? Oh, hello there, sir. You picked the worst place to ambush me. Believe me, buddy old pal. Poor oh boy, you could not have done a worse job at ambushing somebody than picking that exact place to lay it. Okay, let's go ahead and try for another... Where? Where? Okay, we need more torches. 64, perfect. Good. What the hell are th is that sound? Where are they? Why am I looking up? They're obviously not up, come on. All right. Whew. Back to the old grindstone, I suppose. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to call Dr. Bright. Yeah, well, there ain't no brightness here. Finally, the end of a cavern. I never thought I'd be so glad to say that sentence, ever. We found the end of a cavern. Oh my God, what the hell? That's off. I don't know how we even got there. We just torched that up. That is so unlucky. Okay, uh, torch there, probably makes the most sense. Torch there, good, put one here, good, one there. Very nice, I like. Ah, uh, we've got some spiders over there, we've got some creepers. It sounds like we've got a zombie. I haven't found a huge amount of uh, other resources though, have we? All right, I think the spider has basically just spotted us. And if not, I'm gonna stomp him. Got him! I didn't kill him though. That wasn't a kill shot. It was just a, a really solid hit. There he is. That was a kill. I'm almost certain that that was a kill. Okay, good. This music does not reflect what we are doing here, by the way, in any way, shape, or form. Hey, this guy's got full dime, uh, golden armor. Look at that. What a guy. What a, what a guy. Okay. I'm no longer afraid of the caves. I'm no longer afraid of spelunking. I'm no longer a Dave level coward. I'm, I'm just not. Hey, buddy. Okay, here they come. We want the gunpowder. Okay, I've got the hang of the combat. We just gotta be aware of our surroundings because that guy could have snuck up on us if he was any smarter than he actually is. What the hell is down there? I don't wanna be knocked down there. <laughs> Zombie is, oh my God. He is so offended that I just put a torch right in front of him. Hey man, that's my home. That's where I sleep. <laughs> a little bit of a, a boop with the iron ax there, a couple of boops, a little boops right on the nose. All right, we're gonna have to come back down here at some point, right? This place is awesome. I actually love this. All right, there's creepers literally everywhere. Uh, there's a creeper right here. I'm gonna drop shot him. I missed. Ah, oh, well, easy come, easy go. Good, get that down there. Awesome. We are torching this place like crazy. Jesus Christ, that is big! What is going on? We're gonna have to go down to that ravine, by the way. We're actually gonna have, to I'm gonna set this guy off. So we took a little bit of a hit for that, but he did clear these dripstone uh, paths for us, which is just phenomenal. We were a little bit fandangled. Oh, that's a skeleton. Hey, buddy. Okay, I'm coming. Don't worry, I'll, I'll meet you on the battlefield. One shot right there. Okay, he actually just knocked me out of the way. He had the benefit of range. I don't know why he just walked up to me. I think he's John Rambo. Okay, put that there, put that there, put that there. Up here as well. What is in this cavern? Oh my God, it never ends. What the hell? Game. What is going on? I am so confused. Ow, I fell on a dripstone. Uh, okay. Keep on going, there's a creeper down there. I thought someone was eating something, but it was actually me walking on the gravel. My bad, I only got 15 more torches. We're gonna need billions more torches. Does something come, actually come from down here? Yes! What? Oh God, I hate that so much. Oh, hey buddy. What's good? What's your name? Oh, sorry, what was your name? Is it Axel? <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> that was so corny, so cheesy. 
I'm gonna blow this guy. Never mind. I almost blew him. I almost blew that that guy. There you go, everybody take that sound bite. Clip that. I I almost blew that guy right there. Almost almost blew him to a different place. Okay, good. Put that there. Excellent. Put this one here. Ooh, we've got seven torches left and we are completely out of charcoal. We should probably start harvesting. Actually, we should start doing any... Why do we have ladders? Oh my god. Ah. UBO one symbiont? Maybe. I think he's talking about Cryguy. Okay, Nihil Ego. I don't know who that is. Oh, we are actually going to be going ahead and playing an SCP game. I found an SCP game called SCP Descent. And annoyingly, my, um, the one-sided rivalry I have with Insom has not ended. Uh, he played it just a few days ago. Bastard. <laughs> I, I don't want to say it was my game, but, like, I've had it for almost a month. All right, good. And let's go ahead. Oh, piss, he's actually landing hits. That's not good. Let's go ahead and eat this chicken, because I actually quite like chicken. It's, it's a really delicious meat. I don't know why... I don't know why chickens were made so delicious initially, but it really... I'm actually quite surprised just how well it kept them, you know, kind of... survived. Oh, this place never ends! This place just literally never ends! Alright, let's start harvesting some resources now that we, uh, probably should just... Uh, get that bowl as well, but there's no coal anywhere! How the hell did he spawn there? Come off it! Game. I demand to know the answers. Right, let's get all that iron. Let's take this guy out with an axe, which is now, I shouldn't have to point out, at half durability, because of all the combat we've had to do down here. All right, good. Okay, let's get some of these resources. We're not going to uh, go home empty-handed. Uh, even if our mob grinder doesn't function because of this gi massively unlucky placement of a gigantic cavern down here, I'm also not going to... Do anything other than go for low-hanging fruit. Because there's low-hanging fruit all over the place in here. We need a lot of gold for the powered rails. So we'll get a lot of gold for the powered rails. Nice. Done. Don't know how the hell we're going to get out of here, though. I just don't know. We should probably just get some scaffold, right? Get a billion bits of scaffold so we can get out of one of these mines as easy as possible. Please. Thank you. Nice. Okay. So through here is unexplored territory. Sweet mother of God, are you serious? There cannot actually be more. I'm going to take this iron. I'm taking it. I'm taking all of this iron. Ooh, okay. I'm stressed. If it's not massively obvious. What the hell was that? The hell? Sorry, it's just taking the time. Uh, I gotta go at around about 5 p.m. New Zealand time. Go and pick up Yin Set from work. Oh, come off it. <laughs> Alright, he's gone. I got stuck on a rock. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some chicken. Some chimkin. As they say, in more cringe circles than I am a part of. I think I've gone the wrong way. Okay, good. Got more iron over here. Hopefully we're not about to bust into a, a cursed, you know, those, uh, uh, what are they? Burial chambers. Probably need to go that way, honestly. Oh, hello there, Skellington. Uh, I'm off. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. Everybody say bye-bye to that horrid skeleton. We're off. We're gapping it out of here as well. We're like a, a bat out of hell. Uh, we did kind of like... Stop spawns from over this way, didn't we? So we could probably go ahead and just get this iron. Maybe even get that redstone as well. But we don't really need a lot of redstone at the point that we're at now. We've got so much redstone, it's probably unnecessary. I am going to get all of this iron. Iron's always useful, no matter who you are. Uh, on account of the... What are they? Uh, hoppers. Hoppers are basically just conduits for automation. So iron is always... Essentially, probably going to be my choke point in this entire playthrough. Uh, there's more iron up here. Let's go get this. Nice. Oof. I hear a skeleton. Don't know where it is, but I hear it. Sus. Okay. Ah. The 
into a pale crying man? That sounds like Cry Guy. That definitely sounds like Cry Guy. You'd be black is probably the most racist thing I've heard in Pokemon. Pardon? <laughs> Pokemon's not a, uh, it's not a racist kind of game. Pokemon's, um, it's all about the, it, it was supposed to be a cautionary tale about, uh, like cockfighting. You know, where you get two chickens into a, um, into a small cage and one of them kills the other one for, so that everybody watching can make money off of the death of the, of the other rooster. That was, that was initially what inspired Pokemon. Just lower your simulation distance when you use the farm. That's not a bad idea, actually. If him, you should know what you, you were going to play. Okay. We are playing F around and find out at the moment. And we have f around. We found out, but I feel like we're coming out of this mine a different person. I actually, like, unironically, I feel like we are coming out of this mine as somebody else. We used to be kind of like a little afraid of these caves, and now we've kind of tamed the environment to the point where nothing's creeping up on us. Throw those, la those ladders out of our inventory. Why, why the hell would we need those? Why the hell would we ever need ladders? We just, we just go up. Uh, I'm going to mine upwards, despite the obvious safety hazards, because of the, uh, like the, gener the lava generates really, really close to gold pretty frequently. Maybe not in Java. Maybe it's changed in Java. Maybe everything is different in Java. Ah. There's a creature they temporarily named UB Black. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, it's kind of cool. Why is it temporary, though? Why, why, why would any Pokemon have a temporary name? If they always go through that transition phase to get to, like, a, a more powerful Pokemon, then you would name that, wouldn't you? Okay, good. Get all the way down here. I mean, it's, it's mankind's meticulous desire to categorize every single thing they come across that really kind of, uh, makes a lot of plots hard to follow. Some gold and iron over there. Okay, we're going to go get that, even though it's right on the outskirts of what we would consider to be safe, as you can tell right here. Okay, one, two, three, done. Is there another? No. Okay, excellent. We're going to go ahead and eat one of our 52 chickens. Jesus, our pocket is full. We are going to get these golds. We're going to get these bags. We're going to get all of this iron as well. That's bugger all, actually. It wasn't even worth the combat with the skeleton to go and receive. Okay, got to go up here. I'm bee hopping around. I actually, I am really appreciative that bee hopping works in Minecraft. There was water right there. I panicked. Going to try and avoid all of those spikes. All those stalagmites. All right, good. Got that out of the way. We're doing some backtracking now. One block of iron. Yuck. Be still my beating heart. Okay, come all the way through here. Ooh-wee. We're coming out of this mine as a person of three. I feel like we may actually be. I, I feel like since I just went through the gauntlet with you guys, you guys are kind of like also being absorbed into, into my body. Much like how uh, the propaganda that Or Asgore says, uh, the souls, they enter the, the bodies. Okay, I'm going to go around here because I'm pretty sure this is where we came from. We just didn't dismantle any of the dripstones along the way. Do we go up this way? No. It does look like a path though, doesn't it? Ah, we're back at the uh, lava lake. We could actually set up a forward operating base down here. But I don't really think it's <laughs> entirely necessary, to be quite honest. Actually, before we go, why don't we go ahead and just grab the diamonds that were in front of us over there as well? I mean, if we've already started taming this mine, we don't have any coal around here. There are diamonds just over there. We could go get them, honestly. Hello? Friend? Or foe? I guess soon we will know. We've changed so much, we're now speaking in rhyme. Really quickly, let me check the time. Right, good. Let's eat some food. <laughs> that was a forced one. I'm sorry about that. Pokemon Sun and Moon is on Disney Plus. Is it? Disney Plus actually seems like fairly decent value. I hate to say it. Netflix got to be the worst, the worst place to get your your streaming services. Now, they used to be really, really good, and now they just suck. They just suck really bad. I don't want to be anywhere near them. And they're just awful and they stink and everything they put out 
is just an awful slap in the in the in the penis of of everybody who pays for their service. How the hell are we supposed to get back up there? I don't see a path. <laughs> like obviously I see that. Do we like recess a cavern or something? No. Okay, I see it. We go this way. I missed that cobblestone block right there. I'm over here. That's not what we want. Going all the way back up here. I'm trying not to double tap W. I wish I could disable the double tap W to sprint as an option because I don't know if anybody actually uses it. Wait, this isn't where we want to go. Or is it? I'm certain it's not. I'm certain we came from... Yeah, I see it actually. There's a hole in the wall up there. Do we maybe... Where are we supposed to go? Up here? Up here? No. Up here? I do see this, like, snaking path. Maybe this is actually the path up. Okay, that's definitely not part of it. We're lost. We're completely, unfortunately, lost. There's got to be a way up. Oh, that looks promising. I mean, there's a torch there, so surely we've been up there. How do we get up there? Do we just drop down? Oh, no, I see there's a, there's a little path going up there. I see it. Okay, so there is actually a pretty wide area where monsters can spawn, unfortunately. I'm going to go up here. Still trying not to double tap W. Because I know we're just going to fling ourselves into lava and we lose everything if we do that. Oh, nice. Rick and Morty is on there too. Do I watch that gory stuff? No. Uh, Disney, yeah, Disney Plus seems to be like good, just good value entertainment. I am also very... Happy with Amazon Prime at the moment. I hate to say it, but Amazon Prime actually has some real bangers. Oh, is that coal? Yes! Perfect! Maybe we can go back down. Alright, we'll get all of this coal unless lava pours down, in which case we will just die and lose everything we own. But there's only one way to... Jesus, there's a lot of coal. Boing! Okay, we'll come around here. Can we pick it up? No. Uh, we probably want to get rid of this one lever because it's cheap as chips to make. Good... All the way down here. One more coal, it seems. Very nice. Love that. Okay. We're taking that coal. And we are going back up top side. Oh, look at that. Coal. Who'd have thought? I mean, we can actually make more torches now. We could actually go back down there. Do we go back down there? We could go back down there. I don't know. Should we go back down there? Should we? I don't know. We got 42 dripstones. Hate that. Uh, and we just pick them back up again. That's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and make as much of these torches as we can. Maybe a stack will do the trick, honestly. Right there. Nice. Okay. Uh, put that there. Get all of the stuff down here. Nice. Okay. Let's leave. Oh, coal. <laughs> Great. I'll take that. Wow. This is a lot of coal, actually. Like a suspicious amount of coal. Oh, we didn't find a single one of those amethyst geodes either. You know those, um, like, big purple gems that we were looking at earlier? We haven't found a single one of those. Too much chaos unfurled. Uh, all right. Let's look at a little bit of time. We'll go back up. We'll see what we just got. We'll see if this mob grinder actually functions now. I'll put that there for fun. And we'll see if we can't, like, get this functioning. Is this working now? Ooh, we got a bone zone! Nice! So, what was down there that prevented this from working? I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up and I'm, see, I'm gonna see whether or not there are actually mobs up here. So, we've got one mob spawning, which is still progress. It means that it works. I actually have the uh, programmers and dolphins. Oh, is that a zombie? Uh, when you program things, and anybody who's programmed anything in like C++ or Java will know this, that usually, there comes a point in the programming where, you know, you get an error message and you're like, oh, thank God, that code actually works now. Or at least it's like structured as it's intended to work. Okay, we definitely need to clear out below here much easier than we, than we have. Oh, it's daytime. Oh, would you look at that? It literally hurts my eyes. Great. Okay, we made it. We actually made it. Oh, dang it. <laughs> yum yum oven mitt. Ooh. Gross.
I wouldn't eat an oven mitt, to be quite honest. It's it's full of um, a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't actually want to put in your body, like uh, plastic. The stuff they use to insulate is actually not that good for you. Uh, let's go check out Melon Farm, since we just came from the mines. A different person. A battle-scarred, hardened warrior. Uh, we just broke our ankle. That's great. We're just going to shake that off, because we are, in fact, a battle-scarred, hardened warrior. And we're going to run everywhere with a torch in our hand in broad daylight, because that is Sigma moves. Good. All the way over here. And jump this. Great. Jump all of this. Beautiful. We basically got a parkour challenge in front of everything. Oh, jeez, that's bright. Rhymes are my figure hit. Nice. I don't really get uh, what you were going with with the, um, with the figure hit thing, but... Yeah, it definitely makes sense. Okay, have we got any chicken? We have plenty of chicken. We've got lots of feathers as well. What are you trading? F.A. Okay, I'm going to force this guy to trade with us by um, throwing some rotten flesh. Actually, let's just throw it straight in the bin so we don't accidentally pick it back up. Right here. Done. Okay, this is going down. This guy just lost his job. He's like, oh, no. Man. We kind of want to automate the ability whoops, of uh, making arrows. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we can buy arrows now. And he's selling... He's selling emeralds for sticks, actually. That's great. That's exactly what we want. Awesome. Okay, uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll chop down our tree farm. We'll replant all of our saplings, because wood is always basically a necessity here. One, two, three. Okay, none of the rest of them grew for some reason. Go ahead and try and pick up all of these. Oh, that's right. Inventory full. Okay. Put the acacia logs in there. We've probably got some more logs. Actually, it's mainly just stone and crap. We should probably put it in here instead, right? All of this stuff, yep, all of this stuff can go in here. Yucky, yucky. Uh, Gunpowder, I'll keep that on me because it might be a good way out of a sticky situation one day. Cobblestone and oak logs. Actually, we don't want logs in there. We want long logs in the forestry chest as well. Okay, string is valuable. Yes, gunpowder is valuable. Coal, probably less valuable. What else we got? Spider eye, kind of valuable for potion crafting. I don't even know what these glow ink sacks do. What else we got? Bones. That's probably it. Go ahead and whack all of this into our auto furnace. Anything else? No. Okay, good. And we also have some redstone as well. And 10 diamonds. How can we forget about that? We've got a total of 14 diamonds now, which is heaps. Have you seen my brother, Papyrus? He said it would go inside a cave, then leave. Uh, well, he sure as hell wasn't down the one there, unless he had a crossbow, which, yes, I did see him. And we, um, we, we butchered him. We butchered him like we have accidentally butchered one of the sheep in this pen. All right, good. Nice. Done. Oh, that was close. One of them actually almost escaped. It's quite funny. Usually we can get away with just leaving that open. Uh, let's go ahead and leave the wool in this chest here, because I'm pretty sure this is where we're keeping it. Because we want... We only got three wool out of all three of those sheep. Sheep. Uh, let's go pick all of this stuff up, because we kind of need it. Let's be completely honest with ourselves. There is a golem kind of, like, perversing this area. Could you not, sir? Could you not? You're making everybody here uncomfortable. I only chopped three trees down. That's pretty funny. Uh, we'll knock this one down. Damn, that's handy. It doesn't look like the tree has grown in the, um, in the pen over there, either. Kind of strange. I wonder why. It's been days. It's literally been days. Okay, this axe is actually about to break. Probably want to get it on the smallest one we have, which is likely this one. Never mind. Or not. Okay, everything is getting knocked down. Wow. Apparently that wasn't even a log right there. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go and make ourselves another iron axe. And we should be down to clown. Should be down to clown in the apiary. We only have three iron ingots left. It's a good thing we went down there, actually. Uh, axe, please. We can probably just buy them off of the blacksmith, but we're not going to do that just yet. Kind of weird that we haven't found any emeralds in the mines. Kind of weird, huh? You going to have a bad time? I spared a Vulcan and was just trying to rhyme. Oh, okay. Okay, best of luck. What the hell? Oh, this isn't a tree either. Apparently this is just wood. That's a building. That's what the mod tree capitatorite would identify as a building. Okay, good. Knock all of that down. Perfect. And pick all this up because I am half vacuum cleaner. 
Excellent. Nice. And pick all that up. Good, only a couple left to go. This guy's like, what the hell are you doing? That looks so nice. Why are you chopping it down? Chop that one down. This one as well. And of course, this one here. We'll see how many logs we get out of this yield. It should be a pretty decent harvest, to be quite honest. There's also one log over here. We got two and a half stacks. My God, that is actually heaps. Wow, it's probably the biggest yield we've had. Good, we'll keep on planting this then. Let's just run in a line and plant them down as we sprint. Oh, would you look at that? Another log we almost missed. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. That should be everything. There's a couple of logs up here we almost missed. Boing. Nice. Not even going to bother with that sapling because we've got a billion of them anyway. Uh, we planted all of those down. Let's go ahead and empty out our inventory. So many logs. So many sticks. We actually are using the sticks at a pretty alarming rate, right? I had a cat. Night. It now has a bat. Your rhymes are getting weak as hell, bro. <laughs> that's some, that's some like. Uh, who's a bad rapper? Not really Machine Gun Kelly. He left rap and he started doing rock, and he's actually really good at it. I don't really know anyone bad at rap anymore. I know there's probably a bunch of really bad rappers, right? Because SoundCloud exists, but I don't know many. Okay, we got 23 iron ingots. These are probably still cooking, right? Yep, those are cooking. Nothing in there. Uh, these are filtering in pretty reliably. Let's put the coal in there as well, I suppose. Actually, we probably don't want to do that. We probably want to keep this coal for ourselves, because we are greedy. Whoops. Ah, oh, well. A little light can't hurt. Put that there next to the flint and steel. Okay, uh, melon farm. That's what we wanted to check out, right? And we also wanted to see whether or not we could get, uh, cows. Which we may have to leave for the next installment of this thrilling Minecraft series. I know of a good one that my friends have. Froggy Fresh. Never heard of him. Nat? Yeah, Nat rhymes. Anything in here? Ah, some dirt, some redstone dust. Excellent. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, so this isn't actually growing, is it? Let me slow this down. Please, for the love of God, slow it down. I feel like we need another couple of these repeaters right here. Or maybe we just need a comparator. Maybe exclusively a comparator would be the thing, right? Howdy, pow, pow. Yuck. I don't listen to rap. Probably a good choice, honestly. It's very misogynistic, and uh, not very often do they rap about anything worth hearing. Get rid of that dirt. We've got some redstone dust here. One redstone dust. We've got a single apple as well. Could probably eat that. Delicious. So, okay, I think that maybe the melon just won't grow, right? I, f I feel like maybe the melon's not going to grow if the piston's going to keep on whacking itself around. Let's get this nether quartz. We could make another repeater, but I don't think that's going to give the melon enough time to grow. So what are the other redstone things we could use? There is a daylight detector, which we could definitely use to make a melon farm. So we need three slabs, which means we need to get ourselves some wooden blocks, which we we'll probably have in one of these chests. Ah, oh, we've actually got slabs, great. Um, excellent. I'm gonna try for this daylight sensor. It might be way better. Uh, glass, nether quartz, and jungle slabs. Uh, just glass, actually, we just need glass. I'm just going to double check as to whether or not this is what we want before I commit to this. Just by going through and seeing what else there is on offer. Crafter could be a really good option. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what this crafter is going to do. It's basically going to... You put resources into it using hoppers, and then it crafts all of that into um, better resources, right? Got a dropper, observer, lightning rod. Cool. Block of redstone. Lightweighted pressure plate. How light? I'd say. Copper door. Oh, finally, a use for copper. Guys, look. We found something we can use copper for. We can make copper doors. I bet you can't open it by hand, though. I bet you need a lever, which would just make it annoying. Okay. Block of redstone. Doesn't really look like there's a... Okay, we can only make one of these daylight sensors. I'm like 50-50 on the daylight sensor and maybe just getting a comparator. Let's see what they do. 
after the stream, listen to the baddest. If not, you must be a sadist. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was a that was a fart quality rhyme right there. Okay, we're gonna look them up. Uh, redstone comparator. We're gonna see what's best for our situations. Right here, redstone comparator. So usage. Redstone comparator can be placed on top of any opaque block with a solid full high top surface, including upside down slabs and upside down stairs. And we're not interested in bedrock addition. The redstone comparator has a front and back. The arrow on top of the comparator points to the front. Yeah, we know all of this. The redstone comparator can take a signal strength input put in its rear, as well as from both sides. Sides inputs are only accepted from redstone dust. Block redstone. Okay. Servers and specific. Uh, none of this actually tells us what we need to know, right? Redstone comparators check their power state before their scheduled ticks update. This results in a redstone comparator not usually responding to a one tick fluctuations of power or signal strength. For example, a one clock input is treated as always off from the side and always on from the rear. This happens because the signal changes back to its original state before the redstone comparator checks its input states. Maybe a comparator is actually what we need. It does compare two signals though. It does compare two signals. Which isn't really helpful for us. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's what we need, actually. It, it's not what we need. What about the, um, observer? How do they work? Observer. Usage. Mm, in Java edition, the observer detects changes in target block states or the breaking or placing of block. Okay, this means that changes like the age of crops can be detected because they are part of the block states. Okay, that would be annoying. The causes and propagation of block updates are different between Java Edition and Bedrock Edition. As a result, each can detect some kinds of changes that the other cannot. Okay. In Java Edition, the pulse is emitted with a delay of one redstone tick. That's too fast. In Bedrock, it is supposed to be the delayed by one tick as well, but it's actually delayed by two. Okay, maybe the observer is also not what we should be using. Because this isn't particularly useful for us, right? If the piston is setting off the observer over and over again, that is just annoying. Okay, I don't think either of these are actually what we need. I think we... Actually, I do think we need the observer, but I also think that we probably instead need a repeater. And we just slow down the ticks real slow? Redstone dust, redstone torches. Okay, well, we got billions of both of those. Billions of sticks as well, hopefully. No, we just got rid of all of our sticks. We can just make some. I don't really care. Um, we'll get a few of those. We'll get a few repeaters. We'll see if we can't slow down the circuit. That's probably actually the way, right? We need wood. We're actually going to go get some wood. Ugh. It's always something, isn't it? Come over here. Just get half of these sticks, I suppose. Come back over here, which means we don't have to use our nether quartz, which is just fantastic. We'll get some repeaters. We need stone too, don't we? Which is probably in here. There it is. Got it. Uh, repeater. I'm gonna get like another three of these. Please? Why can't I make more? Oh, the redstone torches. I see. So we need another, what, five of these? One, two, three, four, five. Done. And let's throw those away. One, two, three. Done. Okay. We'll get four of them. We'll see if that makes the circuit work as intended. I like jazz. Berry of the Raz. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, uh, the cringe is coming back. Cringe is coming a little bit back. So we need to stop this right here, right? This is just non-functional. It's nonsense. It's disgusting, yucky nonsense, and it doesn't do anything useful for us. We need dirt or something like that. We need temporary blocks to put uh, the circuit on, I think. Alright, come all the way over here, see what's in this chest right here. And... I suppose sand will do. I don't mind. As long as it's like, thematically okay, and we don't necessarily notice, it should be, it should be just absolutely fine. Come all the way over here into this chest. Bust all the way over here. Now... I'm feeling like if we kind of like... Keep it out of sight, out of mind. We can probably migrate this further up the chain and then we never have to look at it, right? So we come over here and we just plug some sand 
for now, not there. Okay. I'm going to make a bit of a circuit chain back here. It's temporary. It is literally only temporary. Uh, we'll get some redstone repeaters going here, here. Please. All right, and we want to expand that out by the maximum amount of time humanly possible. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, we need some redstone around the place. Probably made too many of these here repeaters, but it should be fine. There. Okay, that's leading into one. And we need more sand. We want the circuit to go all the way around and not touch that redstone there. Okay. I don't know why I broke that. We actually wanted to break these ones instead. And since we've got all the sand down, let's take that off by hot bar. Uh, expand that out by the maximum amount of time possible. Put that there, there. Okay. So, if we get a block there, it should function, right? We put some sand down. Oh no, it doesn't work. It just repeatedly sends signals through. Oh! I mean, it's significantly slower, so a melon could potentially actually spawn there now. Where'd that redstone go? Wait, did the piston actually bust the redstone off the top there? That's weird. Like, it functions, right? But it's not ideal in any sense of the word. I've also just figured out the best way to lay out our melons. We're going to stack the seeds side by side and we're going to block these holes here so that they can't go back. And then all we have to do is piston piston into the potential spawns of the melon. And they should always spawn in the same place. Okay. This is bad though. This is bad. I don't know why this would even be a thing, to be quite honest. Okay, we've got to go sleep, right? Let's go find somebody's bed. We'll go ahead and do a sleep. And I think we're probably at the point where we could end the stream. Go ahead and sleep in this guy's bed right here. Pretty sure he's the blacksmith. Don't know if chat's still calling things that are just black racist, but... There you go. Blacksmith right there. Take from that what you will. I still want to figure out this redstone, though. Oh, my God. Oh, but I got somewhere to be. I can't really ignore where I have to be. I gotta go pick yet pick yet and set from work. Not the farmer for once. No, we are uh, utilizing the blacksmith's bed this time. He's just kind of like standing there. I think he's like reminiscing about the night that we spent in his bed while he stood there and watched us. Or he's looking at this really beautiful structure we made for the farm. <laughs> Hard to say sometimes. So this is not ideal. This doesn't function exactly as we want it. We need a way. We need a way to be able to turn off the circuit when, as soon as it triggers the first one here, because we have slowed down the circuit massively. I, d I just don't know if we can like slow it down. I, d I don't know if that's actually a thing. Right, everybody. I got babies, me punts, not the farmer for once. <laughs> oh my God. Um, you get better at it. You get better at it, my dude. End of stream? Yeah, we're gonna end the stream, I think. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Minecraft Forever World Vanilla, and right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my Discord. If you go and join there, you can talk to me in my community. That's the deal. And of course, until I make the next episode or you catch the next stream, I will be seeing you later. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!